Hello, everybody, and welcome to the stream. I hope you're ready for some Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. <sighs> good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hello. 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 Hey, hey, hey. I am personally super excited for this. I got my boomerang sword. <laughs> my boomer sword. I freaking love it. I can't believe it works. Um, We've got a lot of things to do. Uh, for one thing, we can do one other uh, 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 shrine before we go on, because it's the one we couldn't beat without the sailcloth. For another thing, we can then... Uh, well, first, we're going to dive down into this well. Where's your wig, sir? I haven't put it on yet. I'm going to put it on when we actually start diving down. Now we're just going to chat for like two minutes. <laughs> but first, we're going to dive down this well, and then we're going to continue the main story, because there's a little girl in there that has a mission for me. So many things to do. I'm so excited. The world has opened up to us. So good morning, everybody. First off, let's see if jumping down this well kills us. Damn it. Oh, good water. I still lost the heart. <laughs> Sweet bright blooms. Well, good morning. We're actually kicking off the game now. <laughs> I should have said, yeah, like, let's actually move now. Let's see what happens. Oh, my God. I, oh, I have a cobble crusher now. I forgot. That's why I got rid of the boulder weapon. Morning. Good morning. I'm excited, too. I don't know what we're going to find down here. Oh, you have to crawl. And make it extra creepy. I bet there's going to be zombies down here or something. Good morning. Literally, I've just finished catching up. Feels like a long ass stream. Oh, you're, yeah, you're doubling it up. That might be a problem. <laughs> but I hope you enjoy the stream today. Ah, oh, Royal Claymore. That's strong. Holy crap. We're going to leave it there for now. Now we know that that's always at Lookout Landing. Is it called Lookout Landing or did I just make that up? It's always at the starting area. Anyway, we'll know we have that when we need it. It's also nice to have bright bloom seeds here. Why am I walking out? We're teleporting to a shrine. <laughs> but yeah. Oh yeah, we did die out here a few times. <laughs> now we've seen what's down there. And yeah, we'll be able to come back there if we ever need bright bloom seeds or that thing, I guess. And with that said, it's time to get serious. No more little baby shit. Link time! Get the chest out for the boys. Hello, Fuchan. Good morning, Fuchan. Good morning. How are you boys all doing? Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so this is the shrine I couldn't complete before, but I got pretty far. I got that item, so I don't have to go back down here. This is also where we got attacked by gloomy hands. The gloomy hands were not fun, but it's not night time. <laughs> so maybe we'll be safe for now. <laughs> Thank you for the bread. You're welcome. Thankfully, we got sent to the bakery before this stream. Everything is good. So we know how this one begins. It's not hard. Um, the only thing that held us back is we literally died because we didn't have a sailcloth. And we tried to cheese it so hard as well. Like, look how fast we can go now, but... Oh, I have to use things I don't mind losing durability on. Wait! <gasps> can I take a spring with me? Oh, I'm so taking a spring with me. I can't I'm still used to Breath of the Wild controls. Wait, 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 can I? Oh, I'm strapping that to a shield. There's no way it's going to do what I think it's going to do, but if it does... <laughs> if I, I, there's a bunch of springs in here, so if it does what I think it does, we're taking all these springs home with us. They're going to be our springs. Otherwise, I might just strap one to a sword because it would be funny. Yeet! Pogo shield? That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that, yeah, you put it on your shield, you jump and shield surf, and maybe it just knocks you into the air. But I know one of the things they showed in the trailer was a rocket shield. Um, fall over you. There we go. I haven't thought of that before. I'm hoping it'll work. I'm not sure. But I mean, considering all the things where I've been like, this is stupid, this isn't going to work, and it worked out. That, that one's one of the less stupid ones I've come up with. That just makes sense to me. Okay, you go here. And yeet. No, no! Ah, off balance. But I don't want to adjust it. <laughs> I'm too lazy to adjust. Okay, I'll adjust you. God damn it. Hey, are you happy? Nice and lined up. Time to build a trampoline, baby. Exactly. Bum, bum, bum. Really, Link? Cease this. I'm an idiot. Do it with the hand. You can be more precise with the hand. 
There we go. Eat. I love how it shoots forward too. Okay. Eat me. <laughs> I love this game. Oh, it went in by itself? Almost. <sighs> Close enough. Grab that boss. I'm doing my best. This is how far we got last time. We got killed it by trying to get back over here. There's no way that does double the height. There's no way if you glue springs together, you go higher. Is there? I don't see why else they'd be glued together. It works like that. It works like... Well, I know what I'm doing then. Hello, third spring. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you want to come for a party? Rotate. Oh, I have to put that one. Oh, I have to put both of them down. <laughs> the more springs you have, the more powerful it can. How far can that go is my next question. Oh, that's all. That will not work well. <laughs> Wait a minute. There we go. Yay! Yeah, you get the whole way up. That's insane. This game is wild. Spring is key. Spring is key. But I don't want to lose one. Like, I need some strapped to my shield. So I need to get them up here. So... Hmm, how? If we use two to get up to the second level. This is what I think we have to do. This one, go up high. That's as high as I can get it. God damn. Just stay there for a bit, Spring. And then come way over here so I can hit you with the reverse time. And then I get up to the second level. Can I bring it to me? Does that get you high enough? Please. No. Okay. I'm not going to be able to bring it out of the dungeon with me. That's so sad. Fine. Well, we're going to have to do it a different way then. Ah, no springs to come with us. That's so sad. Let him cook. The cooking did not work. But maybe if I just come back in after this, when I don't actually need to get to the top. Right now, I need to get to the top, but I can just come back in after I'm done. This will probably work. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it'll probably work. Wee! It doesn't work. Okay, when they're off center, it does not work. <laughs> Wait, I could put it on those, but I'm not gonna. That's that's a lot of effort. Okay. You do have to line them up properly. That's lined up, I think. Did I break the springs? Wait. <laughs> I might have broken the spring. <laughs> I might have to come out and come back in just to beat this. Just because I was being a smart ass. Now, nah, there we go. It was just you have to line them up perfectly. Okay. We do this. We come back in. We take all the spring. We use a spring to launch another spring up. Like how we used the ball. You probably... Oh, that would have been better. Then I could have rewound time. I could have used a spring to launch the, 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 the double spring to launch the little spring into the air and then gotten up and then rewinded time and got in it that high. That would have been perfect. A spring axe? Yeah, actually, let's get a weapon and a shield because I want to see if the shield spring works. So let's just go right back in. <laughs> but then we'll also see what a spring weapon does. We need fireworks. Oh, if only. I know you get rockets eventually, but we don't have them yet. We just baby. We barely start this game. Let's go. Can't wait. 
Yeah, do your thing. I love how this shrine is just called a bouncy device. <laughs> we okay. I use you. We'll do all of the beginning to get the double sprawl. Oh, we can get two springs just like this. Which is as many as we can get anywhere. But this will do. We. Okay. Where did that one go? Wait. Didn't I drop one down here? It just disappeared. Um. Okay. Well, we'll take one at a time then. Fine. Screw you, game. That actually worked. Oh, it's one use, though. Oh, and it reappears. Okay. Come on. Reappear for me. Oh, not until I use it. Oh, there we go. Um, I might as well use Zoe Knight device. It powers up things. It's going to be fun when I hit an enemy. I think it's just going to Fusro diet. <laughs> Okay, that'll do. So we have a one new spring shield. I better not have that equipped. But if we ever need some extra height, we've got a one new spring shield. Ghost springs. I know, right? They just come back. They just come back. It glitches. Yeah, I guess it's because you're not supposed to take them off of their platforms. They don't want you just messing around too much. <laughs> yeah, we've gone from the minecart warrior to the spring warrior. Spring is upon us. <laughs> Okay, let's go see what the little girl wanted. Where was she? Look out landing, right? Off we go, Linky. Link's a bouncy baby boy. Yeah, he's got a spring in his step. It's a good time to be Link. <laughs> Link the engineer, man. That's what's wild. Breath of the Wild, Link's whole thing was just showing up, throwing bombs everywhere, freezing time and destroying shit. Link in this game, very intelligent, very creative, an engineer, a craftsman. A gene. Hey, birdie. What up? They finally did what? Oh. Well, look at the. Mm. Oh, you're a big boy. No one flies like. This guy's a good match for Sidon. This is like the bird version of Sidon. Well, look at this. No. Peter. Patrick Warburton. No, I can't even do. Fuck. Well, look at this. You're the one I saw flying around the sky. It's great to meet the first one ever to be launched from a Skyview Tower. A real historic moment. Hey, what's your name? Link, you say? Hold on there. Really? Your name is Link? Hey, buddy! You've got the same name as that famous swordsman! <laughs> Good for you! Pretty big name to live up to, though. I'm Penn, by the way. I work for the Lucky Clover Gazette. Oh, because you're a... You're not a penguin. Why did that come to my mind? I'm writing an article about this event, so folks everywhere will know about the Skyview Towers being activated. I'd better get to work. Our newspaper is short on staff, so I've had to flap all over the place to cover the news. Hey, we could use another reporter. You should join us. Seem like a brave type and all. That's what it takes. Our newspaper is based in Hebra to the northwest. You'll find it near the bridge that leads to Rito Village. Stop by if you're up for the adventure of a lifetime. In the newspaper biz. I think he is a pelican, but then Pen? I guess it's just like P-E and then the N in the end. Until then. So long! Oh god, I know exactly which voice I'm giving him from now on. Sky! Hey! So long! That's such a cute freaking phrase. Oh my god, lightning. I'm out. Little child, what do you want me to do? So long is so good. Oh my god. Pen became his newspaper. Like, you write with a pen like that? That might work. Ah, what a fine afternoon. Hey, you. Is it true you've got the Purapad? A Purapad. Pura and I worked together on the design, but I'm the one who put it together, you know. We should have called it the Robbie Pad. Technically speaking, that has a much worse sound to it. Come on, Goggles. Are you even listening to me? Oh, uh, yes. Sorry, you were saying? I was saying that I want to go investigate the depths. Look, if you're not going to listen to me, I'll go and jump into a chasm myself. No way! No how! You can't do that! The depths are far too vast for you to explore on your own. That was a full sentence. Whoops. 
and we've only barely begun to look into them. I'd love to go gallivanting around down there too. Who knows what wonders are at the bottom of those chasms? Hmm, but no matter how wondrous they may be, it's far too dangerous for you. I'm not about to allow our young prodigy to go wandering around somewhere so unknown. So foul! If anything were to happen to Pura's favorite student, it'd be the end for me. The end! But I need more on that figure. We have more info on it, and it should help us better understand the depths. Yeah, you just tell me what the mission is, buddy. <laughs> oh, swordsman. Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. Since I know you're a fetch quest fanatic. Aw, she's adorable. <laughs> Let me get you up to speed. That, that smile was just so cute. I feel like she needs braces. She looks like the type to have braces. <laughs> Our survey team brought back some artifacts from a journey into the depths. One of them caught my eye. And it is... A tablet. Nice. This piece of slate. Specifically the image depicted on it. See that figure standing on two legs with one arm raised up? Well, I have a theory. I think it could be evidence that a mysterious people once lived in the depths. <gasps> low rule? No, it can't be low rule. Low rule is on a different plane of existence. That's why I want to go down there. So I could see if there are any more depictions like this one. I want to see for myself. But Goggles here says it's too dangerous. And he won't let me go. Joshua, come on now. Tell you what. I'll go down there myself and see if I can find anything about the figure on that slate. And Link will join me. <laughs> He's just a, he just volunteers me. That's great. We'll start by looking for anything down there that resembles the figure on the slate. Assuming we find what we're looking for, we'll use your Purapad's camera to take a picture of it for Josha. A perfect plan. Uh, about the camera. Now we're going for a real fetch quest. I don't even think that's working right now. <laughs> Mysterious people. Cyborgs. I mean... They do have, like, robots. I don't see why they wouldn't have done some cyborg shit. You don't know about the camera? It's one of Puripad's basic features. With the camera, you can capture nearby scenery as an image. One that's stored in your pad there. Ah, sounds like you still have more to learn about the Puripad. Well then, I'll teach you how to take pictures. Once we're down there, anyway. Okay. Okay, we don't have to do a fetch quest. We're doing the main quest, and that'll fix it. Cool. Does Link count as a cyborg? I mean... Maybe? I don't know if his arm is technology or magic, really. It does a bunch of different... I guess it, it works with Zonai technology, so actually... I guess he is a cyborg. There'll be lots of monsters in the depths, though, so I'll be counting on you to keep me safe. Let's see. I guess we should enter through the chasm to the south of Lookout Landing. I'll go on ahead. Once you're ready and raring to go, come find me there. Ta-ta! Okay, old man. Wait, hang on. And he's off, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, just fade to black and he'll be gone. Joshua will be like, oh my god, I wanted to go. Looks like he's gone. I'm sorry you got roped into all this, swordsman. Goggles means well, but when he wants to help me, he leaps before he looks. Oh, he loves you. That's cute. He treat you like baby because you are baby. But here, maybe this will help you out at least. Oh, sweet. I've got like a hundred of those. Oh, and take this too. I got like a hundred. You know what? Thank you. <laughs> this, is, this is fine. You could have given me like 20, but okay. The chasms are really deep. So light from the surface doesn't make it down there. It's pitch black. But if you attach a bright bloom seed to an arrow and shoot it, it'll light up the area. Definitely a useful trick down there. Okay, you want to head straight out of Lookout Landing Southern Gate. You'll find the chasm goggles used just below. I don't know too much about how your camera works, but I'm counting on you to bring me that picture. Oh, and please look after goggles for me. Okay, I don't know how my camera works either, so that's just fine. A young scientist whose genius earned her the role of heading up depth research. She's a oh, she's doing the same checky as Pura used to. Trisha finds it thrilling to be working with Pura, and though she helps with various investigations into Princess Zelda's disappearance, she's glad to focus her time on the depths. Okay, I actually want let me use my map. God damn it. Um. Okay, so he's there. He's right next to the Joishin shrine. Where's my horse though? Wait a minute. Oh god, it's all the way back there. Yeah, okay, I'll just teleport here. Into the chasm we go. She's so cute. Yes, she is. We have now adopted her. They aren't stingy with arrows like in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, I had to buy arrows so much in Breath of the Wild. In this game, pretty much every time you uh, break open a barrel or a box, you get like one or two. It works out pretty well. Which I guess makes sense, since one of your main abilities is to be able to fuse things to arrows and create your own elemental arrows. 
Ooh, the music. Yeet. Yeet. God, this shit sucks. Hey, buddy. That's oh, so a Robbie did go down there. Oh. Hey, you again? I told you not to sneak up on me. Just tell me about Robbie. Um, what would happen if I slipped on fellow on him? Don't startle me again. Blah, blah, blah. Fine. I'll... Fuck you! I'm not, I doubt this is how Robbie got down there. But it's how I am. Ooh. And this is how Robbie got down here. Oh, hey, buddy. This is creepy as shit. It really is dark as fuck. It looks like it's underwater. Oh, that looks like a peacock feather. Stuck in the abyss. Yeah, we really are. Pew, 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 pew. Do I still have the spring ship? No, it's the spring sword. Ah. Welcome to Stranger Things. We came to the upside down. Let's go. Are you Lank? I didn't meet you. I'm Ponic from the Zone I Survey team. Robbie told me to guide you to him once you arrived. Uh. But he rushed along with such haste that I didn't bring enough bright bloom seeds and now I've run out. So I lost sight of him. I mean, there is a campfire over Aww. there. I thought he was taking a short walk over to that glowing area over there. Then he just kept going. And going. Last I saw him, he was heading way out there off to the west. Oh god. Robbie dead. <laughs> We're gonna find Robbie in a necromancer's stomach. Is this the place? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they did say that up on the Sky Islands. They said if you go underneath the earth down below, you could find a lot of zonite. Do you have any bright bloom seeds with you? I do. Ah. Ah, that's great news. Light from the surface doesn't reach down here, as you might have noticed. You'd be risking your life to wander here without a light source. You could easily get bright bloom seeds from caves, and they'll light up if struck. But they're pretty easy to use, too. We use the seeds all the time on the zonite service team. The simplest way is to throw them with your hand. Oh, this is when they actually teach you to throw things. Oh. Those of us skilled enough with a bow will attach them to arrows and fire them off into the distance. And I know how to do that. Oh. You're going to explore the depths. Take plenty of these seeds with you. And yet you didn't offer me any. Oh. I do this, then I do this. Yes. Oh, I have exactly 90. I was wrong. I did not have 100. Yeet! Did not go as high as I... Are those fairies? No, they're not. Are they? Their wings look weird. Nah, they're, they're glowy things. Come here, little guy. Deep firefly. A multi-winged insect that lives in the depths. It's beautiful. It excretes luminescent elements that can be cooked into an elixir, which will add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. I can glow? That's kind of sick. You could only do that with, like, equipment sets. Like, a full equipment set in, in Breath of the Wild. It's going to be very useful down here. Bum, bum, bum. And we got them all. Yeah, this area is creepy. I don't like it. The Soyage Light Root. Ah. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> God damn it. What do these remind me of? They kind of reminded me of... They're not axolotls. There's something that looks like a Pokemon, essentially. It's like a blue creature, incredibly poisonous. I think it's underwater. And it has like six wings. I think it has four wings rather than six wings. But they're beautiful and they kind of look like those flying things. Oh, that's why it's called a light root. <laughs> Are we bringing light to the underground? Ooh. And it made some more vegetation. Oh, these are our... Uh, teleportation things. These are our towers down here. Got you. Yeah. The equivalent of a tower. My eyes. <laughs> yeah, welcome to light mode, baby. <laughs> God, I'm going to disrupt the natural ecosystem so bad. Um, The light root dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Checky. What, what happened to my heart? Why did it do that? It... <laughs> Okay. Take all the resources? Oh, I will. Hey, you. It's really dark down... Oh, this is going to be Robbie. Yeah. It's really dark down there. Not one bit of light gets through the surface. Even with my goggles, I can hardly see. I really should have brought some bright bloom seeds with me. 
As one of the few sources of light, the glowing root growing down here from above has piqued my curiosity. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks harmless enough. This place is roughly under- oh, wait. Reverb. <laughs> this place is roughly under the shrine of the surface. Hmm. Anyway, I'm after the glowing root. I see shining west of here. So you better hurry up and get moving. Who, who said- Wrote that note for me? How did he know? How did he know? I love how they leave you this- Ooh. Little thing to make sure you can jump over the malice. Fine. I keep calling it malice. It's not malice. G gloom, right? Gloom. It looks like malice from Breath of the Wild. Oh, there's so many. They really want me to glow down here. And... <laughs> Muddlebud, a wildflower with a powerful odor that can disorient and confuse, making it difficult to tell friend from foe. Confusion flower? Ooh. There's another one. <laughs> gloop, gloop. How's it glowing, Foo? It's glowing pretty well. I'm having a pretty glowy time. Which direction next, Robbie? Hey, you! Still alive? Looks like this place is swimming in gloom. You're too close to that stuff and you're asking for trouble. The guy didn't have any bright blooms and to be curtains. And again, it's my first time down there, and I haven't kicked the bucket, so I'm sure you'll do fine. I've just spotted something of interest through my goggles. It's shaped like the figure Joshua wants us to find. I'll be continuing to head west towards one of those glowing roots I see ahead. See you soon! I like him. He's full of pep and energy. Is this west? Yes. I was going to say, there's something... Yeah, it's another light route. So I'll just keep going this way. <laughs> Muddlebud, one of my favorite new items. Oh, is it going to be useful? I figured if it was like confusion, yeah, you could probably like what? Just shoot an enemy with it and it makes it... I guess maybe... F no, I wouldn't fall asleep. But like confusion in Final Fantasy where it makes it attack its flames. Oh, I need another bright bloom. Oh, God, no. There we go. Yeah. Much better. <laughs> the dark parts are so eerie. Yeah. Bomb flowers. Oh, let's go. Oh, that's a monster camp. Sure, I'm glad I lit this up. What are they doing? Oh. And they're powerful? I don't know what the red glow means. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can even kill him. <laughs> Chemical warfare. Oh, let's not put it that way. We're not breaking any Geneva Conventions. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, God. I've been spotted. It's harder to get headshots in this game. I see a flying guy. Yeah? Hello? Oh, he threw a friend. <laughs> wait. Wait, you threw a guy at me. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could... Right, let's see what the spring weapon does. <laughs> Nothing. I've made a mistake. <laughs> Turns out the spring weapon is useless. Any deaths yet? Nah, not this morning. Let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. I have it up at like a nice balance where like the quiet bits are quite loud, but it might be a bit loud when we actually get into fights so just let me know i'll change it on the fly ah here we go so much so a night get a battery in no time fine for me good large oh extra powerful so a night wonder how many they're worth cobble crush is so good for breaking these too let's go I hope this weapon never breaks. Though it probably will. <laughs> Let's light up this area too. There's something glowing around here. Yeah. Yeet. Sounds good. I'm glad to hear. Thank you guys. Just let me know if it does ever get too loud at any point. Or too quiet. Shit, I started going northwest that way. Oh, there's the flying enemies. So they are. Oh, he has. Oh, it's just a backpack. I thought that was his head. Try to shoot him before he sees me. Oh, yeah. Um, he blew up. That was... Oh, God, everything's on fire. No! It was a muddle bard. 
No, it wasn't. It's a puff shroom. Mushroom that spreads a cloud of fine spores when a stimulus is applied. <laughs> Stimulate the shrew. <laughs> the bit of powder makes them inedible. Okay, so we can't eat these mushrooms. Where'd the flying thing go? Oh, there it is. It's the puff shroom getting in my way. Ooh, fire fruits. Hey, buddy. I missed. Okay. Oh, no, not that. I have a knight broadsword sword. <laughs> hey, bud. You want to fight? Let's go. You're already dead. He had Zonite with him. Let's freaking go. Good morning, Fusan. Good morning. That's the wrong way, buddy. Hope you're having a good day. It's nice to see you. You, by the way, not the enemy. The enemy sucks. I'm glad they didn't actually attack me, though. <laughs> they kind of just went in the wrong way. Oh, an Aracuda. It's like a Barracuda, but arrow. <laughs> this eyeball is constantly trying to focus on its targets. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. Or attach it to an arrow to grant a homing quality. Okay, so it works like a Kisai. Which I should have used now that I think about it. On flying enemies, I'd imagine Kisais are very useful. Since they just, like, lock on and take the enemy out. Still haven't tried that. The names in this game, they're cute. I like Arrowcuta. Okay, let's go get that Zoanite that they were mining. Oh, oh, bottom. Give me all your Zoanite. Because I need it. Because I would like to mix some stuff. More fried flies? Is that what you're calling them? <laughs> Whoop. We've almost got a hundred. You needed a hundred for a power up, right? We're actually on our way already. 52, let's go. Give me three days and off to finish the last Zelda stream. Oh my god, I'm sorry. They do be quite long. I hope you enjoyed it though. You need 300? Ah. For some reason I thought they said 100 for a power up. 10 arrows, let's go. Okay, we're almost to the light route. I'd imagine that's where Robbie is. Wait, he said he found the statue. Should I be looking around? Ooh, glowy thing. Glowy thing. I don't see a statue. Mm, we'll find it when we find it, I guess. He said to head west. We're going west. Muddle bed. So much to light up down here. Jesus. Yay! It's great. I love watching this kind of stream. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So many resources down here. They do not go light on you. Oh, God. Hey, guys. It's been a while since I saw some, z well, skeletons rather than zombies. I can break this. This kind of annoys me. I can't believe it doesn't spring enemies away. I'm sorely disappointed. So that was a waste. You need 100 purified and it's three for each roll. Oh, okay. Thank you. But yeah. Damn, that's a lot. I was so excited to be getting close to 100. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. It should take a while. Oh, there he is. Let's just light this shit up. There's Robbie. But first, light route. I didn't even need to light it up. This is going to light... That's fine. <sighs> Heard a spring works on a spring... On a uh, the spear weapon. Damn it. I guess that makes sense because it's more of a stabbing motion. When you're swinging, yeah, okay. Damn. That's logical, and I like it, but it's sad. <laughs> so now we know. I'd be like the one in Breath of the Wild where it only bounces on the last spin. Oh. I didn't even know that was a thing. Hey, Robbie. Oh, you did find the statue. What? Can I break that thing, God? I like down here in the darkest down went refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like... Like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You're finally here. You finally... I was the one who lit that up, Robbie. Were you just talking to yourself, buddy? I need to show you what I found. Check that shit out. It's the statue. <laughs> Looks an awful lot like the figure Josha showed us on that piece of slate. Don't you think? Yes, I do. Right. 
Get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right. I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Hmm. Very curious indeed. If it's one of the Puripad's basic features. Hmm. Get the Puripad for a second, all right? Okay. Well, there's the problem. The camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and you tap that and bop it, twist it, slam it. <laughs> I got the camera now. Captures images you're using the period pad. Oh, and the Hyrule Compendium. Yeah, now I can start taking pictures of stuff. Which I will use liberally. I don't want to fill the Hyrule Compendium, but I want to have some nice pictures. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. So, go capture a picture of that statue. It's a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Just sit out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Okay, but first, I'm going to take a picture of the most photogenic thing here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Robbie. Wait, this isn't camera. Why can't I just take pictures while using that thing? Hey, buddy. Pose for me. Well, he doesn't even count as an item, but I'll take it anyway. Bum, bum, bum. We probably want it from the front, right? Nice pose, Robbie. Honestly, yeah, he's doing like the superhero pose. I'm not sure what you would call what this guy's doing. He looks like he's got an invisible... What's that, like, giant violin? The one that you have to sit down to play. That's what he looks like. But it's invisible. Maybe I have to put it in his hands. Hey, you! How'd that go? A cello! Thank you. Yeah, it looks like he's got an invisible cello. <laughs> if you captured an image of that statue with your camera, hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Here you go, buddy. What do you think? So... Did you get a good picture? Check that shit out. Look at this photograph. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Why is he holding an invisible cello? God, I want some jello. What's up with that pointy dick? Makes me feel kind of ick. Some might say that it's a skirt. I can't think of anything to rhyme with. It makes me feel kind of dirty. Looks like you captured it well. I'm sure Josia will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense route. Getting us a picture of the statue. Can you tell I've had three hours of sleep last night? I'm pretty unhinged this morning. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of randomness like that. <laughs> you just started helping us research what's down here. But soon enough, we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time to head up to the surface. See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Josia wait too long for that picture. Can I teleport to Light Roots, though? That's my question. Because it looked... Why does it do that? Because it looked like I could. You can! Awesome. What's this? Camera work in the depths. Oh! Oh! I got you. We can actually see the different layers of things. That's kind of sick. What is the flower? <laughs> oh, that's the, the observation tower. Okay. I'm going to explore down here a little bit more. I feel like... He's facing something. Yeah, oh, there's another... Okay, they're in a line. So they're leading me to something. But they're leading me back east, aren't they? No, southeast. Yeah, I'm going to follow these for a while. Um, b -b 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 -b. Did you get a chance to get... A br breaky? What's breaky? Oh, brekkie? Like breakfast? <laughs> yeah, I had breakfast. Ooh. These enemies. Yeet! Nope. Oh. Oh, shit. These are pose. A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for a variety of rewards. Oh. They count as a resource. Okay. So pose in other Zelda games were like enemies. They were like ghosts that you had to kill and then you could take a pose soul now we're just collecting the pose themselves they're just not lucid i guess we would say <laughs> they look so cute yeah yeah they basically are will of the wisps they're just little glowy orbs of fire i wonder if they are the souls of the dead though you still facing the same way no nah, a bit more to the this way 
bump up. Oop. Yay! Light up those poles. Oh. And more stuff to break. It brought back so many staples out of things. Yeah. I like it. I like seeing all the references to old games. Puff shroom, puff shroom. I should try using a puff shroom and a mud, mud, muddle bud. There's another light root. Do you get? No, so. You only get five pins between the three different layers. That kind of sucks. I thought you'd get five for each, or like five for each layer. These glowy bugs, they look like fairies. I know. I was hoping they were fairies. <laughs> we got duped. What is that? Okay, that's an enemy. Missed. Well, <laughs> one minute. That's a glowy ass ghost enemy. Eh? Wait. Are you a past life? Is this like. Meh. Traveler's sword. Why is it glowy? Very common sword. It's fairly durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Oh, it's not corrupted. Looks like a statue for me. I mean, the way it was got, it looked like an enemy. I think you got played. I got my arrows back, so. The cobble crush is already badly damn. Oh, man. I don't even really want the bouncy club. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it made me sad. Oh, sure. If this one isn't corrupted, it should have quite a bit of durability. <gasps> Okay. But yeah, I wonder if he's a past incarnation of Link, like in Twilight Princess. I'd still, yeah, it's not corrupted though. It's just kind of battered. So if we fuse that, it should be like extra strong. It should last longer than any of the weapons we've got so far. He freed the soul. Yeah, he offered me a weapon. I took it and now he's happy. E <laughs> bum, bum, bum. More bomb flowers. I believe they're just giving me bomb arrows like it's nothing. Something glowy over there, too. So many posos! I want. Oh, that's my bouncy club. <laughs> Wait, couldn't you have used that somehow? Used what? The bouncy club? I don't think so. How am I? Oh, God. No. Please, no. I left. I left, bitch. Oh, no items. Offer weapon? I mean, he gave me a weapon. So he offered to me. I feel like I'm going the wrong direction now. <laughs> I haven't seen a statue in a while. Maybe I should just go to that glow. Oh, there's enemies over there in front of the glow root. I'll do that. Enemy encampment, then glow root. Living life on the gloom. Sometimes... You gotta explore the gloom, man. Didn't take one of my hearts yet. Oh, it's coming close, though. <laughs> Why would they put pose on top of it? That's so mean. That's something over there, too. A surrounded. Yeah. Take the malice any day. Yeah, at least the malice doesn't, like, permanently drain your hearts. More pose. So many resources down here. Yeah. Bomb flower. Yep. Huh? Ah. Okay, we've been fine so far. <laughs> While touching him, yeah. You can use a portable pot to use the fireflies and make an elixir. Oh, I could, yeah. I think I've got enough bright blooms for now. I start to run low on bright. Oh god, I didn't even realize there was stuff there. No. Okay, it's fine. It'll heal when I get to the surface. More enemy encampment. No light roots, though. I'll go the other way. I definitely have lost the statues by this point. <laughs> um. Okay. That was a full heart. Yeah, I just took one. I love the little broken heart image, too. Yeah. More bomb flowers. This is worth it. Just for the bomb flowers. God damn. 
Bomb arrows are so strong. And there's more pose on the way. Okay, this time I'm going to shoot an arrow because they're not going far enough. And I'll do a giant bright bloom. There we go. That's more like it. Yeah. Bloom is very punishing. I mean, I, it definitely gives you enough time to get out of it as well. I was just being stupid. <gasps> There's another sword offering warrior. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't turn around, you bastard. Fine, I'll collect pose. Come on, turn back my way. You're just not doing it. Fine. Uh-oh. I might be in trouble. I might be in trouble. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, God. You know what? Yeetus deletus. Oh, he threw it at me. Dumbass. It's my long stick now. That's a lot of them. Yeah, as soon as the guy actually got a chance to blow the horn, I was like, that's a problem. Lizard Flow's Talon? Hell yeah. I look sharp and spiky. I would like a rock hammer. It'd be good for mining now that I've lost my cobble crusher. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so there's no enemies over there because they would have gotten alerted by the sound of that. I think we cleared it. <laughs> we go Harry Potter spells now? You just delete us? I don't think that's actually a Harry Potter spell. But I'll take it. Oh shit, there is another one. Ah, bah, 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 bah. There's, well, there's way more. Oh, I fucked up. Um, where's my, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that broke so easy. Now it's just a bobkin arm. That did not go nearly far enough. Oh, God. Where are they coming? Oh, that down there. How did that take a permanent heart? Oh, they counted as... Because they're covered in gloom. They do permanent damage as well. Jeez, that's terrifying. It was a hard hit. I mean, it was only one heart. It was just... Yeah, it's permanent damage. That's the gloom effect? Yeah, damn. We need to be very careful when we're down here. If I'd been gotten, been getting hit much more, I'd have been in trouble. At least this is a nice mining area. No, no, no. No fire. Go away. So much zoanite. Let's go. The gloomy beaches. Yeah. They're much more dangerous than I thought they were. <laughs> Me just running in and not caring too much. Oh, God. I could have ended very poorly. I'm not going to get 300, but I'm going to get a lot. Eh. About two to three per thing. Not bad. Not bad. Always keep your shield up. Yeah, I fucked up. I just didn't know that guy was down there. He threw a thing at me. How did that not reach both? Damn it. Like, he threw a rock at me, and then it did permanent damage, and that just <laughs> freaked me the hell out. I was like, wait. Permanent damage, really? From a normal attack? Okay, we don't need this anymore. Let's switch to another rock sword. <laughs> okay, light route, and then we'll head home. It's right there. I don't think I need any more light on the way there. <gasps> Glowies. The juicy, juicy mine. Yeah, that was big. And it's right next to a light route, so we could come back here next Blood Moon and just farm it again. In fact, that's what this game's all about. Um, wait, oh, this way? Let me just mark that on my map. Mine. We come back there someday. Bloom can be rough. Feels like it. Okay, this is too dark. I don't like it. I'm a little baby. Not afraid to admit I'm a little baby about this. I could be right next to Gloom right now. I wasn't, but I could have been. Ah, oh, frick. Zelda Minecraft? Pretty much. 
craft your own weapons, see how they do. Come here, little guys. I want to be the glowiest person in all the land. Okay, light root. That's just one hit, too. Gloom infused attacks are scary. Especially if they can do. I'd imagine they can do more than one hard at a time. But yeah, you get hit by like a bunch of those, you're in danger. Nikaram, light root. Okay. This is the Zelda Nether. It was like Zelda Hell. I think that's enough depth exploration for now. Oh, that's why it showed my hearts last time. It doesn't actually heal them. <laughs> it just like makes it so you can heal them. So many enemies. I don't even have a mind. Screw that. Oh, there's the statues. I'm right next to a statue. They are definitely leading me somewhere. But for now, I'll go back and talk to the little girl and see what she's got for me. Uh, up. Yes. At least we can come back here underground when I want to. Is it unmarked? Oh, yeah. We don't need that anymore. Because it actually gets marked on the map. So back to Lookout London. A lot to explore. Yeah, it looks like... I mean, because they're different tiers, the depths must be just as big as the overworld. That's kind of wild. The names are so weird. <laughs> I mean, the shrines are like, at least in Breath of the Wild, they were named after people who worked on the game, but then anagrammed. So like the letters were changed around. So I'm wondering if that's the same for those ones and they've just been changed around in a much weirder way. Can you still heal? Yeah, I could, I could totally like, when your, your hearts are broken by the gloom, you can't heal them. They're just permanently gone. But now I could heal like perfectly fine. I could just do that. And just drink a potion or eat some foods. Success, exactly. Hey, you! Show Joshua the picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well. And it looks darn cool, too. Check this shit out. Look at... No, we've already made that joke. <laughs> this is it! <laughs> what is that voice? This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Yeah. Thank you, swordsman. Yeah. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort. Whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find some traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Oh, give me so much more. Don't worry about what it's for. It's for me. Don't worry. Robbie my Oshi. <laughs> Robbie's great. Look at the power pose while he sways his hips. Let's go. <laughs> hmm. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power. Like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they might help you in your search for Princess Zelda. So hopefully you'll find them useful. <laughs> that fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're close to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Gagos, swordsman, thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. You're welcome, kiddo. Oh god, yeah, all those resources are gone. She had more zoanite than that and arrows, but they're just gone. Oh, hello, creepy statue. You talk to me now, huh? You who stand now. You who stand before me. I am one who returns pose to the afterlife. Ah, oh, you're that guy. Where they belong. Offer pose to me. They are spirits that ought to return to the afterlife. Pose? Pose are pitiful beings who have lost their way home and wander the depths of this land. Good. Evil. That's the futile perspective of narrow-minded beings. There's no such distinction in wandering spirits. You've already obtained pose. Yes. Oh, this is indeed a pole. I've returned the lost spirit to the afterlife where it belongs. Since I was brought here to the surface, I've been unable to return pose to the afterlife. Because of you, I can assist them once again. You should take this. Ooh, a dark clump. An unusual surface that is cold to the touch and it seems as though it's filled with pitch black darkness. Bloom resistant effect. Oh, so that can stop me from losing my heart. So let's go. Pufferfish. <laughs> Wait. 
<laughs> you feed the wisps to the creepy statue. Yeah, he, he's clearly not evil. I mean, he, he sets them free, apparently. He definitely doesn't eat them because he's some kind of dark evil god that's consuming the lost wandering souls of travelers. Ah, <laughs> that's definitely not a thing. If you offer me more pose, I will give you suitable compensation. Ah, oh, shit, dude. Okay, you can eat whatever you want. Bomb fly. Oh, be fucking dark link. No way. I need 150 pose. My brethren whose spirits reside in statues far longer than mine are in the depths of this land. If you encounter my brethren, try offering pose to them. Yo, where do they hang out? No, oh, fuck you. Yeah, well, farewell. Okay. That was fun. You guys got any more missions for me, or am I good to go northwest? Now that I know fragments like this one can help us see the depths in a new way, I'll be searching my collection for more. I'll let you know if that leads to a new breakthrough. So then you should probably focus on the investigations that Doc asked you with, swordsman. Doc didn't ask me for shit. Oh, Doc Pura. I forgot she's a doctor. She's more of a mad scientist, but oh, okay. Emo Linky? Hell yeah. Dark Link? Yeah, Dark Link from Ocarina of Time. Well, technically a lot of Zeldas. You get like a Dark Link variation. But that's definitely his outfit from Ocarina of Time. Great job getting the picture of that figure that Joshi was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The Pura Pad has even more potential functions, you know. Listen up. Big update here. Your Pura Pad can be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. It's not like the Sheikah Slate did the exact same thing, but more powerful. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who's noticed the shrines after the upheaval. So I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Puripad Research Lab in Hatano Village. Y you already go on a fetch quest? <laughs> That's right! It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Puripad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in that lab and you join me there, I could further improve your Puripad, starting with a sensor. You'll find the lab in East Netgluda. Uh, East Netgluda. Off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its own far side is Hatano Village. Hatano Village. Uh, no, it's Kakariko. Hatano Village is like the first village you get to in Breath of the Wild. Hatano. Kakariko is the one with the giant circle statue that looks like it came from... Uh, Alien Covenant. Not Alien Covenant. Prometheus. So yeah, that one's pretty close, but... Oof, Hatano's even further. Now I'm going northwest first. Go a bit further than that and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab. But for now, I'm stuck in the abyss. Josh's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. Okay, buddy. You do you. Me, I'ma go northwest. Hatsuno knows where you had your house in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was like the first little village. It, it, the one where you could die stuff as well. I remember Hatano. Yeah, it, it did be down this way somewhere. I feel like Kakariko was around here-ish. And then Hatano was down here. But we go in northwest. First to this shrine. And then we'll keep going to... Why isn't it marked on the map anymore? Wait. Oh, because we changed... We changed missions. That one. Yeah, then we're going to continue going northwest to there. That seems to be the first one they want us to do. The bird village. Okay. Into the sky. Is Oreo still stuck? You know, I forgot about that. But yes. Okay. These the way. Oh, we're also going to end up going near that thing. The creepy painting on the ground. Which I marked. Oh, so that wasn't a shrine. Shit. Shit. <laughs> it's okay. Oreo will join us the next time we find... And there's a stable. Right next to the thing we're going to. And there's a shrine! I'm out of things. But it's on our way. This looks like something interesting. Nope, just rocks. And a flower. Oh. Hello? <gasps> lizard! You win today, Lizard. Hello? 
Oh, this is the Korok thing. I forgot they had these in Breath of the Wild. How far are you going to take me? Where did it go? Distractions, man. There we go. Oh, wait. Comfy Korok. <laughs> you found me. Korok seed. Bye bye. Yeah, no. Ah. Oh, just part of the old castle. Cute. What is in here then? There's like stairs down, so. Nothing? Pretty cool ruins, but nothing. I'd set up a house there. I'd love to live in an old castle. I. Got distracted. Like, oh, there's a shrine to the northwest. I remember that. I don't remember exactly where, but I said it was on the way. Mister! Not mister. But tasty meat. Oh, there's meat along the journey. Stitch voice. We just keep getting more seed from everyone. Just how popular we are, man. Just how popular we are. Hello. You picking fire fruits? How did that not hit your head? Yeah, give me them fire fruits. Thank you for doing the work for me. <laughs> Ooh. That's definitely an enemy encampment. Poor Mr. <laughs> Mr. Beast? Oh shit, that's a good way to put it. The fake Misters, the Mr. Beasts. You're going the right way. Yeah, there's the shrine. Okay, we're close. <laughs> oh shit, that didn't kill. There we go. Meat. I like meat. Hello? Oh, it's another sign guy. Okay, I know what to do for you. Um. Let me make a stupid monstrosity for you. Like this here. Oh, right. You can't fuse to his actual thing. That's annoying. Leave the foxes alone. But they're tasty. They're so delicious. And nutritious. Cheerios. They taste so sweet. This will do. If I could just j j j jam it in. There we go. No way that thing's falling. Good luck. Ah! Ah, it's you! Thank you for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. What? Are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. Will he be okay? He won't fall? He's standing. How's the president standing? Simple geometry. Geometry? <laughs> geometry, my dear man. It's not even that. It's physics. It's engineering. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Why don't you make it a decent foundation before you start holding the sign you idiot oh my god you work for a building company ah, perfect there's 81 of these signposts jesus he really wants hudson to be everywhere with your help president hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place oh god i love to see him standing straight up like that anyway it fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own Take this with my thanks. Thank you. Oh, so you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you something I made myself. Ooh, speed up rice balls. But I don't think I thanked you enough. There's a little something for my premium collection. Oh, hell yeah, bomb arrow. I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. I like that guy. He's a simp. He's a fun simp. Ooh, rock? Oh, you can't use the rock. 
I thought this was more building material, but they were giving us rock now instead of wood. Morty, is that you? Oh, jeez, Rick. <laughs> Can't quite do Morty. That is as close to Morty as I can get, though. <laughs> Yeet. Well, there's another tower up there, too. I already marked that, right? No. I marked some other things on the way. Sweet. Pyro herb. Is that a cave? It sure is. Seems like an enemy ambush moment. Mm, shrine and then cave. Cave and then shrine? Shrive and then cave. I don't know how far the cave goes. Pretty good, though. Thank you. Not the Rick and Morty. Hey, man. It's a very intelligent show. Takes a high level of IQ to keep up with that. <laughs> you can tell because the fans go nuts about their Szechuan sauce. Oh, God. That's a spiky rock. What are you up to, spiky rock? Who are you, who are you ready to spike? He's your dog shrine. He's a pickle man. Funniest shit I've ever seen. He turned himself into a pickle. These shrines turn themselves into a potato. Clip should be done for every time Fu gets distracted. That's my entire streams, man. That's not a clip at that point. That's the VOD. A windy device. Ooh. Oh, it's fans. That makes sense. I see. Um. No, wrong way. I guess, yeah, I have my sailcloth now, so I can just... Makes sense. You're coming with me. No fan left behind. Are there only fans in this shrine? It seems like it. Oh, God. Fucking only fans. Well played. I didn't even think about that. Ah, now we make a boat. You can turn off any time, buddy. You don't have to devote your life like that. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, I didn't do it. I didn't start the OnlyFans talk. Somebody else made me say OnlyFans. Where's the secret? There's no items in here? Ridiculous. Bum, bum, bum. Just fans, my guy. <laughs> yep, they're just fans. They're only fans. Why can't I push this forward? Oh, because there's a current backwards, which makes sense. One on that side. Quick, 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 quick. One on this side. Ikaza. Damn, this is speedy. It's way better than the last time I made a boat. Olga has a new model. <laughs> it's just uh, an asset, but I mean, yeah, we can say that. I like that. What do I do with this? I know I need to ascend into... How do I push it down, though? Oh, this is the fan shrine. What do you think, Folger? Do you maybe use a fan in the fucking fan shrine? You maybe do some aerodynamic shit in the fan shrine? You, you want to maybe use some wind pressure? Oh, oh. That's not even what I meant to do. <laughs> but now I see what I'm supposed to do. I was just going to drop it on the ground, but yeah, you know what? We weigh down that side and it'll make it stand up. Fans carrying Folger here. Are the fans always carrying me? Let's be honest. Um. There we go. Now we ascend. Made it stand up. Ayo. Hey, <laughs> Ayo. Hey, if I can make it stand up, then I've done my job well. So this is an elevator. So just put fans pointing down on it, I guess. Oh, not ascend. Grabby grab. What do I? Yeah, yeah. I put them on the other, on the underside. 
I'm not sure if they'll have enough push, but I mean, they must. There's nothing else to use here. It was so unhinged today. <laughs> Three hours of sleep, my dude. It does what it does. It makes me a different kind of streamer. Four fans. Four fans will save us. Not even putting them properly. Because this isn't something that can just go off course. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. How do I? To the sky, baby! That was less climactic. I, I expected more speed, but okay. We take what we take. <laughs> See, my brother, why do you always do this to yourself? I don't know. It's fine. I'll nap after this. <laughs> Light of blessing. Now we have five. And we could get a new heart if we wanted to. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Maybe when we can get two hearts, we'll go back to the goddess statue. I know there's one at Lookout Landing. Hmm. Maybe by then we'll have enough money to buy some clues. Oh, that's a shrine. I've run out of pins. I don't need the blue pin. That's right next to me and right next to the pink thing. So there we go. Well, that's miles away, actually. <laughs> okay, cave. Where was the cave? There was a cave near here. Um, By the rocks. Yeah, 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 by the ruins. He tried to hide it from me. Hello? Mushy mushroom. Oh. I thought it was a proper... Hello? No? Ascend? Okay, I was gonna say, I didn't know what else I could do to do that. <laughs> you found me! Bye bye! Bye bye, little Korok. Hope you have a wonderful journey ahead of you. Okay, it wasn't a real cave, <laughs> but it was something. <laughs> <laughs> no weapons for you. Bad. Oh my god, dude. Where'd that rupee come from? Who gave you an allowance? It's my rupee now. I want to think of it. Can't you make like the strongest weapon by combining two of these? I don't need this. Pick up a Bobokin arm and fuse it with another Bobokin arm. And you have a 40 weapon. It only hits like five times, but it hits like a dump truck. He yeeted. I forgot to pick up the other weapon in the underground. Oh, that's a Henox. <laughs> a challenge away. <laughs> Sup, Volga. Sup, K. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, there's also a well here. Well, well, well. I'll do the well after the Henox. The Henox seems more important. More troublesome. Carrot Bridge. Oh, good. I have a rock. I'll definitely be able to kill him now. What is that? I don't get how these weird rocks have appeared. I guess during the upheaval. How do I deal with this guy? Just wake him up and shoot him in the eye, I guess. But first, I steal his food pile. Hope you ate something. Yeah, I had a good lunch. I had a breakfast. Don't worry about that. Hey, buddy. Wake up. Wait. Let's see what kind of weirdness we can do. Hmm. Hmm. Does, what about zap? Does that, like, make an electrical charge? No. <laughs> it just bounced off his face. He didn't even wake up. Okay, fuck you. Get up. Let's do this. Oh yeah. Okay. It begins! God, I love this weapon. And it's pretty much gone. And uh, half damage though. Let's go. Um Boomerang time! Yay! Oh god. 
I got the boomerang back, bitch. Eat again. Oh, God. Ooh, that was almost death. Um, I'm just gonna... Just gonna nom to an omelette. An omelette sounds good right now. Ow, buddy. Okay, what kind of weapons we got? That was close. Yeah. That man almost ended my entire career. Sword, sword. Kill with him. Almost sword, sword. I, I, yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Shit. Um, that's fine. Yeet! Okay, he was nice and easy. He was a tired old Henox. He didn't want to fight. Just woke him up, murdered him. Did not elaborate. Took his toenail. Now I'm going to cook his toenail into an elixir to eat. What is this thing? Enox horn. Ooh. 12 fuse power. Shit, yeah. 8 fuse power. They have some good weapons, actually. <gasps> My boomerang! Get out of here, traveler's sword. Wait. No, I don't like claymores. Get out of here, claymore. Ah, <sighs> my boomerang sword. Yeet and eat him. <laughs> I know, right? Dungeon meshy of our own creation. Eating toad owls. Sometimes you gotta assist on you. What you gotta assist on? Hello, underground, my old friend. Oh, someone lived here. This well proved more comfortable than I expected. Not too hot, not too cold. Cozy, really, for a while. I had no heat need for heat-resistant chili ingredients or cold-resistant warm ones. I cooked for pleasure instead of survival. For a time, I considered tilling the soil in here, living off the land until the end of my days. But times have changed. The upheaval formed a myriad of new caves. Consider my curiosity peaked. Unexplored lands are a veritable buffet of cooking materials, and I, Aurier Tamu, intend to dig in. If you seek fortune, keep moving. Chef Aurier Tamu, Master of Cuisine. All right, mate. But did you leave me any materials to cook with? Is the most important question. You left me arrows. Oh, you left me some over here. Okay. Right, Cap. Pumpkins! That's nice defensive. I like that. <gasps> Lizard! Oh, son of a... This is just so hard to catch. Bright bloom. Okay, I accept what you've offered me. Free pumpkin? Hell yeah! Cook for pleasure. I know, it was a really nice beginning to that letter. That person was just like, oh, I feel content. I no longer need to travel. I am happy here. And then the upheaval happened and they were like, you know what? I need to find more ingredients. <laughs> Life turns on a dime, man. You never know what's going to happen. Maybe you could shoot the lizards. I can if I notice them first. That's the hard part is seeing the little guys. What's the glowy thing? Oh, it's bloopy. I've got to take a picture of that. Taking pictures of bloopies is useful. And a keys. And a rock. Show me what your secrets hold, rock. No secrets. Damn it. Yeet. Oh, um, where'd the bloopy? Oh, there he is. Yeah, bloopy. That'll do. A terrible picture, but I'll be able to use it to scan. Bloopy. Okay, now. I need to get high to shoot the shit out of him with arrows, which means it's time for my baby. It looks cute. Yeah, it does. I'm going to feather him with arrows. Ah, oh, God damn it. I missed. Okay. I got a few rupees. Oh, he went into the cave. Look out. What are we looking out for? Leave them alone? How high? Not very high. I, I honestly, I wish I could combine like multiple springs. 
It did what we needed to, though. We needed bullet time. We got bullet time. Ah, these booboo frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, huh? Oh, shit. Why are you so good looking? Makeup game on point. Look at the eyeshadow. God damn. Ah, don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Ah, are you my chance looking for booboo frogs too? Yes, I like booboo frogs. Ah, I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly, there are creatures called booboo frogs that live in cave. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Oh. Hard <laughs> stuff. And those two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden, curious pair. Very strange. Maybe a little off. I'm looking for something, the booboo frogs. Oh, the booboo frog gems. Okay. Rock Lee, <laughs> you know? He's even got the jacket. Oh my God. It is Rock Lee. <laughs> he grew up and he got pretty. <laughs> Oh my god. So, did they ask you to? Uh, uh, they offered treasure in exchange. The treasure. It was a sweet deal. At least it would have been. I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. That treasure was awful appealing, though. That treasure's gonna be mine! Yeet! Oh, so many like likes. Um. Um. I wonder if these things will eat bombs. Because they eat items, so... No, dropping them would be too scary. Hey guys, been a while. How about you show me your... Yeah! That's what I like to... Oop, I don't want to waste that. Oh, um, uh, yeah, sure. Oh god, no 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 You bastard Okay they can still do that They ate my shield No they didn't My arrows just wouldn't come out for some reason Show me it That's what I thought Yeah, that's enough. No, it's not. Oh, apparently you can do a three combo. First time it ate you? Yeah. I thought we were fine. <laughs> I thought they weren't going to eat us in this game. I was wrong. I like how they, like, match biology as well. Because it seems like they use their glowing like-like stones to try and lure prey in. And then when you're close enough, like, you try to attack it, then they try to eat you. Tastes like metal. I do be very full of iron. <laughs> Rock salt. Nice. Soldier's shield. Can't carry anymore. That's fine. It's a nice, nice shield though. Ooh. Ascend. Think you taste like sausage links? <laughs> good, good one. <laughs> I like that one. That's even better than the cyborg iron joke. Mm. No booboo frogs here, but there is a tasty lizard. I like tasty lizards. Mmm, delicious. Wait, why, why when they land in water do they just disappear? That's BS. I do want that too. I want the bomb flower. Up oh, we climb. I can't climb. Because it's wet? Yeah, it counts as being wet. So I can't get the bomb flower. Unless. It's too far away. My bomb flower. <laughs> what about from up here? Yeah! Okay. Good shit. Wet debuff? Yeah, fuck this cave. That's why they've got so many sticky lizards. Just to remind you, you too could have that power someday. If you actually cook them. Really need to visit a cooking pot at some point. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, I don't like the look of that. Ugh. <laughs> he fell down. 
Oh, frog. Really? Oh, yeah, come to me, you idiot. <laughs> I didn't know you could lure them by shooting arrows in the wrong direction. That's great. I, I just want the bomb flower down here. Where is it? There we go. This thing's like oh, God, it's here. Can you swim? It cannot swim. Yes. Die for me. Horriblin. They're called hor- Yeah, that makes sense. Five fuse power. An elongated hammer-shaped horn with a hard flat front. Attached to a weapon to increase attack power. Yeah. I didn't like that thing. <laughs> Horriblin is a good name for it. I swear. There's always secrets in waterfalls. Come on. What's behind you? There's nothing behind this one. I've been tricked. It drowned as it should. It was tactical. Oh, God, I'm going to drown. <laughs> it was a tactical decision by me. I knew it would drown 100%. I didn't just shoot to try and defend myself. This is a big cave system. I like it. I found so much stuff here. <gasps> oh, it's just glowy fish. I hate how those fish have the same type of glow as fairies. Every time I see one, I'm like, oh, fairy on the water? Fairy on... What is that? What is... What? I love this cave. There should be a chest. Hmm. Oh, God, there's a... I mean, I'm exploring everything, so I'm sure if there is a chest, we'll get there eventually. Unless it's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> Wait. No, that's the rock I just threw in. I was like, ha, it was underneath the waterfall. <laughs> oh, I got a free frog. That's something. Slippery? Yeah, everything's so slippery. Oh, <gasps> there's the hidden in the waterfall item. What is that? Oh, the bomb flower. Fishy. Glowing cave fish. Hello? Oh, there's a chest. Hello. What were you? Somebody left you here for me. Climbing gear! The ancient technology of this gear will make you better climber. Okay, that's actually useful. Did that say no slip too? No slip gov helps you use your energy more efficiently to facilitate. Okay, so no, it's not like no slip in the rain. But it will just help me climb quicker. That's very useful for later on. I mean, for in general. But now I'm going to keep my archaic shit on. But if I need a boost for climbing, yeah, we'll switch into that when we need it. Nice. Yeah, I knew there'd be something behind a waterfall. Oh, God. <laughs> Didn't think I'd go that far. <laughs> that was troubling. But we lived. Caves are so nice in this game. Which makes sense. I remember when Shigeru Miyamoto talked about, like, creating Zelda. He based a lot of it on the wonder that he used to experience as a child um, going through, like, caves and forests. Hey, Boo Boo Frog, I'm just going to blow you the fuck up. And, and yeah, I can't climb to that. I can bring it down, though. Can you swim? Nope, he can't swim either. Give to me. Boo Boo Jim. Oh, really? Yeah, so it makes sense that they, like, went back to the cave idea and they were like, yo, let's do a lot of caves in this game. That was, like, one of the things he liked the most. He grew up in, like, a rural area of Japan, so Zelda 1, the whole idea of it was just, like, explore where you want, have fun. It took him back to his childhood. Oh, it flipped in the water. Yeah, it always feels bad to kill those things. They don't seem like bad guys. How am I? Oh, wait, I can just descend. I was like, how am I going to climb up that? Er. Caves actually scare the crap out of me. Yeah, they do. Ooh. They can be creepy in real life. We ended up right next to the stable. And there's more horses, but we don't need them. Is that a chasm? Oh, no, that's Ganon Castle. Okay. And there's something over there. And something there. Stable first. Let's get Oreo back out. Then we'll explore this area. Plus a shrine, plus bird meat. 
God, this game is <laughs> hard for anyone who gets distracted easily. <laughs> caves are cool, but they give me... That's the one thing I don't like. I like normal caves. What I really don't like is those caves where you actually have to, like, spelunk. Like, drag yourself through them. The claustrophobia is crazy. I would never want to be in that enclosed a space. Hmm? Oh, Link! I'd heard you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? She turned into the sun? Link, you've been eating too many wild mushrooms, you son of a... You gotta quit, man. You gotta quit. You're supposed to be the royal swordsman. Anyway, I encourage you to go speak to Lady Impa. She's right over there. Wait, how did she get the fuck over here? He literally said she's right over there. I was just kidding. I thought he was going to try and send me to Kakariko Village. I believe she may have some useful information that relates to the search for Princess Zelda. Oh, she's dealing with the geoglyphs. Okay, I'll deal with her in a bit. What's up with you? Yeah. Ah, oh, a customer. Hi there, and welcome to New Serene Stable. I'm kind of in the middle of something, but if you'd like to use the stable, you can go to the counter. What are you up to? <laughs> well, since you asked, check out this cart. It's got two wheels. They're both on one side. It was a dumb design decision. Look at this beaut. Okay, yes, clearly it's a fixer-upper, but I can replace the missing wheels using building materials from the stable. Then I just have to catch a wild horse to hook the wagon up to and I'll be step set. Good luck. <sighs> Fine. Don't offer to help. Eesh, do I look like I can fix a horse-drawn wagon? It's not as if I wouldn't pay you back. I'd give you all my savings, in fact. You could have said that. I'm so down. Um, n not a send, though. Wheels, come here. I need money. Glue. What do you think about that? Huh? Huh? What? It's fixed. You're welcome. Anything for money? Uh, whole life savings? Yeah, it's probably going to be like 30 rupees. Because, you know, she's a stable girl. And I mean, this is a medieval economy. Uh, I wonder how rupees get broken up. There must be like some sort... I guess it's all just item trade. There, there must be like some denomination of rupees. Because they sell like really expensive things for 10 rupees sometimes. I feel like they're like gold coins. It's fixed. Did you do this for me? Thank you so, so much. It's like a brand new wagon with wheels and everything. Now I'm only one step away from my dream of having a horse-drawn wagon. Of course, that last hurdle is the hardest. Oh, shit, I should have brought a horse. As soon as I get near a wild horse, it runs off. How am I going to catch one? Fine. God, they're right up the hill, girl. <laughs> Probably bartering. Yeah, that's what I'd imagine. I don't need to get her a good horse. Let's find her the ugly... Ugly Speckles! There he is! Ah, oh, come here, Ugly Speckles. No, way, Uglier Speckles. This one's even better. Look at his butt. He's got speckles all over his butt. What up, Ugly Speckles? Yeet! <laughs> you're mine now. Well, actually, you're going to be hers. Your name is now Ugly Speckles, and you belong to this girl over here. I grabbed you so I could sell you. <laughs> Welcome to the circus. There you go. That's a good girl. Ah, uh, chill. Chill. There we go. This is your new master. Speckles is cute. Yeah, Ugly Speckles is just a cute name. The channel I. Oh, it was in the game we played yesterday. The house in Father Morgana. Did you catch this angel from me? Yeah, they're actually pretty cute. They're almost pink. Holy shit. Blonde hair. Okay, ugly speckles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strut your stuff. It's just what I pictured. Perfect for pulling my wagon. I'm just showing you. Wait. I see. I wish I was good at catching horses as you are. <laughs> okay, okay. You can... Okay, calm, calm down, ugly speckles. There you go, girl. What up, Zumi? Stop, ugly speckles. You've got a new home awaiting you. I know we've had some good times, girl. But this is your master now. There you go. That's a good girl. There you go. Ugly Speckles did not appreciate. Yeah, she tried to run. <laughs> did you catch this angel from me? No, I'm just... <laughs> nah, it's all yours. 
Mm -hmm. Huh? You mean that? You really part with such a wonderful horse? Ah. Thank you. Oh, wow, you knew stuff like this really happened. I'm so, so happy. I'll just go ahead and put a harness on it. Hi. A harness is a piece of equipment that you can put on horses you own. With a harness, you can connect your horse to a wagon or an item you need to take somewhere. If you collect enough pony points, you can get one as a prize. So bear with me for a moment. Uh, she's horsing around with the bear puns. Why the horse so short? It's a wagon horse. It don't need to be tall. He's a girl horse. He's a cute little. I think it's fine. Look, it's beautiful. Oh, that's a pretty nice saddle, actually. God damn. And we're all set. You owe me money. I can't believe it. A wagon of my own and a beautiful horse to pull it. I think I started with that old piece of junk and ended up with this. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. Here, it's all I have left after buying the wagon. I'm begging. No, forcing you to take it. Please. Holy shit. You are a very wealthy horse girl. Yeah, probably a rich girl, actually, now that I think about it. Joined the equestrian club in high school. Yeah. Oh, that's right. There's one last order of business. What's your name? Link. Uh, Link. Hmm. Zumi. Link. Maybe Zuli or Lu... What about Zunk? Is she making a ship name? Oh, fuck. I, I, she really is a horse girl. I need to get out of here. Oh, it's for the wagon. Okay. It's for the wagon. <laughs> I thought she was planning to marry me already. I'll call this wagon Zunk. <laughs> I promise to look after Zunk for as long as I live. No, okay, yeah, she she she's down bad. Feel free to come visit the two of us anytime. Mm -hmm. I'm out. 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 Hey, give me more pony points. Hey. Welcome to New Serene Stable. Ah. Thank you for supporting the Stable Association. Let's add a pony point. I need one. Reward available! Let's go. Uh, oh, looks like you've got some points saved up, Link. We want to get your reward. Step up to the side counter. Now then, once again. Uh, welcome, Link. Yeah, I'd like Oreo, please. Oh. Oreo! Yes! Uh. All right, we'll get Oreo ready for you. Sit tight. She's a sugar mommy, Fuchan. Uh. She gave, gave me her life savings already. I have drained her. I don't need her as a sugar mommy anymore. <laughs> Thanks for waiting. Oh. If you're riding on a road, your horse will naturally follow the path as is his instinct. Travel by road if you want to leave the steering up to your steed and just enjoy the scenery. Mm. Oh, ever since Hyrule Castle started floating, things have been falling from the sky. Almost makes you wonder if this is the end of the world. Anyway, have a good day. Enjoy your pony. Bruh. Bruh got real dark there at the end. <laughs> you sure she is drained? She literally told me that was a life savings. I'll be back in a couple weeks and I'll be like, hey girl been a while need a wagon fixing i can fix that <laughs> i can fix anything <laughs> what reward did i get yeah ah yes i'll be right with you ah, ah you'd like to get your pony points reward right ah. the reward for three points is a towing harness durable harness that comes with a set of horse saddle that's a wagon or other objects to the harness for a horse that oh oh i can just bring things with me now i can just attach them to my horse and ride around with them oh <gasps> What if I put flame emitters on the back? <laughs> a harness is a type of horse gear you could attach, blah, blah. For instance, a wagon. Oh, I can bring a wagon with me. That'd be more useful. Or an item you'd like to tow somewhere. If you save up just two more points, uh. the horse god fabric will be yours. That's a one-of-a-kind item you can bring to Hotsnail Village. Oh, that's where I get my new paragliders. We appreciate your patronage. I have to go to Hotsnail. Beetle! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Hey there, we meet again. Are you still moving forward on this little journey we call life? Sa, sa. Can I tempt you to buy? Or are you selling today? Hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo. You have nothing useful. A hundred rupees? Can I sell you a tireless frog for a hundred rupees? <laughs> I've got, I think, like three of those. You bastard. What a markup. 20. No. Oh. 20% the sale price? Get out of here, you goddamn dick. These guys are having a deep conversation. A legendary weapon, you say? Onya, give that a little more thought. Things with legendary in the title are usually just stories. There's simply no way it exists. But that rumored beast you're after, that's just a story. 
No, no. Go to any stable in Hyrule and you'll find people excited about the Ruined Beast. Stables are places where information gathers. It weren't true. You wouldn't hear about it in so many stables. Oh. Even if I grant you that, we don't stand to gain anything by finding the Ruined Beast. A legendary weapon, on the other hand, is bound to be strong indeed. We would have nothing to fear of monsters. And what if this weapon is legendary brittle and useless? Let's start visiting stables to gather more information and track down the Ruined Beast. Okay, so there's a Ruined Beast and a legendary weapon. That's not very useful. <laughs> Looks pretty. I, yeah, I like the one with the beard. Tomato and mushroom make some sort of tomato and mushroom stew. Delicious. Speaking of, I should do some cooking. Work in progress. Do not touch. How do I put on your towing harness, buddy? Is it? It's normally the stable girl, right? But the stable girl here isn't working. <laughs> She's dealing with her own stupid <laughs> wagon. Hello, welcome to the Rito stable. Oh, that's not right. I meant to say New Serene Stable. <sighs> yeah, sorry. I just moved here from Rito Stable, so I keep saying the wrong name. <sighs> there was a stable much like this one, but in front of Rito Village to the west of here. A big cold snap shut it down, though. <sighs> I think it was replaced by a newspaper company or something. Pepper was always cold, but it's gotten real bad. If you go to Rito Village, you need to prepare for extreme <sighs> weather. Oh, by the way, please take this. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I don't need it anymore, so... Uh, if you'd like to use the stable, please talk to the shopkeeper. Aww. Maybe the... Well, yeah, there's nobody by the horses, so maybe the guy can attach it. Oh, the doggy's chasing his tail. Bum, bum. Uh, Welcome, Link. Blah, 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 blah. How can I help? Customize horse. There we go. So polite. Yeah, I feel bad for her. I don't think she wants to be here. I think she'd prefer to be at the Rito stable. Yes, attach a harness. Huh. Understood. Give me just a moment. There we go. Uh -huh. Harness attached. You attach a harness to a stable wagon, you transport, blah, blah, blah. Uh -huh. Looks great. Oh. Thank you. Uh -huh. You're good. Oh. Good girl, Oreo. Now, can I? I have only one. No, it'll burn the horse to death. That's not. Well, we'll maybe attach flamethrowers to you later. For now, let's not attach flamethrowers to Oreo. That sounds like a dangerous idea. <laughs> you, you can stop anytime, Oreo. <laughs> Holding the back button and Oreo is just like, no, I go. I am cringe, but I am free. There you go, Oreo. Dun, dun, dun. What am I even hearing? Flamethrower horse? You don't like the sound of a flamethrower horse. I don't think I've ever met someone who doesn't like the sound of a flamethrower horse. I'm just saying. I <sighs> have to press it a few times. Yeah, they cheated me. Oreo don't listen so good. An uplifting device. More fans? Oh! <gasps> no way. Oh, we get to finally... Finally use freaking... Yeah. Oh, we're going to create... <laughs> What are they called? What are they? Hot air balloon. Hot air balloon. Is one enough? Okay. Oh, go. Oh, so you need fire and that. Okay. Got by to say your asset is so pretty. Thank you so much. I love the asset. It honestly looks so gorgeous. So excited with the way it turned out. Oh, hell yeah. One's enough. <laughs> I'm more powerful than you could ever know. Now I can fly. It's time for some raining down of bombs upon our enemies. Well, that was easy. Ah, ah, ah. You don't get to leave without me. Okay, so I could create a new one here. There's a bridge or something above me. I need to go higher. Can we get much higher? Yes, we can. Is this what I want? I don't see anything up here. Yeah, there's no treasure chests. I've been duped. I think I need to you. Yeah, I need to do this. Oh, I can't grab it anymore. Well, okay. 
All I need to do... My first time here. Hello, Fuchan. Hello, Confidant. Hello, welcome to the stream. We're thinking with hot air balloons. Oh. There we go. Ah. And then push the button. Perfect. Rewind will help. Oh, I didn't even think of that. You can bring things down too. Zawardo! Oh. And then I want to go to the top top. Well, let's move over here where there is no bridge in my way. Yeah, maybe there's something even higher. Anything? Nah. I really thought there'd be something up here. But nope. The answer is no. We cannot get much higher. No secrets in this shrine. Shocking. Oh well. Out we go. Oh, there's more things to do. Okay. I was a fool. I thought we were done. There are many more things to explore. Ooh. Okay. So we need a little ball and a big ball. <laughs> Down there we've got flamethrower. Oh, I forgot that we have a sailcloth now. We have a little ball. We need to send a little ball up. A uh, little ball. How many of these do we have? We're probably going to need a few, actually. Okay, good. We've got a few. We're never done? No, we're never free. Okay. I need to attach this to this. Um, stand up, damn it. And then attach this. But son of a bitch. Fine, I'll do it upside down. That's what I have to do. <laughs> Can I do it? Fuck. No, come back down. Just quit that. Let's just attach this. Instead, we we'll attach this for. Quit flying! <laughs> we'll attach these first. Has to be a fire hazard? Yeah, but I'm the fire inspector, so it's fine. There we go. Now, make sure it runs into a bridge. Um, sure. That'll be fine. Okay. Now we need to find a big ball. Where's the big ball? There's the... Oh, flame emitters. That makes sense. Those will be more powerful. Making pancakes. Is that what you stream? Making pancakes. Making bacon pancakes. First I bake them, then I put them in some pancakes. Baking pancakes. That's what I'm gonna make. Bacon pancakes. By which I mean, have fun. I hope you're having a good time. Pancakes are bomb AF. Yeah, they are. So this one should be... Yeah, it's going to be super powered. Oh, God. Wait for me. Okay, so I attach to this. And then I have to jump on this before it flies away without me. Um. Yay! Oh, no. Oh, you can't grab onto that. Fine, I'll make my own way up. I don't need you. I have a plank of wood. I can make my own hot air balloon. Adventure time? Come on and grab your friends. Yes, it was adventure time reference. Yes, this is a JoJo reference. <laughs> my own hot air balloon. Blackjack and hookers. Come on. Come on. There we go. So the sky, that didn't even really hit right, but okay. Okay, okay. That's why we have this platform here. Make sure these don't get stuck. Oh no, we want them stuck. Okay. Send that that way. Perfect. No, send me skyward. There we go. 
Okay. Yeah, I think I've got to grab him now. Right? Yeah. Come to me. You stay right there. Don't need you floating away. And you... Over this way. Act honestly. Just drop. Perfect. Great work. Yeah, now we're thinking with hot air balloons. Link on bothered by the fire hitting him. Yeah, he's chilly F. He's just like, ah, it burns. But it hurts nowhere near as much as the fact that my girlfriend turned into the goddamn sun. Link's been through some shit. Link's had a couple bad days. Is that the exit or the side mission? That's the exit. Okay, side mission. What did we get? That's rough, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Opal. Nice. Power of water. On we go. Oh, I hate running out of stamina. I need so many stamina rails. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I do <laughs> There was nothing else that was going to happen. There was no way I was sliding down the stairs. <laughs> the way I hold my breath, whatever Link does, all the attaching stuff. Yeah, it can go pretty wrong. So far, we've been okay. Up to six. She's hot. She do be hot. So do Link, though. So do Link. Link Hawk Pro Skater. Not in this case. In this case, he just jumped on his shield for no reason. <laughs> It works though. It works. Just watching Avatar yesterday. It's always a good time to watch Avatar. I was wondering where Oreo was. Okay, I do need to test something. I have one question. Stick this right on the side. Go, Oreo, go! Oh, hell yeah! Slash and burn, baby! <laughs> so that'll be useful in taking out enemy encamp encampments. Oh, and it stays attached even after the battery runs out. So this is just with me forever now. I put one on each side. <laughs> No one will ever be safe again. Good job, Oreo. You, you, you know what? You get you get an Endura Carrot, actually. Do I have an Endura Carrot? Yeah. You know what? Here you go, buddy. Good girl. Did that give you an extra stamina point? Yeah, it did. Okay, I'll be back with you in a minute. First, I've got to deal with whatever Impa's up to. What are you up to, Impa? Uh, ah, what a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, the Sheikah Elder. But you were going to eat the carrot in front of them? No! I love Oreo. Oreo is friend. Oreo will not be turned into glue. I heard you had gone missing. It's certainly a relief to see you back. And in one piece, more or less. <laughs> it's a fucking another cyborg joke. I get it. I lost an arm. Hmm. And Princess Zelda? Where is she? Ah, oh, that's rough, buddy. In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, where Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. Oh. We're calling them... Gale Gleaves. I understand they've been found in locations across the kingdom. Kano and I are traveling from region to region in hopes of seeing them all. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. Examining it up close, I could not make out what it depicted. It looks like a bird man named Raudu. I got you. I thought I might have a better view from up in the sky. I took to the air in the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas... The wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. I wrecked my brain. Don't worry, I got glue. 
I got exactly what you need, Impa. Here you go. What do you think about that? Oh, he fixed my balloon. Thank you, Link. Will you come with me to look at the geoglyph? Sure. Yeah. Let's 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 Titanic this shit. Let's be kings of the world. I'm gonna head out then. Ah, oh, I nearly forgot. Would you do one final thing for me? What's up? Don't make me paint you like one of the French girls. Light a fire there, and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. Okay. Um. Um. Fire fruit. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. The fire fruit. Yay! <laughs> Okay. This is very romantic. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's Rauru. Toss her off. If I could. <laughs> you can start by pressing Y. Oh, you can. Shit, that'll make it way easier than holding the R button. Too high up. I feel faint. Well, why are you up here then? Well, finally we can see it. The geoglyph. Oh, well done, Link. You know, I read somewhere in the village's old literature a passage about what the ancients called dragon's tears. They said, drag the... <laughs> Where the tears rest upon the earth, we mark down the images to which they gave birth. I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, wait. Are they saying the dragons gave birth to... That's not right. The three goddesses gave birth to life on Hyrule, not the dragons. They, they got their story wrong. Fuck them. I've played Ocarina of Time. I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, his meaning is no clearer to me. Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close. Near the geoglyph or even within its borders. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to the Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Yeah. If you'd like to examine the geoglyph from the ground level, you can float down. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. I'll help you with the landing. Don't even worry about it, Granny. There we go. Ah, I'm falling. Ow. <laughs> She said that they didn't even get the voice actress to record like an actual scream. It was just ah, <laughs> ah, I'm falling. Ah. <laughs> ah, I was close. Somehow I managed not to get hurt. Oh. What a dragon's tear is, I can only guess, but it seems like a thing can be found on the geoglyph. Would you try looking around? Dragon D's nuts. <laughs> okay, let's find this dragon tear. Oreo! Oh, Oreo? Oreo! Where were you? Oh, my flamethrower broke. That's okay. Got him? Yeah, I did. Is it under the rock? I feel like it might be under the rock. It's not under the rock. We'll find it, Oreo. Don't you worry. Probably up at Rauru's face, I'd imagine. That's where tears come from. She's gonna drag in your face. <laughs> hey, man. I might not mind that. I like him, but him is cool. Where is Rauru's face? Oh, we've got enemies. Let's deal with these first. Um, I'm suddenly not gonna renew my membership. Good. Good, that was my plan all along. Yay! Why boss music? Why earthquake? Yo! Oh fuck, Oreo, get out of there. Oreo, move. Go, 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 go. I'll deal with this, buddy. Hello. You're a big boy. Really glad I saved now. Wait. Um. That. Oh god! 
Okay, it didn't freeze time. <laughs> it did not instantly freeze time. Oh, let me just heal up a little bit. Is this... Oh, sure. You can push back enemy. Come on, do it. Do the thing. You think I'm scared of you? I did nothing. But I can ascend. Come on! God damn it, why can't I ascend? And I'm almost dead again. Okay, I'm gonna fight you the old way. My new powers don't work. Bring it on, bitch! Come on, fall over. There we go. I, I need to ascend, though. There we go. I was like, I can't climb you anymore. You've got like a building on top of you. <laughs> Walmart version, how is moving castle? <laughs> Pretty much. Wait, where? I thought I made the double bone arm. Um, did I lose that? Shit. Okay. Um, This will do. Yeet! New arm, I know. Oh, oh, God! I'm more powerful than they could possibly imagine. Unless they do that. God, he threw his rock at me, like, immediately. Maybe it's because I'm doing it too early. It just explodes. Oh, no, that did work that time. It just doesn't freeze him as long as I would like. Oh, oh, bomb barrel. Get over here. Are you... Oh, you almost threw it back at me. That might be death. Yeah. I lived. I lived, bitch. That doesn't do shit. I expected more from that. I'm not going to lie. Maybe I need to attach the bombs to things. They do have... They have spears sitting next to the bombs. Or I could just use bomb flowers, but that's a waste of my resources. Damn, one hit really kills you back here. Literally, it takes three and a quarter... Three and three quarter hearts. Where am I? And what are these? Is this the tier? <laughs> this is the tier. Hello. <laughs> Oreo was just like, hey, I'll bring you to the tier, Master. Don't worry. Don't worry about that evil monster. I got you. <laughs> I figured it would be at the head. That's where the tear has come from. Oreo best support? Honestly, yeah. Oh, that music's so beautiful. My girlfriend she live oh is this this is where she got sent to when she fell in the chasm so this is like a memory what? good question what oh, oh dear hello Rauru! An ancient Zelda. I, what I thought was ancient Zelda. Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. She has I'm a nice sorry. voice. It's okay. Sonia. My name is Sonia. And who are you? And could we ask what your name is? Of course, Rauru. I, I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule. Zelda. What an unexpected answer. We Rauru are the king so and queen much who founded with color. Hyrule after all. Or at <laughs> least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? So this is right and after Skyward Sword. King? 
Mm. My name is Raru, King Raru of Hyrule. I have many King questions. Raru and Queen Sonia? She did get sent back in time, big time. But that must mean... Like, we're not talking a hundred years this time. We're talking thousands upon thousands of years. This is just after Skyward Sword, if this is when they came down from up above. Time travel? Yeah, it's timey-wimey bullshit again. So the tears are gonna tell me what happened to Zelda? Where am I? Tear of the Dragon number one. Okay. After disappearing into the depths of the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves, King Rauru and Queen Sonya. As if startled by a suspicion that she's heard those names before. Were they in her books? She reads a lot of books. I should go talk to Impa. Aww. Oh, Impa's here. <laughs> Thank. You look distracted. What's wrong? Oh, my girlfriend didn't turn into the sun. She went thousands of years into the past and met my furry daddy. And apparently Furry Daddy already has a wife, so I wasn't ever being cucked. He just really likes her probably as like a daughter. I guess they're all related because the Hyrule bloodline and everything. Mm, goodness, that's a lot of bullshit, Link. We saw mysterious figures and then Princess Zelda. Hmm. Geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears, and now a vision of a lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let's continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. Mm -hmm. You know, according to the literature, there's something to do with the geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. It lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. Where the heck's Hebra? Why do you say these things as if I know what they are? I need to unlock maps. Oh, wait. That way. <laughs> Fair enough. Where's my other thing? Yeah, it's pretty out of the way. Hmm. Which do first? Chase Zelda or have fun? I mean, first I've got to kill a stone talus. I'll meet you there eventually, Impa. Um, I'll keep that in mind. First, it's time to deal with that rock monster. Rock monster? At least we know our girlfriend didn't turn into the sun. She's just going to be real, real wrinkly when we find her. She has to live through the entirety of Hyrule. That's stressful. That'll age anyone's skin. What up, bitches? I'm back! This time I know what to do. Aha! Come here, bitch! Okay, he blew himself up. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Hey, how you doing? You look a bit tired. Let me help that for you. One, two, go! Yay! Okay, if I get hit once, I die. So we heal that quarter of a heart. Unfortunately, that quarter of a heart matters way more than it should. Um, acorn? Perfect. Yeah! Okay, we lived. Bomb. Where did my bomb at? All right, that's the wrong thing. There we go. Gators! That'll do, right? Yeah, that'll do. Okay, we found the new way to deal with these guys. Give it a level three! Yeah, boy! Thank you. I enjoyed that. That was a nice launch. Come at me, bitch. In fact, I'm going to use time stop on you this time. See if we can actually do it. Launch it. Launch that, that arm. I don't care. Okay, you got another one. That That's kind of terrifying. Do it. Do it, bitch. I did it too early again. I'm just so scared when he actually shoots it. It does work. Take me, Skydad. 
I thought the spikes were going to hurt me. I was like, uh-oh. One, two. Damaged? Okay. Woohoo! That's okay. Freezy timey. Just in case he flings an arm. I think he's got to pick up another arm first, though. And I do have a bob here. Yay! Oh, it fucking landed on him. That works. Sure. I don't have a weapon equipped. <laughs> okay, let's finish this. Come on, take him out. So close. No! But I can finish on the way out. Yeah, baby. God, I love that music. Uchan slaying? Hell yeah. Now we know how to take out Taluses in this game. Ooh. So much amber. And an opal and a rock. A big rock. Oh, can I... Um... Yes, I can. Um, what do I want to fuse you with? <gasps> the uncorrupted traveler sword. And you'll be around for a while. Ooh, I got a heart blade. Pretty strong. The rock's heart shaped. Yeah, I took his heart. Kind of tragic when you word it that way, but uh, 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 he was a monster. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Kill them with love. Exactly. I'm gonna kill them with love. And Eliza, that would have been perfect to combine with it. <sighs> it's okay. Let's cut down these things. Casually stabs Stoneheart with sword. <laughs> if it works, it works. And it looks stylish, which is even better. Oh, my fire fruit are gone. I think I blew them up with the bomb. <laughs> I know, but this would be the worst way to die. If I just blew myself up by trying to slice through this box right now. It's not anatomically correct. It was probably his booty chick. <laughs> you know what? That makes it even better. I'm going to murder my enemies with the booty of my last enemy. <laughs> oh, there was a lot more items than I thought there were. So many arrows. There's a tower right there. Ah, I feel complete. Hey, next up. Oh, once you found the dragon tier, it stays on the map. That's creepy. Yep, next up, purple. Damn it, we went past blue. What was red even? Hmm. So many things. We'll go to purple. Bombastic booty? Hell yeah. Now it's my weapon. Currently my favorite weapon. Okay, to the tower, Oreo. With haste. What a way to go out, honestly. The way I want to go out, bombastic booty style. I think this towing harness slows her down. I'm not a fan. <laughs> Thank you for the fire fruit, buddy. <laughs> you, you did your best. You did. Estu? What are you doing here, bud? You're supposed to be in the Lost Woods. You okay? Oh, those trees over there. So scary, Shalaka. You're afraid of the trees. Ooh, Bloopy. Oh, I've got to get around that, Bloopy. Uh, I'll deal with your scary... I'll, I'll, I'll cut them down for you. I don't have bombs anymore. That's going to take a while. But first, I'm going to deal with that Bloopy and get some... My, ooh, meat. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I accidentally let go of the button. Loopy means money. Hello, little friend. Yay! Oh, a purple. Fifty. Did that tree just explode? Oh, 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 um... Okay, he was right to be afraid of these trees. What the fuck? Wait. 
Oh god. Jesus. Estu, what did you do? Sturdy thick stick. I see. Are they all alive? Oh yeah, they twitched. That one twitched. I don't like it. And you can't arrow them. You have to get close. Okay. Come at me. Okay. You literally chop them down like trees. That's some horror movie bullshit. <laughs> That's some the poltergeist shit. Shall I come on? The scary things are gone. Among trees. Yeah, they sussy. You see me? You see me? My name is Hester. Bro, we've been... You've done and expanded my inventory. The entire way through. Why does nobody remember me? Am I that forgettable? I show up, blow shit up, kill enemies, save people. I'm the hero of... You, you were there when I got the Master Sword. I'm the musician of Korok Forest up northeast. I'm known for my miracles and my dancing. Thanks for your help, Sasaka! To show my appreciation, I'll do a little dance to you and make your pouch bigger. <laughs> wow, phrasing, buddy. Okay. But my miracles aren't working anymore. The Korok seeds inside are all gone. How am I supposed to dance? Shaka! If I had even one Korok seed, I could sing and dance and use my powers to help you. I have many. I think I have like 10. Korok seeds make a really great sound when you put them in maracas. But the seeds spilled out over the place when I broke my maracas. And I think it's the children of the forest took the seeds while I was in a panic. <laughs> Hang on! Do you have a Korok seed? You do? You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me a Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger. Okay. Shalaka! The witch starts to do any more slots in. Weapon. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what is he, a VTuber? <laughs> I just did one car accident, Dale. Here you go, bud. Let the expansion begin! Oh, <gasps> yo! Oh, chaka chaka cha! And then the tree just. I do my Oshi. I mean, honestly, the shade, Fuchan, that's not shade. We say shit like Oship and Otsufu and stuff like that. That's just what I mean. He's mixing his name with words. It's very VTuberish. <laughs> Expand, band, band, weapon stash, color. So, so, are you happy with it? If you bring me more Korok seeds, I'll expand your inventory. I'll do it. I'll do it, buddy. I got 50. I got 14 to go. What are you doing? I'm in the mantle traveling. I'm thinking about heading east. No. No, you you let me use my Korok seeds. Thank you, Leaf. Please. There's so many monsters these days while traveling is dangerous. What I'd like is to find somewhere I can relax. I live, I like lively places, so maybe I'll go somewhere where lots of people hang out. Wait a sec. You still have cork seeds on you. I can smell them. Be here a little longer. Want me to make your pouch even bigger? Yep, weapon again. Yeah. Okay, I need two. You can have them. <laughs> God, that's so good. Maybe one more time. Bada bum, ba ba da bum. Another weapon. I could go for like two more weapons and then a couple of shields. Expand, ban, ban, weapon stash, shakala. Oh, look at the time. Oh, you fucking bitch. Wait, no, let me. I still don't know. Yeah, okay, I've got more Korok seeds. No! Has to! He went east. Which direction? Oh, where'd he go? I don't care about you. East. He went to Hyrule Castle? That can't be right. I'll probably follow, find him like over there somewhere. That dance hits just right. Yeah, it does. Tree fairy with a song in his heart. He's only visible to certain people. The power of his dance can increase the size of Link's pouches. <laughs> Damn, that's a impressive dance. 
but he has trouble keeping track of Korok seeds. That's fair. I, I gave him some. We we did what we could. We killed the evil trees for him. That's a start. Ooh. Korok leaf? Korok frond? Looks like it might be hiding something behind it. It has medicinal value. Attach it to a stick to use it as a fan. Okay, so it does work like a Korok. A Korok. Um, like a Korok leaf. Yeah, they dropped acorns when I killed them. They dropped their babies. You gave him seeds? Yes, I gave him seed. Many seed. Now I'm scared more trees are going to eat my face. It's kind of a terrifying warning that, you know, trees can suddenly jump up and try to eat you. Hey, more horses. That sounded weird, not gonna lie. Uh, I don't know what you mean. I just gave the man some seed. He did a dance for me and then expanded my pouch. Nothing weird about that at all. What up, buddy? You want to be friends? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. They can swim now! <gasps> That's so cool! I couldn't do that before. Sick. They just kind of stopped at water edges before. Okay. <gasps> Falling rock. That'll get me where I need to go. Oreo, quick. Let's go, buddy. That's what you call growth? Yeah, they learned how to swim. I'm so happy. Good for them. They deserve that. One of those trees just came to life. Fuck that shit. No, oh, I'm not dealing with it. I need this falling rock. Was it... Which one? Oh, frick. There are many rocks. Which one of you just fell from the sky? Thank you. Yeah, which one of you? You! Okay, perfect. Bum, 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 bum. To the sky! How high do we go? <gasps> Dragon! Hey, buddy, if you could cry, that would really help me. This tech. Oh my god. They go so high when you get them early. Drop it like Skya. Oh, Jesus! I could use my... Yeah, I have to a little bit, don't I? Oh, I just wanted to skydive down. Fine. There we go. I only needed to use it a tiny bit at least. Wait. There we go. Imagine falling from here. <laughs> yeah, I don't like how they just instantly start to fall. I thought they'd like hover there for a little bit. This is a little bit of Icarus Hubis time. I mean, I used my paraglider. I, I didn't do complete Icarus shit. And we're getting tentacle grabbed again. I don't like the poorer built guardian tentacle hands that grab you. There's something that feels a bit exploitive about that. Dun dun dun. Dragon! Go ahead, Link. Get a lay of the land. This music's so good. No kink shaming. I ain't kink shaming. I'm happy if she's happy. I'm just saying. Everybody's so in love with Pura, but Pura, Pura's fine with her technological stuff. She don't need no man. Surface map updated. Oh, there's another way into the depths there. Viral Ridge, lots of waters. Rebatha Frontier. Well, we're gonna need to cook food soon too. I want that long USB cable. A USB cable that goes 300 feet in the air. How are uh... Oh, it shows us the sky as well. Somewhere just to the southwest of us. Ah, let's mark some shrines while we're up here. Except it's daytime. That makes it harder. What is that? Oh, it's another cliffy glyph. 
Mm. Oh. Hello. Wow. Cool. Okay. What we do is mark that, but then remove pin, turn it into tier. What would be good for tier? Zelda. That's all marked for Zelda tiers. What else have we got? There's one over there. Oh, there's a bunch of these. I, I thought there would only be like 10 or so. It looks like there's tons. Down there too. Okay. This island's really nice. That's definitely a free item up there. I do not have the stamina to get to it though. <laughs> I'm no man takes off helmet. Yo. The badass scene. That's another way into the depths. Ooh, what was that? Just a windmill. Ah, <gasps> big bridge. That tree. Oh, God! Well, we've committed to going down now, I guess. Which way? L l let's get another dragon tier. Yeet! Let's go grab another dragon tier while we can. Bye bye, island. Yeah. That did not go. At oh, God. Oreo. Ah, it's fine. We just abandon Oreo all the time. Is this a ranch? I called it a ranch again. No, that's the tower I jumped from. Right. To the tier. Like it or not, we go down. Yeah. Unfortunately. Sometimes you just don't get a choice. Is that another floating island? Yeah. I might not be able to get to this. I might. Oh, God. Yeah, we kind of fucked here. Uh, hopefully we'll have enough stamina to do this. Hope Oreo likes neglect. Whoa! Oreo's doing fine. Oreo's probably having a party out there right now. Oreo, I left Oreo by a lake. Oreos love lakes. Oh, this game's beautiful. Oh, also. There we go. That's for later. Oh. What the shit is that? Oh. Water coming off an island. It's like, what the heck? Going down can be nice. You said it, not me. Yeah, I, nobody can blame me for that one. I read it in chat. I learned it from you. Welcome to the forest story. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to think. The comfy sheep. The comfy sheep come out and like play with Oreo when I'm away. Can we still do the whole like... Nope. Oh, they fixed the infinite stamina shit. Okay, we'll climb up the least troublesome way then. A peeing island? I mean, that's... Mm, it's not the way I would put it. Up to you if you want to put it that way. <laughs> so they're comfy horse now. Oh, I mean, they're comfy darn... Comfy Koroks, they just, you know, they appear and take care of horse. Find a place to ascend. Uh, we can get up here, we're fine. Oh, it's cold. Do I still have any heat food? I have the elixir. God, I really should have cooked before I came here, and I'm freezing already. Okay. Um, what about my warm doublet? Oh, that actually works. For now. It may get colder. But for now, we're good. Stuck in the abyss. Pew, 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 pew. I'm sad my friend isn't here. He doesn't want me to help a sign. Cooking is probably a good idea. Yeah, the next time... Well, I, I guess I could just bring out a portable cooking pot whenever I wanted. But yeah, the next time I find a cooking pot, I'll definitely properly do it. So there's going to be a tear somewhere on this mountain. We're going to see more of Zelda's story. Now that I know that they're little pools of water, that'll make it easier. But first! What up, bitches? I should take out that one. Something serious. Yeah, boy. Oh 
God. <laughs> ah, no! Oh, he's gonna hit hard. That's a big boy. That's that's a big boy. Boomer sword. I threw it over his head. But it got him on the way back. Fuck yeah. Boomer sword always comes back. Luko Bokoblin horn. Seven fuse power. Noish. What did you drop, buddy? A soldier's claymore. Nah. And what has that guy got in his backpack? Ah, no place to cook. Perfect. Ask and you shall... Oh, God. Ask and you shall receive. Hey, buddy. Ow. Ice fruit. Who the generate... Oh, so this can make ice arrows. Who the generates cold when struck. Could correctly. It can give off an effect that strengthens muscles and increases attack power in cold temperatures. So there's fire fruit and ice fruit. That makes sense. I just... There weren't some for a long time. Let him cook. Oh, yeah. It's time to cook. We got to make a lot of spicy pepper stuffs. And then probably some healing stuff. We've got some good, like, temporary heart boosting stuff, too. Chill shroom be useful for later when we go to hot area. Addle, addle. No, my axe is almost gone. Mokoblin horn, where did the fire go? It was just on fire a second ago. And, all oh, right. Why? Wait, no, no, no. I thought you could press Y. Nah, I don't know the shortcut. That'll do. Okay. My spicy pepper's out. Cook. Stamina elixirs? Stamina elixirs would be good too. Anything stamina based, yeah. We've done like a lot of flying, a lot of cry uh, climbing recently. We need that. Oh, the ice choo-choo took the fire. That's actually smart. Man, I hate how logical that is. Yeah, we got cold res resistance up the butt now. Not going to have any problems around here. Do, 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 do. Press Y while in the horizontal inventory. Horizontal inventory. I don't quite know what that means. Wait, no, not yet. One more go of this. Oh, while using... Oh, while doing like this. Oh, no, that just sorts. I still don't know. Um, no heart blade. Yeah, what else do we make? Um, got some basic healing stuff. I can sort these, though. That's cool. I fused? No. I don't know. I type, yes. Need stamina. Stamella shroom, perfect. Let's see how much three does. Almost a full wheel. So yeah, three's a good bet. I wish we could auto cook in real life. True. I also wish we could just repeat whatever we just corrected though. Like I want to use five of these 12 times, please. Would be good. Iron shroom, that'll be useful. Oh, plus fortified pumpkin. Yes. Two pumpkins, three of these. That should be a lot of defense. Tough steamed mushrooms, triple defense up. That's what we're talking about. Big hardy radish, don't mind if I do. One of those and one normal hardy radish. Hmm. No, let's split them up. One big hardy radish. Yeah, plus five is pretty good. Um, fortified. Warm Safina. We could make some other things out of this. Corsa honey, what does that do? Stamina recovery. Nice. Cook that with some Staminoca fish. Aha! Maybe two... Oh, no. The honey's really strong. Maybe just one. Restore a lot of stamina. Stamina recovery. Yeah, recovery. Good. Holy shit. That's too much. I don't have that much to heal. I should have just cooked the honey by itself. That's fine. Maybe three Staminoca too. 
Oh my god, the Staminoka Bass is so powerful. Are you kidding me? Maybe just one. That's a full bar? That's wild. I thought it was the honey that was the strong thing. Let's go fish. Yeah. The Jesus. I don't remember them being that powerful in Breath of the Wild. Okay. Um, ancient, armored, mighty, hardy. Hardy will be good. No, what I wanted to... Mm. That hurt my soul. That hurt my soul. Put it back away. Um, Mighty Porgy. Yeah, let's do a attack power. Oh, God. He just ate the fish. Triple attack up for four minutes. That's what we like to see. Okay, so we've got attack. We've got defense. That'll be for like our bosses. These are all monster parts. Um, what are you? Normal Hyrule Bass makes sense. Okay, I think we're pretty good then. And then we can just make some basic healing stuffs. I do want to do that recipe. What was it? It was tomatoes and something out. Tomato and mushroom. That looked pretty cool. Tomato and mushroom. Tomato mushroom stew. That looks delicious. So shame I only have two tomatoes. Uh, let's try apple. What do you do? Heat resistance, we don't need that. Mm. Apple. Enjoy the bit of code. Wait, really? Oh, well, let's go with that too. I didn't realize I had mushrooms that helped with that as well. Try this. Yeah, that's about what we want. Cancel. All the food in this game looks so good. Yeah, it does. One, two. Two. We're just going to cook a few more of these before we move on. Just so I have enough healing items. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, and a hearty radish. Have that with an apple. Some extra bonus hearts. Plus three, not bad. Then I'll cook the heat resistant mushrooms. This boy can eat. Yeah, he can. He just shoves that shit into his face. Okay, now the heat resistance. Two, three, four, five. And then we're good to go. Double cold resistance. Heck yeah. I got two pages. Oh, you don't have pages anymore. Oh, I'm almost full. Okay, perfect. Yeah, good, good, good. Lots of stamina. Temporary hearts. An attack buff. A defense buff. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Oh, glowy stuff. I do want the glowy mushroom thing. Um, These things. One, two, three, four. I did do one less. And then I have to add a monster part. Um, Something strong. Not too strong. Mm. Use attack power six. So yeah, that looks pretty strong. Glowy link. Glow for nine minutes and ten seconds. That's got to be fun. Um, there was one more thing that was kind of cool to me. Oh, the sticky thing. Do that maybe like like stone. Mm, like like stone looks pretty powerful. Oh, Henox is way more powerful. Okay. And we'll have a sticky elixir too. Slip resistance for seven. Okay. Yeah, no, we golden. We golden. We good to go now. We have cooked. We have filled. I'm just going to check if that is actually the limit of everything you can cook. Kind of a small amount. Let's have some meaty omelette. Meat skewer. Okay, so that wasn't the maximum amount you could cook. It's good for now, though. Uh, is it just infinite now? It doesn't have pages. Strange. Anyway, back to the glyph. This was a fun little diversion. He has cooked. He has cooked. I told you guys I can cook. What is that? I'm going to shoot it. When in doubt, shoot the object. <laughs> it kind of looks like a Korok seed. That, yeah, okay. It was just a frozen version of the Korok seed. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, they've still been with me this whole time. 13. Okay, go back to sleep, comfy Korok. Okay, let's find that dragon tier. Bum, bum. We have a limitation in food quantity. I'm sure we do. I just haven't hit it yet. Before it was like three pages in Breath of the Wild, so it was very obvious to see how much you could carry. I have enough anyway. Like, I can't imagine getting into too many fights where I'd use all of the food that I have. I still remember the charcoal in Breath of the Wild. Hey man, that helped me get a lot further than I should have. <laughs> Oh, it works. It works. This looks like a good place for a tear. Yep. Pretty good. Flat land. Let's see what else Zelda's been up to. Hit me with it. Love the sound effects so much. <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. That's definitely a reference to another song, but I can't remember which song. Here she is in ancient Hyrule. As I thought, this is not the world I know. Oh, it looks like Breath of the Wild. Yeah, that's the exact same shot. A time so far back in the past, it's become legend. So it's true. This is really the era of Hyrule's founding? Your presence here is just as strange to us, Zelda. But if you, like Sonya, have a secret stone and are secret able to manipulate stone? time, then your story makes sense. I thought they were going to be called the Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, so the stones help you manipulate Rose, time. I believed her right away. You needed the secret stone as proof, Raru? Bruh. I can feel your light one upping him immediately. Her, as well as my time power. Additionally, <laughs> I sense that we share a blood connection. You know what that means. <laughs> Rauru's light power and her time power. I see. Rauru's like, oh, case, so you mean we fuck. You said that you <laughs> needed to return to your era as soon as you possibly could. Yes. Yeah, we got a lot to do. In my time, something terrible is happening. I need to get back there. But how do I do that? The fun thing about time, you can just wait. I don't even know how I got here in the first place. <laughs> the way she punched him. They're so cute together. Oh my god. <laughs> He's rubbing it. Oh, well, Zelda, dear. they're adorable. You don't need to solve your problems all at once. Why not come back with us to the castle? Hmm? No. Iron uh, Castle I... exists? We'll tell everyone that you're a a distant relative of ours. <laughs> Did she just adopt it is Zelda? True, after all. We'll get you fresh clothes too. Mommy. I'm sure an answer will come to you. Wisdom takes time. Good line. Oh. Aww. I don't know what to say. Hmm, I wonder. Mineru. She may have some idea of how to get you back to your era. Mineru? Minoru, you said? Yes. She knows far more than anyone about our people. And like us, my older sister has a secret stone. We'll call on her. Are we really just going with secret stone? <laughs> I love Sonya. Yeah, Sonya really is a mommy. In like every definition of the word. The silly one and like genuinely just being like, oh. I'll take care of you. Don't worry. People in chat immediately. Uh, a sister? The, the sexy furry man has a sister? Okay. Okay. We'll find out in the next tier. Memories have been added to the memories log. Cool. Okay. Was that number two? That was number four. Uh-oh. How do I not have number one? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, that's fine. That doesn't concern me at all. Oh, so I'm super close. I just have to go a bit west. Hmm. Okay. West we go. Bum, bum. You found them out of order? Well, hmm. 
Number two is the start of the game. So it must be like a pre-story thing. Maybe it's like a prequel kind of thing where you find one and it's actually like a memory of her and Link. Maybe it's like her core memory. <gasps> Cold fruit. Ice fruit, whatever you want to call them. For finding them out of story would be, would annoy me so hard. Yeah. We end up finding like number 12. That's going to get really annoying. We can definitely go underneath there. We have the materials. Okay, we'll do it. Oh, we're here. Bum, 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 bum. We're gonna need a lot of fans, though. That's that's a hell of a, a hell of a current. Okay, how many have I got? Uh, the two might be able to do it. And how do I? Yeah, I guess I can link it that way. <laughs> oh god, that's all turned sideways. Nope. There we go. Okay, let's see if this works. It's also problematic if it starts to turn immediately. I don't want the axe selected. That'll do. Oh god, get in the fucking boat, Link! And it's twisted already. How do I line this up properly? Maybe if I prepare for it to twist. Yes. No. <laughs> Almost. There we go. Go. Perfect. I'm going to keep you with me, actually. Ow, ow. No, no, no. Fans didn't turn off. The fans didn't turn off. My boat murdered me. <laughs> oh, fuck my life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, where is it? Mm. I kept us here, but my boat's gone. So I'm stuck here forever. No, I can ascend out, but jeez. What do I want to do with these? Um, like this. Ah, okay. Stranded. I, I can make a log boat. I can float out, or I can ascend out of the top. I just didn't think about it at first. <laughs> Take this off. I already defeated it again. The family. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, do I want to float out? No, that'll take me back to where I went. I will ascend out. Yeet! Murdered by a boat. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I didn't expect it to move that fast on land. And drag me. God damn. Okay, we were going west. What is this thing, though? Shit, I ascended out of the wrong part, didn't I? You have to ascend into this. No! What if I ascend into the side of it? Surely that will also work. No. Damn it. Oh. Not useful. Not useful. Did it auto save? Let's find out, actually. Hopefully, it auto saved when we got the Korok. Yeah, it ought to save down there. Um, <laughs> we cheat. <laughs> we cheat. Um, ba -ba -ba Just in case. Oh, yeah, I took off Link's asset. Thank you. Put away the kill rack. <laughs> okay. It's somewhere above me. 
Before I went way too far for I think it's probably just here, right? They probably just want me to go from right here. I can just cancel if it doesn't work. Yeah, there we go. Barely. <laughs> barely, barely. Ooh. Strong Zoodite sword. It resonates with attached Zoodite devices to increase some of its attack power. Sweet. Does that make it a heavy weapon? No, it's still it's just a stronger version. Sick. I get a really nice Zoonite thing to attach to it. It'll be extra strong. Okay, that's it. Just another treasure chest. Probably, yeah, just straight up. Yeah, we got lucky. Strong construct boat. Damn, we are decked out. And out we go. Bum, bum, ba -da -bum. Okay. Oh, look at the moon behind the clouds. That's beautiful. God, I love this game. Aurora Borealis? I thought I just saw that. I'd have imagined it. Shrine way over. Shit. Why do I have so many pins? <laughs> the pink one. I never went to it. Oh, God. Um, It's too far now. Oh, God. So many of these are too far now. I definitely don't need the green one. That was a light thing. But that'll do for now. Anything else out in the distance? Oh, there's one right there. That's, yeah, probably in the middle of the lake, I'd imagine. Oh, God. Not enough pins, man. That one we're not going to for a while. Oh, it isn't even in the lake. It's just out there. That'd be the perfect one to go to. Or if I get to green and then go down to yellow. Yeah, green then yellow. Green then yellow. Uh, yeah, split the difference. Whoop. Is this part of Hyrule? Yeah, this is all Hyrule can change it to a stamp. Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have done that. I've lost it now. I should have changed it to a stamp. That would have been smart. Did that earlier and then completely forgot about it. Of confidant brain cells. Yeah, I was not holding the brain cells right there. <laughs> the confidants had the brain cells and I was just like, eh, I can just delete it. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum. Thank you for the ice fruit. Why would you turn around right then? Look my way. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Be very sneaky. Because there could be like a dozen moblins in... Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. That's quite a few enemies. They look very comfy. There's even a blue one. Gotta take out this buddy. And he turned away from me. Right at the right time again. Okay. Let's just chill. I'll face my way eventually. I don't like that shot. Turn this way. There we go. Okay. Couple more to go. Got some nice roasted meat. <gasps> Bombs. Later, bitches. I missed. Um, they didn't see shit though. There we go. Anyone alive? Yeah! That's what I thought. Everything's burning! All my sweet items. Roasted wild berry. No! Okablin hots. Oh no, they burned to death. Ah, that's fine. Give me the meat. Give me the shield. Two wooden... I have that many inventory spaces now? Okay. Eventually. <laughs> nope. Okay, fine. I'll use an actual weapon. A uh, rock. There we go. Okay. Shield. Treasure chest. Food limit? There is no food limit. I could carry all of the... That's more like it. Damn. That's a big blade! Hell yeah. 
Okay, that's where I want to go. FNAF at Fred! Oh, there's a tower there, though. Does that split the difference between... Oh, right, I was going to green, <laughs> not yellow. But we're so close to yellow. Ah, green, green. We agreed green. That was so aggravating. What was so aggravating? Me just smacking my stick against the boxes. <laughs> bye bye, food chat. I'll join later. Today is my birthday. It also officially has been one year since I started watching NGN. Happy birthday and happy anniversary. Psychotic Togafi. Hope you have a good day and catch you later. Hope you enjoyed the stream that you caught. Already forgot where to go. I am constantly at all odds with myself. Because this game is just so impressively big. It's so big. I have so much fun in it. We don't really need to decide where to go. We just kind of like pick a direction and run. See? Now we've got to this thing. For some reason there's... Oh, there's enemies there. There's things to create a fire. Do I want to take on a Lizaflos? Not particularly. But an ice Lizaflos tail would probably be nice. Line up the shot. Use a strong bow. Maybe use a... Um, a bit much. Oh, well, we haven't tried these yet. Let's try to make him kill his friend. Okay, yeah, that didn't do much damage, even though it's a strong bow. Let's see how this works. Fuck him up. I confused you. Do it. Fight him. You're doing shit all. Buddy. Just hit him! And here we see the stupid fucking Lizaflos. Who, for some reason, has no. Oh, he killed him in one hit. And he's undazed. Well, he got one hit out of it. This is gonna be a tough fight. Um, I'm gonna try the posh room next. Yeah! Okay, let's do this. Little Reaper, how are ya? Oh, does it also blow? Why does it... Oh, wind burst. Interesting. Not useful right now, but interesting. Let's go with the normal Little Reaper. I didn't mean to pick that up! Just stay down, buddy. Ooh, a boomerang. Ah. What do I want to drop for the boomerang? Obviously the wooden stick. It's not very useful. So, the puff shroom works pretty well. 22? God damn. Yeah, I am not in an area I should be in. This is a way higher level area than I should be in. Use attack power 15. The freezing power. So yeah, that'll make an ice weapon. Cook it with a critter to make an elixir. This is definitely an area I should not... Ooh, they have the materials to make a thingy thing. A hot air balloon. Do I want a hot air balloon? It would take me up the mountain. Do I want to go up the mountain? Eh. Why not, is my only other question. Oh, a Korok! That's why I have a hot air balloon. <laughs> oh, God. Nope. Oh, good timing. Bad. You bad too. Stop it. That's what I thought. Okay. Acorn? Acorn. It sneak up to enemies with it? Yeah, that's what it seemed to do. It, like... It gives you enough time to like... Oh, a flame emitter. Of course, for the... Hot air balloon. They're like completely confused. Rockets! Well, I know what I'm doing with these immediately. <laughs> One of you is on my shield. Um, Yes. <laughs> Let's put that away before I accidentally tap it. <laughs> yeah. We probably need one rocket for the Korok too. These are probably mostly here to help me get the Korok up, so let's not waste them just yet. I don't know where your friend is. 
Can you tell me where, where's this puff of smoke? Ooh. Giant storm. Uh, my friend and I got separated. Yeah, he is just up the mountain. Okay. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired though. I can't move. It's okay, buddy. Strap yourself in. We're going on a ride. Okay, so we need to be over here. We need to get up there. Probably need something to stabilize, so we probably, yeah, need a base. That'll be big enough. Bum, bum, bum. Engineering time. Um, we'll stick the hot air balloon to that. But we need the flame emitter too. Shame we can't throw the Korok up there. We could technically use the rocket to just blast him up there. The problem is if we waste a rocket and then we end up needing a rocket, that becomes a problem. So we need to attach a flame emitter upside down to this. Like this. It's hard to stand that. Oh, I can fuse it. There we go. Fuse that first. Then slap this to it. Right. Shame we can't. Yeah. Imagine merging this Korok on the rocket. I'm pretty sure I can do that. Mm, a hot air balloon should work, right? Let, let, let's do that for the fun of it. Let's see if we could actually get the Korok lined up and just shoot him up the mountain. We put you here. Maybe here. We need like a slight angle. Not too much of an angle. And if this goes wrong, we basically lose this Korok. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is such a bad idea. You know what? We save first. <laughs> we, in case this goes horribly wrong, we want those Korok seeds. But yeah, the Korok space program has has to come to fruition. Mr. President, I will get this Korok to the moon. Come on, buddy. You need to work with me here. You son of a bitch. You know what? I'm just going to send you straight up and I hope it works out. Okay. Don't fuck me, Korok. Doing my best here. I don't think that worked out. <laughs> but we did our best. Okay. Now let's get him up there safely. <laughs> He's okay. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. You'd have to be able to angle it well. I don't think you can do that with a rocket. Um. Because up. It's too hot. Oh, buddy. It's just this warm. You're in a cold place. That's the problem. Oh, I also need to be able to grab him quick. Um. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. oh! And then grab him real quick. Come to me! Okay. Okay. <laughs> he was about to go right back to the sky. There we go. You're here! Thanks for being my friend. Here's something for you. Rock seed times two. Yeah. Bye bye! You're welcome. See? We made a happy ending for the Koroks. Just barely. Oh my god. This fucking. Time freeze skill is like the best in the world. What are you guys up to? Are you fi Oh, there's a human fighting. I'm coming, sir. Not in that way. Space program was about to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was about to be gone for good. I got your back, lady. What up? You never let your guard down, even around weak enemies. I can tell you're an adept fighter. It was destiny that brought us together here, and destiny that I give you this as thanks. 
Don't fight fate now. Yo, tough pumpkin stew. Let's go. Defense up. I love it. The first Korok to go to Mars. <laughs> Maybe if we strap like five rockets to one, he just won't come back down. <laughs> oh, me? My name is Kathy. I'm just a rootless wanderer going any way the wind blows. Any way the wind blows. I like you, Kathy. Gray hair. Good look. Hmm. Bright green eyes. Bright green eyeshadow. And right now, it's blown me onto the trail of the great bandit Misko's legendary treasure. The following rumor that one piece is in a cave near here. Mm. Trouble is, the rumor wasn't totally clear of where the cave was. I traveled a long way only to come up empty. Maybe I should try searching somewhere else. Maybe. Hmm. Cave, you say? I don't see a ca... But well, there's a chasm. There's a big-ass chasm. Probably a cave somewhere around here. Um, so this is like a point of interest kind of thing. But I'm going to the shrine. You can't distract me. She's very baby girl. I don't know. She did pretty good. She was fighting off that enemy. Is that a cave? Nah. Just part of the rock wall. Okay. Might as well save before we head on. Just in case I get lost. Mommy number two. <laughs> You can't make everybody mommy. <laughs> we. Yeah, we're not too far from the green one now. We're on our way. And then we're really close to the Rito village. Do we jump in it? We could have jumped in it. I don't like our odds of being able to climb back out of it. That takes a lot of stamina. Okay. Yeah, I mean, way too much stamina. Well, that looks like a cool point of interest. Nice little free tree. Some ice fruits. Always like me some ice arrows. Hello. Bird person. Hmm. Verla. What a disaster. I came all the way out to scrounge mushrooms and now this. I'll never get to the deep parts of the cave with a messed up... Oh, the cave is here. <laughs> we, we worked out pretty well. I'll never get to the deep parts of the cave with a messed up wing. Hey. Shell shrooms grow over this cave, so I figured it'd be a prime spot for scavenging a little food. The cold water is built up in here now, and I can't pick up any chill shrooms without crossing it. Ordinarily, my wings would take me right over a little pond like this. Mm. Oh, I hurt my wing in a small scrap with monsters. I don't see how I can fly over this pond in this condition. The worst part is, I was just bragging to the folks in the village that I'd bring back even more chill shrooms than last time. Uh. If I don't come back with at least ten of them, there'll be egg on my face. Well, since you put it that way... Wait. I used my last egg! I was going to throw an egg on her face. Now I'm just embarrassed. Now I'm just... I don't see a po Oh, in here? In there. I'll go get you your 10 chill shrooms. Too much inventory? There's so much inventory. <laughs> don't waste food, foo. It would have been worth it for the joke. Are these going to kill me? I feel like those stalactites are going to fall on me. Nah, we good. Ooh. I don't even need to use this. There's one on the other side. Chill shroom, chill shroom, chill shroom. Chill shroom. Oh, I can't reach it. That's why I need my own little raft. Into the water. Go. I can just make a bridge. I can just get even more. I don't have to, like, waste a fan. I can just bring a lot of these in here. Egg on your face, but you're a bird. Yeah, actually, that's a really bad phrase for a bird to use, considering that's their babies. Egg on their face means their babies are on their face. That's kind of terrifying. Just fuse a bunch of these together. Make a monstrosity. I'll just actually fuse this right here. Now I've got enough. Get out of my way, bird girl. Make it a bridge. I'm an engineer genius, me. <laughs> and now we separate. Um, um. 
Bang. DIY parkour. This is a DIY bridge. A really lazy bridge, but if it works, it works. If it ain't broken. Oh, I'm going to freeze. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. That'll do. Oh god, I'm gonna die! I lived. <laughs> that water drains your health so freaking quickly. Depends. I've seen birds eat other birds' babies. Oh, you know what? You're not wrong. As long as it isn't their eggs, I guess they'll find it. Eat them. Ooh. So much shit back here. No treasure, though. I was lied to. Secret treasure, my ass. Build a bridge works for way too much in this game. I think it should work for even more things. Every boss should be solved by just building a uh, bridge. Ah, oh, surprisingly, there's no booboo -boo frog in here. But I will take the sticky lizards. Sticky lizards are always fun. Can I break these? What if I use a bomb arrow? Nah, it just brings back. Oh, God! Okay, that's fair. I deserved that. That is something I deserved. Uh, let me just heal up real quick. Just in case we fall in the water again. You could fuse those? That makes fucking sense. I do have a... <gasps> Boomerang! No. <laughs> it's a... Oh, uh, traveler's sword. Oh. oh shit. Six plus eleven, not bad. I'll do the boomerang too, why not? Get a little extra pain for my boomerang. Fourteen. Oh my god. You have some pretty good weapons based on this nowadays. I'll leave an icicle off of this one. We don't I need I need something bigger for that. It's kinda nice though. I look kind of scary. <laughs> on we go. I don't want an ice core on my shield. I want my shields to have things that are interesting on them. New weapon unlocked? Hell yeah. As we should. Always. Keep innovating. Hey, bird person. I got you your mushy mushrooms. Yeah, I, I know. Buddy. I know. Is this enough? Wait, you didn't actually cross the pond and pick the chill shrooms, did you? I'm worried about falling into the freezing water. Well, gosh, that's really brave of you. I can't just take them for free, though. Here, I'll give you this. 50? You could have given me 100. Oh. I can make good on all my big talk. You know, this isn't the only cave in these mountains with pools of freezing water. Be careful where you explore. Man, didn't give me enough money. Hey, shelter! Uh. Okay, now I feel better love shield surfing even without a minecart ow enemy encampment and the green thing's got to be around here it must be up there actually suddenly goofy if anybody says well gosh they turn into goofy in my eyes i can't read that as anything other than goofy voice <laughs> we could have carried you ma'am i could have stuck her to the bridge i could have made her own little boat i would have been happy to do that she seemed like a nice lady Need to take out the blue one more than anything. Oh, but good, you're coming my way. Oop. You didn't see shit, sir. You, you still didn't see shit. There we go. <gasps> Mushrooms! <gasps> oh, you can't pick them up while you're sliding. That's dumb. Give me. Ice arrow fruit. Oh, God, they're coming for me. Oh, they don't explode with ice. Okay, I can just kill them. Ice key cyborg. Imbued with freezing power and able to murder. Homing ability and ice power? You can have homing ice arrows. Yo! Why am I so powerful? He says. Right before dying! Okay, yeah, I take those out with arrows. They scare me. I don't like them. 
Oh, that sounds wicked. Yeah, that sounds OP, to be honest. Yes, go kill them. Go, go kill them. Yes, I'm so proud of you. Good ice boy. Stop right there. Did he die to the fire? I think he died to the fire. Okay, it's bomb arrow time. Right into this dude's face. I think that killed them all. Oh god, give me the tooth. You son of a bitch! And the horn. Bomb arrow is a fucking OP, man. We have 25 of them already. Why do I hear things going back? What's this? Feathered edge. Oh, okay. Oh, so the retail weapons all blow air now as well. Hmm. Interesting. Up we go. Your icicle is my... It can melt off. That's wild. So we have to keep this in a cold area and stay away from fire. That's... That's, that's wild. Bomb arrow is so powerful. Yeah, no, that did the trick. Okay, we ran out of stamina just at the right time. We're so close now. Just a bit further, Link. I can see it. I can smell it. I mean, it is ice. Yeah, but I mean, it's fused to a weapon, so... I don't know. I thought it would break physics just because it's technically a weapon now instead of a random item. It makes more sense that, like, the game pays attention to that. Got a nice little natural staircase up. The Sahiro Shrine. The audio panning on that scream as it flew past. <laughs> it was perfect. They want you to really feel the damage you do to the tiny little defenseless enemies in this game. I love it. Bum, bum, bum. It's dangerous to approach enemies head on. Apply directly to the forehead. Aid from above. Hmm, above you say. I see no aid. This does not help me. This is a deadly laser, probably. Let's see what it does. Let's see what it does by doing this. I wish to test. <laughs> Ah, tis a pitfall. Tis a pitfall. So all we have to do is jump over it, right? Okay. It's just teaching me about the deadly lasers. They're not so deadly, but they activate traps. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> That's... Yay! Troll! Can I move these? No. Okay. Well, this isn't so bad. Could have been worse. Yay! Okay. Mission impossible? Yeah, pretty much. Thought it was going to get harder than that. We were fine. Come on. Get up there. There you go. Definitely going to get harder before the end. I mean, this one I can just duck, right? Yeah. Good thing I'm a short king. Can I carry these with me? Yeah, I can. Okay, but what does happen if I activate? Is this just another pitfall? Yeah. That one isn't even any big deal. I probably need those to do so. Oh. <gasps> Treasure chest. How do I get to you? Wait. Do you open when that's active? Yeah! Okay, sweet. That's nice easy. Oh, another spicy elixir. That's good. Double tier and for eight minutes. Nice and strong. Might need that when we start getting further into Hebra. Oops. 
Eek is up. Oh, it moves. I don't like that. <laughs> Wait. Oh, I'm trapped in here. Did it close? <laughs> you bastard. That's evil. Oh, God. Oh, there goes my block. Man. I had that for reasons. Oh, I see. We're getting challenged. Resident Evil style. It's this one. I'm sorry, what? All oh, right. Up from above. Go, 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 Link, Link. Okay. Okay. You know what? No, you carry me back that way. I ain't walking that way. Ikuza. To the finish. Yeah. Nice. Actual Resident Evil style. That shit panicked me. I don't trust it. This has a big back. Are you hiding something back here? No? Okay. Let me put it past you to put a hole down there. Okay. Let's get out of here then. Let me back to a film where someone got chopped up by lasers. That might have been Resident Evil. That Resident Evil, yeah, they got locked in a room with those kinds of things. And they had to like dodge them or get destroyed. Resident Evil as a scene was terrifying back then. Especially, I forget which guy it was. It actually got one guy and like, I remember him just standing there for a second. And then the like, the, blo the marks of blood appeared and they fell to pieces. It was great. The fear in your voice though, it was kind of terrifying, man. Ogata Mirio. I don't even know who that is. Dramatic timing, foo. How we like to do. Okay, we get that tower. And then we can go to Bird Village. And then we can also go to Yellow Shrine. Perfect. Oop. How far are you? I can probably fly there. And it auto-saved. Hmm, that's a lot of enemy campfires down there. I'm not dealing with that. They can deal with themselves. Those are big campfires. I'm kind of interested, actually. Oh, but then I'd have to climb back up. Oh. I'll get you after the tower, whatever you are. It's nice and easy to get to this tower. That was it. For me, it was the 13 ghost. Oh, God. 13 ghosts was so fun. It has a very nice soundtrack to this area. Okay. I can probably burn these down, but there's probably an easier way to just climb around them somewhere. I could just climb up a tree and jump. Or I could make a log bridge. There's a lot of ways I could do this. Hmm. Just climb up that mountain a tiny bit and get over them. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. That's the simplest way to do it. Doesn't take as much time as cutting down all those trees first. Weep. 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 Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. If I just keep doing this, eventually I'll get my stamina back. You've got this, Link. This is how we relax. That's how we rest. Yeah, that should be high enough. Simples. Pogo shield? Uh, yeah, we got rid of the spring shield, unfortunately. It was only one use and we used it. We do have rocket shield, but I don't want to waste that on that when we can just literally do that. That was easier. I hated the headless ghost. It was the girl in the bathtub for me. The girl in the bathtub kind of freaked me out. There's a shrine in the sky. I did not ever expect there to be shrines in the sky. Look at that shit. Ooh, that's so high up. Google Maps time for real. Oh, this is Hebra. <laughs> that definitely actually helps. <laughs> sky map updated. There's a few sky islands around here. I like that one, though. It's got a 
shrine can i get to it let me take control link oh no that's like super fire up there i'm gonna need like tons of stamina to get to that okay where will we go in next um birdie point what's that thing Oh, there's floating stuff all around here, actually. I might be able to get to that. Oh, we're coming down already. Jesus. This one does not take you very high. It's not actually that far. I have a lot of stamina healing stuff. I feel like I'm not supposed to be there yet, though. Now, where was... The Sky Island? It is west. Somewhere out there. Weird looking one. Made him, made him. Yeah, that got terrifying. Oh, there's a cute little shrine. And that's in the Rito village. Okay, that's perfect. We'll just go to Rito village. Oh, is this just a bunch of enemies? Oh, Zonai. What are they doing on the ground? That's unusual. I thought they stayed in the sky. Ah, we got to find out what's up with that. It must be protecting something. Bro, I was about to face plant. Yeah, it was very close. Wait. Who's that? A dock. Oh, that's the training ground. I remember that. What are you guys doing? Oh, this giant bit of Sky Island fell down. So they must have come down with it. Oh, and a treasure. I just la didn't even notice that was a treasure chest. Oh, yeah. Giant bright bloom. He's a big boy. Try and kill a weak one. See how strong they are. That's not so bad. Uh-oh. That one's a lot stronger. No rocks. Put your rocks away. Come on. Get back up. One more arrow gonna do it. There we go. Okay, now for you. Yeah, he's a big boy. It freezes them too? Okay, that's kind of wild. This is a much better weapon than I thought it was. Flame emitter shield. And if I, oh god. Okay, this is. This is a problem. This is a problem! Oh god, they've got windy weapons. <laughs> Bye, guys. Be back for you in a minute. Oh, God. He blew me. Not in the fun way. Ascend! Anytime now, Link. Thank you. You heard what he did to me. Okay. I lift. Where are they? Now we're fighting at my time, bitches. Nah. Nah, just remove. How do I? Oh. Just get to him. Just get to him. Ah, and I'm out of stamina. <laughs> Fucking wind weapon, man. I hate you. I hate you so much. Quit it. Bad. Oh, Coblin. Okay. He's going to die with an arrow to the face because he's iced. And then we get a problem. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, buddies. It's a lot of buddies to play with. Oh, there's so much more than I thought. Okay. 
Maybe I shouldn't have challenged an entire village of enemies. It's okay. We'll live this. We'll, we'll live this. Oh, God. We just need to ascend again. That's what we need to do. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Link, 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 for the love of God. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> now we just use one bomb arrow and we win. <laughs> Come on, come out from underneath. Only I get to play this game. Hmm. They're gonna take a while, huh? What are they seeing? You know what? Fine, I'll get you in the hole. The hole works too. Like, that's a nice little area for you all to be in. That's what I thought. So, spear. They hear you, I think. That must have been it. It's kind of terrifying, though. Oh, I destroyed the ice fruit. Mmm. I want that flame emitter shield. What do I drop for it, though? Mm, I guess this one. Bum, bum, ba, da, bum, bum, bum. Try to get them in the hole? Yeah, it worked pretty well. They were in the hole, and then they died. As they should. I picked up the wrong shield. There's still an enemy here! Are you serious? Sir, I'm not, I'm not thrilled about this. I broke my icicle weapon already? Damn. <laughs> Go to sleep. Oh, you lived. Damn. Now you didn't. Hmm. <laughs> How was that flame emitter shield? Did it? Oh, it burned to death. Damn. I could just make my own, actually. Drop that one. Grab this one. And we fuse. The, the flame emitter, damn it. Wait, I can't do that? Oh, that is the... Ignore me. <laughs> Ignore me! I thought that was a single flame emitter. I couldn't see the shield part of it. Okay. We killed all these bad boys. Let's take our reward. Oh, we have to break our way to it. Did you blind? Yeah, you know what? <sighs> it's what happens every now and then. Put it back down, Link. That's not what we wanted. Oh, my rock hammer's almost done, too. And it's gone. Uh, what do we use to break these, then? It's a sword. Let's fuse it with... Whatever happens to be around me. Oh, a boot for cobbling horn. Fuse with that. Uh, um... That shit, sure. <laughs> Barricade sword. <laughs> Walked away and now we're clowns. Yeah. We're having a day. This was the wrong fusion to do. Um, Let's just drop that. That did the opposite of what we wanted. <laughs> oh. What? I've come to think of it. I'm a fucking idiot. We can just do this Breath of the Wild style. <sighs> well, we've learned a lesson today. Many lessons, in fact. Ones that we probably should have learned before. This one's trying to kill me. What the hell, dude? Finally. Don't lose your bot way? What's a bot way? Did you just mean way? <laughs> okay, let's take that off. We back. We earned our way back to Link. Oh good, that's a bird person. For a second I was like, was that a Lionel? That's definitely a secret too. We 
going on so many adventures today. This is how monkeys open coconuts. I finally achieved monkey level IQ. Oh. Hey there, are you here because you spotted the bonfires? The blizzard makes it hard to see where they're going, so we keep these bonfires going as a beacon for lost travelers. They eat up a lot of firewood, but it's worth it. You can spot them even from up in the air. But as proud as I am of them, they can't beat the spotlight set up around that fancy tower. Yeah, I've already been up there. Don't worry about Was mm -hmm. that? I won't warm you up like a bonfire will, but it's great for its size and brightness. Ooh. Hylians are pretty incredible to have built something so impressive. Oh, it was a, 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 a flag. I thought I saw a dragon when it turned the camera angle up that way. This is a lodge? I'm taking your shit. Mine now. Can I have those? Whoa. We found these strange things at the foot of the Hebron Mountains. They're oddly shaped, aren't they? Mm. I've done every test I can think of, but I haven't learned anything. Not even what they're made of or what they're for. All I know is they're pretty heavy and pretty sharp. It'd probably hurt if you got hit by one, huh? Well, I've got all I'm going to get out of these things. Oh, she actually gave them to me. Damn. I want one on my weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll take the other two. Axes or hammers work better for... Yeah, I know. I just don't have any of those things right now. My boulder hammer just broke. So I'm just slicing away. <sighs> you know what? Probably shouldn't have done that. But I committed to it. And then I got angry that it wasn't working. I'm going to keep doing it. Damn it! There we go. Two arrows. What a trade. And now I need to break through these. There we go. Much better. TOTK is just caveman simulator. That's how I feel. <laughs> it's nice that you asked for the things first. Yeah, I stole the firewood and flint because I was like, they won't miss this. But then when it came to the soldier construct horns, I was like, these are pretty fancy. Uh, I'm waiting for Tulin. We were supposed to go looking for food together, but he's running late. Probably still getting ready at Rito Village. Okay, I'll go to Rito Village. Don't you worry. Oh, you cooking? Ah. ah, I'm drawing up a special menu for those out scavenging for food or investigating. Ingredients are hard to come by in this blizzard. We'll be fine if we get a little creative with our cooking. But the right ingredients, a little food can go a long way. <laughs> for example, a pinch of spicy pepper warms you up so much you don't notice the cold. We do not have many of them here, but you're welcome to what's available. Mm. In tough situations like this, everyone needs to look out for each other. Yep. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is also mine. Thank you. I agree. More wood. Read the book about the Stormwind Ark. Hell yeah. What do you want to read? The Legend. One day, the winds that ought to blow in Wito Village ceased. Then the heavens grew stagnant, and the earth fell to ruin. The villagers looked skyward for a solution. They saw a figure pierce through the unmoving gray clouds and descend swiftly toward them. Believing no ordinary being could fall from the heavens, the villagers called this figure a god, and the god stood atop a hill day after day, longing to return home to their island in the heavens. The villagers, forgetting their own troubles, tried to carry the god home on their proud wings. Yet who could say how far it might be, the place this god came from? The Rito took flight in turn, each hoping to reach that place above the clouds. Alas, none had wings strong enough. Wait, I've got a thing for this. I have to this. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Seeing this, the god told the leader of the village that returning to the heavens was possible if the Rito gathered materials. Their spirits high, the village set about doing so. The god nodded upon seeing the tall pile of materials. This, they understood, would be enough. The god poured a strange power into the pile, and several small boats were assembled. Cautiously, the villagers boarded. The small vessels began floating up into the air. With the god leading them, the boats rose higher and higher, soon passing through the thick clouds. The vastness of the heavens took the villagers' breath away. Floating islands dotted a clear blue sky. The villagers rejoiced, songfully, and then, with reluctance, returned to Earth. One day, winds at the village roared back to life. 
In shock, the villagers looked to the sky. Floating above them was an enormous ship that the god had sent in gratitude. Numerous oars on both sides began to move like wings, soundlessly churning the skies. Air blew across Hebra once again. The skies cleared, and blooming flowers rose from the ground. The god had given them the blessing of the wind. This ark that saved the village from catastrophe came to be known as the Storm in Dark. So ends the story of the Storm in Dark that saved the village long ago. That's a nice story. I like that. So the reason that the Wito is so good at like dealing with the wind and have like blessed weapons that can like slice through the air and shit is apparently because they were blessed by the goddess of wind. I wonder if that's fair or, or I wonder if that was Hylia. Either way, it's definitely like one of the people that like ascended to the heavens along with like Hylia in the beginning. Now the Stong. Once a god fell from heaven, still stilling the Hebra winds. The heavens grew lifeless just as the air below thinned. With the world in upheaval, we pledged to help the Lord. A line of ships soaring built as a passage skyward. The god ascended to heaven, leaving behind an ark. Its wind brought us new life. Thanks to its great divine spark. Ew! I have a song for it too. That's adorable. I like these guys. They're very comfy around here. What are you doing? Oh. Is that? Why do I always give them that voice? Is that? It is. Hey, bud. <laughs> Look at this guy's hair. God damn. I heard you were missing, but here you are, looking perfectly healthy to me. Table was worried about you, you know. Have you been to see him yet? Oh. I'm tempted to go tell him the good news, but I'm all tied up at the moment. Tepa should be in Rito Village, which is just south of here. I'm sure he'd be happy to get a visit from you. I'm sure he would, but first I'm going to heal. Cabin is so sweet and cozy. Yeah, everyone's so friendly too. Oh, like Icarus in the Tower of... When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land... It's not comfy anymore! The spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Thanks, Zelda. That was a lovely nighttime surprise. We just had a comfy bedtime story. And then that shit. Ooh. <gasps> Goron spice? No, oil jar. A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. It's very versatile in cooking. It cooks flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. <gasps> you have oil in this game now. Zelda said no comfy streams for you. Yeah. He was like, this is a bit too comfy. Let, let, let me fix that for you. Let, let me deal with that. Oh, the guy's holding the sign again. I got you, brother. Let me grab my grabby hand. There you go, buddy. You're in the way. Uh, we spin it this way. Oh, that was stupid. Why am I so bad at this right now? There we go. Make a foundation. And then we stick some of these to it. The timing? I know, right? Oh, wait. You're holding it this way. My bad. It's my bad, big man. There we go. That's what we want. Bum, bum, ba -da bum, bum. Bum, bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. We gotta help this dude to hold his sign. Gotta make it more stable. Yo, Mika, what up? Thank you for the raid. We're just playing some Zelda, having a nice comfy time. Zelda just tried to murder us, but other than that, the simplest foundation works the best. Hey, what up? I hope you guys all had fun on Mika's stream. Oh, it's you. Thank you for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. I've eaten a special rice ball I made, so the cold weather won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. I mean, it's kind of standing. Yeah, that'll work. Ah! How's the president standing? Ah! Oh, that was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Go, buddy. Yeah, I played a game that I thought you might like. It's a story-based game with Firewatch X Life is Strange Vibes. Yo, what's it called? I love both of those. Just put this right here and get that fastened. 
And... Uh... Also, what is your fan base called? I don't think I've ever heard the name. I didn't know what to say, but welcome everybody who's just joined in. We're just playing Tears of the Kingdom. We're just having a fun time with Silly Game. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. But take this with my thanks. Got a red rupee. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Well, let me give you a little something I made. Biting meteorized balls. Oh, cold weather attack. That's good for this area. Uh, but I still don't feel like I've thanked you enough. This is a little something for my premium connection. Oh, yeah. More bombs. Ah. It's called Road 96. I haven't finished it, but it's so good that I'm in shock. They called them... Oh, Meleticots. Oh, that's a freaking cute name. Also, Paku Chump? Wait, is Paku Chump an insult? I feel like you just made me say something bad. I don't like how you laughed after that one. But Meliticots is really cute. Thank you for raiding us, Mika. I'll have to look into Road 96. I feel like I heard of that one. Maybe not. Is it made by... Anapuna? Is it like produced by Anapuna? Fuck who is now? Okay, that's not so bad. Nail champ. That's... Unless that has dirty connotations. <laughs> Either way. <laughs> such a good game. I'll check it out after this. Thank you guys. Thank you for the recommendation, Mika. Now I can go to other places to put up more signs. And with that, I'm off. Later, buddy. That sign is not standing up straight. Oh, God. I didn't know you could have it leaned over. I fucked up. Okay, well, I mean, it worked. <laughs> I got away with it. I got my money. <laughs> Ooh, his robe. I'm gonna murder him. The board is the same angle. I know, it's weird. It's still lopsided. I didn't know they were going... Oh, yeah, I never went underground. But first... Look at me. Hey. Oh. He disappeared. I give my... Give my... Get over here, you. Oh, God. Oh, we might want to heal. That did a lot of damage. Maybe an apple. Maybe a fish. Perfect. Okay, now we finish him. Get over here! I should probably not break... Well, fuck it. That's fine. We don't like that anyway. Ah, that was a bad choice. Made a bad choice with my life. No, no, no. No big blizzard. Sapphire. What? That wasn't a rod? An average sword used largely by travelers. The blade is decayed, but... As a sapphire. Oh. So sapphire just ice powers things. That's crazy. Yeah, give me back my icicle boomerang. This game's wild. Okay. See what happens when we break straight down into the underground earth. This might be bad. Are you spanking him? Essentially. Yeah. Oh, it's just water. But we were going to find a secret cave system. But it's just water. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's what ice is. It's frozen water. Oh, how do we get up there? We are at the wrong location to get into the Rito village. Ha. Rot row. Oh, there's a bridge to the east. That's a long walk. That's a long walk. Oh well. Gotta do what we gotta do. Good time, which Zelda game is your favorite? Probably this one. <laughs> Before this, hmm. Breath of the Wild is a very different kind of Zelda game. Like, I love Breath of the Wild. I'm not sure if it's my favorite because it's so different from every other Zelda game. Uh, before that, I would definitely have said Majora's Mask was my favorite. Uh, Breath of the Wild is a very different game, but I guess it became my favorite because I put like 300 hours into it. It was like just so different, but I can't say anything other than I love it. So probably Breath of the Wild. What? 
Oh, God. You know what? I'm not dealing with your shit today. I've dealt with enough of you. How did he live? Wait a minute. Just stay down. There we go. And you. Come here. Yeah, I took your wooden stick. What do you think you're doing? Oh, crap. Nice and easy. What about Twilight Princess? Twilight Princess. Uh, maybe in my top five. I don't know. A Link to the Past is up there. Ocarina of Time's up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually probably in my top five. But not my favorite. Twilight Princess was good and dark. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't incredible. Some of the dungeons were good. Wind Waker was pretty good too. Beat him with a thick stick. Yeah, that's what we had to do. Didn't have any other better weapons, so it's time for a thick stick. Oh, damn it. Why don't these boxes break each other? Okay. That asset looks so good. Thank you. It's beautiful. The artist's name is in the description of the video. You can view, you can view like all the other artwork they've done. They make a beautiful work. Lazel Reaper. Nice. Got a lot of weapons now, actually. Okay, it's time. Shield surf. This is the wrong shield for this, but it's working. Till it's not. Let's get a flatter shield. There we go. That's an enemy. <laughs> you think I don't see you? I see you. But I thought. Oh, now we're out of hell. <laughs> Idiot. Later, loser. <laughs> Is this where I saved the bird girl who needed mushrooms? He was sleeping? No, he was lying in wait. He wanted to kill me. No, this is just a watery area. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's move on. Tony Hawk Pro Shielder. If only we still had the minecart, man. If this tree comes to life, that's going to be terrifying. I have a feeling. No? It's just a giant tree. With a lot of eggs. Mysterious. That looks like such a setup for horror. Don't jinx it. I was so ready, man. Oh, human. What up, human? The bridge is busted. Ah, oh, shit. Well, let me guess. We have business in Rito Village as well. I'm well, sorry to disappoint you, but the bridge is down. There's no way across. Since the newspaper read an article about the Rito food shortage, supply shipments have started to arrive, which is great. But with no bridge, there's no way to transport the goods to the Rito. I'm at my wit's end. And since the sun is refusing to show its face, it's cold. I might throw another Hylian pine cone on the fire. Those things burn hot. Last time I stoked the fire with one, it caused a gust of wind. Oh, that's how I get across, huh? Recently, that guy Gali tossed one on the fire next to some newspapers. Papers, they got caught up in a gust of wind and flew all the way to Rito Village. Okay, I get it. I get it. Use a gust of wind. That's no way to treat the written word. But the written word should be shared with the world. Wait, wasn't I coming here for a... Oh, no, the Rito Village has one. We love more trees here. Not if they try to kill us. We don't. <laughs> there are a couple of trees that are moving or talking in movies and I think about it. We, we fought some trees earlier. It, it was not fun. Um... We walked over to some trees. Hestu said he was scared of them. I was like, don't worry, Hestu. I'll chop those down for you. I went over to chop them up. They stood up on legs and tried to eat me. It was not fun. <laughs> Shut up, Pen. Sure. Tracy, our editor here. I need, a, I need a more himbo. Wait, what did he say? He did the sky high. Tracy, our editor here, is getting ready for our big Princess Zelda investigation. You'll hear about our newspaper, right? Then you could talk to me too. I'm next in charge. Oh. oh, wait a minute. It's you. I gotta say, you did a good job getting out here to find us. It's quite a hike from Lookout Landing when you haven't got wings. But here you are. Was it easy to find the space? Oh. Some folks passed by without a second look. After all, it was a stable until Tracy cheated the previous owner out of it. Wow, you're just gonna openly admit that. <laughs> I miss Cast too. Yeah, Cast was way more cool. 
You don't miss a thing, do you? Not bad. Not bad at all. I assume you came for the job. You want to work for the newspaper, right? I'll vouch for you with Tracy. Ah. Just picture it. Traveling the world as a reporter, shining light on the truth. We'll be partners out there. Ah. Hey, quiet. Ah. Don't you listen, Pen? I told you I was busy, but you keep bothering me. And another thing. I bought this place from the owner after we came to a fair mutual beneficial agreement. Could you stop telling people I cheated him out of it? Oh. <laughs> He's a reporter, man. He's got to tell the truth. <laughs> I, sorry, Tracy, but there's a new applicant for a reporter job. I wanted you to know. Huh? New applicant. Huh. You don't dress like a newspaper writer. Come to think of it, we are in the freezing cold, and I'm out here with my nipples showing us. Embarrassing. Hey, hang on. You look like... Ah. Huh? Le, le. Hey, sorry, Pen, but could you give me and this guy a second here? She actually recognizes me. Of all the people, well, I mean, she is a newspaper reporter. Well, that makes sense. Ah. Oh, thank you for donating the food fund, sensitive bunny. I hope you have a wonderful evening and rest well. Please, yeah, do sleep when you're tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope you feel better soon. Rest well and take it easy. All right. How about you give me the whole story, Link? I'm the editor of the Lucky Clover Gazette here, if you couldn't tell, so don't worry. I know everyone involved with this story. Pura asked us to help digging into what's happening to Princess Zelda. Now tell me everything. What exactly brought you here? Uh. My, my girlfriend turned into the sun. That's rough, buddy. So that's why she asked you to investigate places seriously impacted by the upheaval. Uh. Ah, coming here was a great call. What I mean is, we're getting tips from all over Hyrule. So many, in fact, that it's been hard to keep up. And among those tips, we've been hearing about someone who looks like the princess appearing in all sorts of places. Uh. I was about to assign Pen to chase those leads, but he could use a partner. I won't tell Pen who you are. It's better if no one knows you're involved. What do you say? Think you could work with him as we investigate? Of course, I wouldn't ask you to do it for free. Oh, that'd be nice. Wait just a second. I'm going to get you a little incentive from the back. Here we go. No way. You're giving me a whole armor set? Ta-da. The full set of froggy armor. Why? Oh, God. Look at the feet. Oh, those are some grippers. I'm not sure how I feel about this now. With that on, it's easy to clean the wet surfaces. No slipping. For real? For free? You work with Pen to chase down all these news stories. Then I'll give you this armor piece by piece. Oh, okay. It's a continuous fetch quest. <laughs> Fair enough. Mom? Pretty good deal there, Link. Uh, anyway, that's my offer. Hey! Pen, you can come back in. What are those? What are those? They're little froggy glippers. I want them. I want them so bad. Starting now, this guy's your partner. Huh. Well, if our editor says you're in, that looks like I have you sized up right. Why did I change his voice again? Sky, hey! Uh, Tracy knows how to pick him. Oh. All right, you two. Here's what you're going to do. Visit every stable for leads. Pen, you'll head this all up. Stables bring in people, and people bring details. And details are what we need. Now, get out there and get me pictures of Spider-Man! I'll get you pictures of Spider-Man. First, I want the froggy armor. Ah. That said, a froggy armor caught your eye. Blah, 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 blah. Not be able to slip. Get ah. to the bottom. Here you go. Do more missions. Okay. Look at those. <laughs> froggy grippers. <laughs> Booty man, booty man. I'm happy. I want it. Oh, the archive. But I'm an archivist. No. Let me in. I, to, I should just be able to climb in there. This box is in the way. I can't climb these. Get out of my way. Archives. I need the archives. You son of a bitch. Keep in the archives for me. Okay, Pen, what's our plan? I'll just see you at the next table. I don't like you very much. I'm gonna go make a gust of wind. Let him in. I know, right? How dare they? Archive blocked. I wonder if you get into the archive at the end of the mission. Then you find, like, ooh, the secrets. Okay. What do I need? A pine cone? Pine cone. That's an acorn. Surely I have a pine cone. 
I might not have a pine cone. <laughs> Fuck. I don't have a pine cone. There must be one around here. They wouldn't tell me about pine. Ah ha ha ha! Eileen pine cone. I've definitely had one before. In four hours. What? It's crazy. Well, we're not stopping anytime soon. I had 11. How did I not see these? Anyway. Oop. Whoa! That's no freaking joke. And off we go to find the Rito. Ah, wow. That is, that's basically... What's it called? Um... The, the, the thing that the bird dude... Rivali's Gale. That's basically a Rivali's Gale you can just make with a pinecone. On demand Rivali... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pinecone? Fuck yeah. Fuck Rivali. I don't need him anymore. Guy was a douche. Was trying to one-up me. That's a treasure chest. <laughs> That's the Wind Waker theme. Oh, that's so nice. Yep. Five arrows, really? <laughs> I mean, I'll take them, but. Da -da -da. Bum, bum. Bum 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 Let's see what's behind this. Another? Don't you mind it. One more, huh? a lot of fire fruit yeah. worth it hopefully <laughs> dragon roost my childhood it's such a good song let's go purple the purple rupee was that worth three fire fruit Maybe i should have found another way to break that i have a flame emitter shield what am i doing unwin hey fulgur i've gotten two members of niji yen to say my name correctly I'd like you to give it a try if possible was it Anwin, or did I fuck it up? <laughs> Either way, thank you for donating the feed, fans. Hope you're having a good day. Oh, a pine cone. No pine cone. Everything seems so dead here. <gasps> I can finally get a thing. Also, Chingsta, sharing my birthday wish with you, confidants, and you. Stay happy and all your dreams came true. Thanks for appearing in my life. I don't think I'll be in this version of... Wait. I think I'll be this version of me if it wasn't for you. Oh, thank you so much. Happy birthday, Chingstar. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. That's very sweet of you. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the year, too. Thank you for joining us. <sighs> okay, there's a lot of people dropping. Sorry, I shouldn't have started reading Super Chats in the middle of a game. That's my bad. I'll read the last one, and then we'll stop for a while. <laughs> um, Sudukula. Sorry, Fuchan. This timing is not the best to say. It's, today is my birthday. Have a good day and good game. Good night. Happy birthday, Sudakula too. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I hope you had a wonderful celebration. I will catch you soon. Don't worry if you have to go to bed. Please take it easy. I remember these babies. We sang songs together. You got here just in time, mister. We're about to practice our song. It's called the Song of the Stormwind Arc. We're going to sing it together to save our village from the upheaval. You going to listen? Sure. You're actually going to sing or are you going to fuck up? We love an audience, so we'll give it our best for you. Everyone ready? A one and a two and... It kind of lines up. Let's try this. With the world in upheaval... We pledge to help the Lord Align the ship soaring Build as a passage skyward The God ascended to heaven Leaving behind an ark it's, it's off 
Its winds brought us new life, thanks to its great divine spark. I did my best. Uh, oh. This song is about the Ark that saved Rito Village a long, long time ago. Something bad happened then, just like it's happening now. Oh. Hey, that Stormwind Ark. Is it really real? I mean, you guys sang the song, so I guess you saved the village. Papa told me it's always watching over us high in the sky. We could sure use its help with this awful blizzard. Most of the adults aren't around anymore because of the weird weather. But if we don't have the Ark and we don't have the adults, it's up to us kids to take care. Practice is over today, Genli. You're in charge of food. And Molly will need you to make arrows. We've all got our jobs to do, so let's do them. Oh, no. Children working towards the war effort. Wait, you just told them? She just sent them off to do work and she's just going to stand here and sing. Okay. I mean, that's the elder sister energy. Yeah, no singing for you. Okay, this is an inn. I don't really want to stay in an inn. Oh, is your mama gone? Oh, no. I did it again. The beds are too soft and inviting. <gasps> A customer? We're sleeping. I wasn't sleeping, not me. Oh. Welcome to the Swallow's Roost Inn. Oh, you don't have any other... A <laughs> <laughs> name would be so dirty if I wasn't talking to a child right now. <laughs> Your mother has interesting tastes for what she, uh, what she named this. We don't have any other guests at the moment, so rest easy and rest well. A regular bed is 20 rupees, and a silky soft Rito downbread is 50. Silky soft? A silky soft Rito downbread is made with lots of Rito feathers. It's soft and fluffy and gives the best of sleeps ever. If you only sleep in one bed here at the Swallow's Roost, make it that one. As soon as my head hits the pillow, it's like someone threw a blanket over me. Not that I ever use the beds. Where else would you sleep? There's no separate room. In the, you've got to sleep in their beds. When you wake up again, you'll be full of energy and ready to go. I'm good. Wait, do you stuff them with... Rito down? Is it like Rito feathers? Huh? No, no, I didn't want... No, never mind. I'm not spending 50 rupees. Oh, she sounded so sad. Oh, God, her parents have got... You know what? Fine. Give me the Rito huh? down. Huh? It's until morning. Okay, got it. I'll give you a chirp when it's morning. Sleep well, mister. Man, why'd she have to sigh like that? That was <laughs> fucked up. Damn, Link. He snores in a very cute way. <laughs> Damn, Link making me feel some things. Link's just like, his snores are just like, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Whoa, three extra hearts. Morning, mister. How about that silky soft Rito down bed, huh? I'll take care. I got hoodwinked by a child. Never ever let a child try to sell you. Oh, it's got extra stamina too. You know what? That might have been worth it. It's kind of badass. Oh, now I'm going to have no money for the actual store. You need fish? What kind of fish you want? I got lots of fish. Hi. Link noises started me down a dangerous path a long time ago. I feel that. I feel like a lot of people got, like, awakened by, like, the Tomb Raider, like, Lara Croft noises. Like, all you had to do was backflip in that game on the PlayStation 1, and she'd be like... Uh, uh, uh. And same for Link. You just swing his sword around, and he's like... Yeah, yeah, ha, yeah, yeah, ah. I get that. I get that. <laughs> Full time he's make... Are there really no adults in this? Where have your parents gone? Full time he's make for Happy Rito. That's why I like learning new meals out of the recipe book. I saw one in there that I know everyone would love. A fish pie made with... Oh, shit, I used all my stamina. Doesn't that sound yummy? Mm, problem is, I can't leave the village to catch a stamina bass thanks to this dumb blizzard. I have everything else. Tabantha wheat, goat butter, rock salt. But if I'm going to make a fish pie, I need the fish. I need stamina bass. Hey, hold up, Genli. I got you. We're gonna we're gonna have a distraction here for a moment. I can't use it in the village. You know what, Genli? Fuck you. No fish for you. I'm busy. <laughs> I was going to get you some fish, but I can't get you some fish right now. 
I mean, you're right. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like everybody did that back in the day. Hooray, a customer. Welcome to the Slippery Falcon. Why Slippery? Why have they named their things this way? General store. Thanks for stopping by. At least it's not the Slippery Swallow. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by in spite of the weather. What can I do for you, mister? I'm good. I, I'm, I'm just out of here. I don't... Call me when your parents are back. I'm... Sh they've named these things horribly. Where, where's my... Yeah, yeah, I've got to... Let's do a shrine. Gatticus shrine. Borg, why? It's them. It's not me. It's the burbs. The burbs have made everything into a dirty joke. Oh, goddamn. Water time. Oh, this is actually perfect. I'm going to have another four things. I can get another heart if I want. Or I could get another... Ride the winds. That should be simple. Or I could get another... Well, my first. Why does that feel like that's going to hurt me? I could get my first stamina enhancement is what I mean to say. Um, get that ready just in case. Yeet! You want me to ride the winds, huh? Ooh, laser beams. This should be easy. Yay! That was super easy. I expected better from you, game. Unless you've got something hidden there. Nope. Oh. Okay. This is cooler. Yay! No, not that bug. And there goes all my bonus hearts. I just <laughs> I was uh wait that cracks the ice hit it link hit it he's coming down so slowly I'm gonna get there eventually wait for it wait for it <laughs> I could probably just shoot it with an arrow like all things considered um that'll probably be faster yeah that was funny though okay so I can go down there there's enemies can I go straight up no. Down I go. Yeet! Hey, buddy. You want to play a game? Later! Oh, there's more than... I saw two. Oh, they've got fire arrows. There we go. And you restart? Why would I restart? What did I do wrong? Uh, let's drop this baby bow. There we go. Some arrows. None of the fire stuff, though. What up, buddy? Ready to die. Yeah. That may have hurt me, but it hurt you a whole lot more. Did their items get sucked up? Yeah, they did. That's so sick. Where did I kill that other guy? Oh, over here. That's just caught in the wind. That's so cool. I think the other one went up the middle. Oh, yeah, I can just leave those. Dun, 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 dun. Arrows. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I'm not bothered to get his items. <laughs> Let's just go under. That easy? That easy. Again, I expected more. <laughs> I, I feel like they've been giving me real easy shrines recently. They used to be a lot harder. But John, where did you go? All over the place. Where did you go? Mission impossible, but it's slow motion. Yeah, it took me so long to actually hit the ground there. That was so funny. They mean for the bonus hearts. Oh, nah, it's fine. I fucked it up. I was really more of like a role-playing thing than anything else anyway. It was just like, I felt bad that the child sighed. I I'll pay you money. You can have your money. Does she wait? Oh, do they get hard? Let's go. Remember those motion control shines? No, because they traumatized me. I liked the one where you could turn the entire puzzle upside down, though. Just be like, no, I don't want to do your puzzle. And so I shan't. Korok? <laughs> You found me. 
Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye, little Korok. Have a rock. He's okay. He's fine. Don't worry about him. He's doing great. Okay, we got the shrine. Now we have to climb back up. That's fine. Puzzle solutions are flexible, as they should be. We've still got the extra stamina. The stamina is actually pretty cool. And we wanted to be down here anyway, because the goddess statue is on the way up. There we go. Now my only question is... I get one more heart, or do I start on stamina? I think one more heart. Yeah, I think six hearts is a good start. That should keep me safe for a while. Futan, why? The funsies. It's okay. The Korok doesn't feel pain. He says, ooh, but it don't actually hurt him. He's not real like that. He's a spirit. Heart container, a rare item. Okay, six hearts should be good. From then on, we can start doing stamina. Bum, ba -dum -bum. She's still singing. Let's go find my friend Taba. They said he was in this village. Tulin as well, which is Taba's child. <gasps> You've got the armor. Oh, it's so expensive, but it's so pretty. And it has cold resistor. I want the hair. Oh no, it turns it into a ponytail. I don't like that anymore. Okay, I want the chest. 500? I, I can make that. What do you think is prettier? Archaic or this? Because I always liked the snow quill look. What do you guys prefer? Don't like ponytails? No, because this hair is so wild. I love it. I thought they would have changed the look of the headdress, but they've just kept it the same as in Breath of the Wild. Snow Quill, Archaic, Rito is prettier. Does you know Korok backwards is still Korok? Yeah, true. Snow Quill, then Diet Later, Snow Quill, Snow Quill. Yeah, I think we'll bounce between the two. We'll buy Snow Quill. Hi. Hi, hi. Thanks for coming in, even though it's snowing so hard. It's cold in the village, but it's even colder on top of the mountain. Feel free solid and pink if you don't find a way. Oh, so we need this anyway. We actually legitimately need cold resistance level two. Lucky for you, we sell warm clothes what brings you to the shop today well i need to sell see how many fancy materials i have how many rocks have i got for you that's a lot of amber could make two. Oh, that's expensive though 30 100 oh man um do you take meat how much is that 35 oh god this is gonna hit me kind of hard yeah, you can have a lot of amber. Um, oh, flint's actually worth quite a bit. You can take like, I don't know, 20 of these. That's 100. Shit. Sure. And then maybe 10 of these. That'll be enough. Have 13, sure. Bring me down to 10. Okay. That'll do. Sell me the armor. Are you leaving, mister? Let me give you a neat tip first. People are finding more caves all the time on the road east of here and on the way up the Hebra Mountain. Caves are nice because they're warm. You can hide out from the cold there if you don't have our outfits. Plus, you can find shiny ores inside the sparkly rocks sometimes. We'll pay a lot for those ores, and so will the folks at the general store. So keep an eagle eye out for them. Okay. First, give me this. Okay, turn me into a burb. You look pretty good in that, mister. Oh, yeah, you don't have to. Oh. I mean, you're not wrong. I look kind of badass, but you don't. Adorable burb. Yeah, okay. Two levels of cold resist should be fine. Put it down to like a barely a blip. We'll keep this on for now, so let's trade. But we'll go back to the archaic once we're no longer in the Rito area. I like the look, though. I do want to dye it. I want to dye it blue or green. The maroon ugh, clashes with my pants. Perhaps it's amiibo time for items. Nah, not quite yet. Uh, couldn't even get the Staminoka basket. It doesn't seem like you can do it in this town. You'd have to go out of town. Oh, the adults really are gone. Did they die? Did <gasps> soup ladle? But I can't carry it. Look how Link's face is redder because of the cold. Yeah, it's a nice little attention to detail. It gets a little bit of wind burn. 
You can cook full gourmet meat and sell it for like 350 ru Really? Damn. That's oh, well, I just got an opal for free. That's a lot of money, though. Shoo -hoo, that's a... Wow. I've got one of those. I could have just made 350. That's sick. At least I have that to fall back on now. Thank y'all. They've got so much milk. Why can't I steal their milk? Who's going to drink it? Their parents are all dead. Hmm. Oh. How about this one? Huh? You need something, mister? Because I'm actually kind of busy. Oh. My papa told me you could use ice fruit to freeze monsters solid. Wow. It gave me an amazing idea for an invention. <laughs> My problem is I can't go out to pick the fruit right now with the blizzard and all. Oh. Ugh. It's not fair. This is the best invention I've come up with in so long. Without ice fruit, I can't make it. I've got a few ice fruit. How many do you want? They're fetching an expensive price. Huh? Mister, I feel a cold breeze coming from your pouch. Yeah. Huh? Mister, what's that you got? That's the ice fruit I wanted, isn't it? Wow, it looks like you've got some cold jelly-like stuff. Is that white choo-choo jelly from one of the monsters that'll freeze you solid if you touch it? Huh? Wow, it's not... I mean, I have both. Why, why are you pretending I don't have the first one? <laughs> but I bet I can use that to make my big invention. May I have either the ice fruit or the white choo-choo jelly, please? I have the ice fruit. You preferred that. Here you go, kiddo. Wow! wow. Now I can finally make my invention. Oh. When I attach this to the tip of an arrow, I have an arrow that can freeze monsters from far away. Sometimes I'm so smart, I scare myself a little. I wonder what would happen with other materials. You can make arrows with all sorts of effects. Oh. Wow! Listen to me! With every breath, I spew out brilliance. Fwah! I should probably start talking before I give away all my best ideas. Anyway, here's a thank you present. Thank you. Oh. For the reason I like making arrows, it's my papa. He creates the strongest bows around. You're Tebba's kid? Where are you? I need to make arrows that go perfectly with his bows. All I have to do is keep working hard, get my name out there, and one day, wow. I'll be a world-famous arrow maker. One my papa could be proud of. I'm taking your arrows. Those are mine, mister! Hold on. Is your problem that you don't have enough wooden arrows? Important to help each other in times of need. That's what my papa says. But if you want them, they're yours. You're a good kid. You are a good kid. I will leave you with more ice fruit. Where are my ice fruits? Here you go, kiddo. That's for you. Have fun. No shame. That was a little bit of shame. Hey, my buddy Tabor. That's not fair at all. You know I can handle it. You have a voice now. Checking out that huge cloud wouldn't be hard. I could even do it alone. He went through puberty. If we don't do anything, the village. Oh, he's in his defiant arc. It's time for him to be a man. Is that you? What up, kiddo? I met you once. I saved your daddy. It is you! Link! Oh, he's adorable! Look at this smile! When did we become such friends? I more hung out with your dad than you, but okay. <laughs> he's very happy to see me. What up, buddy? Mm. Link. They told me you were missing. It's good to see you doing well. Yeah, good to see you too. When did your kid fall in love with me? I, I'm pretty sure I met him once. It's very nice to see you again. Huh. Do you remember my son, Tulin? He's grown taller. Well, perhaps not yet grown up. Uh. Well, maybe I would if you didn't treat me like a hatchling all the time. Hm. As long as you still think you can take on the world by yourself, you'll always be a little chick. Oh, you think I can't? I'm already fully fledged, you know. You'll change your tune when I ace today's scouting trip. You can all keep wasting your time treating the song of the Stormy Arc like it's real. But not me. Yeet! Listen, you. Oh, unbelievable. Having daddy issues. Tulin wants me to let him go find what's causing the blizzard. And he's having trouble hearing no. He mentioned a song. It's an old folk song here in Rito Village. 
Long, long ago, when we faced a different sort of upheaval, the village was saved thanks to a great flying ship. Or so claims the song has been passed down through generations. Hmm. It's a song for children, mind you. Few adults still parrot it as if it were true. Still, every now and then you get reports among the Rito of a flying ship. Combine that with the blizzard caused by this upheaval, and it seems less far-fetched. So he wants to actually deal with shit, and y'all are just chilling, being like, Ah, it's fine. The spaceship will save us. Even if the song of the Stormwind Ark is just a children's rhyme, I suspect there is something lurking high in the sky. The air is so turbulent now that no Rito can fly close enough to look at it. This is why I say we need to be more, make more careful preparations to find the truth. But Tulin... He thinks we cling to that song out of cowardice. Hmm. But these are Rito matters. You came for some purpose, yes? Um, I mean, I'm here to help and also find Zelda. <clears throat> My girlfriend turned into the sun. Yeah, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> My girlfriend turned into the sun! What? That's rough, buddy. This is terrible news. So then not even Hyrule Castle is safe. If Princess Zelda's disappearance and the strange phenomena around the world are related somehow... Hmm. We Rito would ordinarily love to contribute to your search. But this abnormal blizzard shows no sign of stopping, and food has grown scarce. Everyone I could spare is already out researching the blizzard or scavenging for food. Mm. My husband hasn't been able to leave the village much... Why are you moaning? <laughs> hasn't been able to leave the village much since becoming the village elder. Hmm. I wish there was something I could do. Wait! The big owl died?! What happened to the big owl? He was awesome. Oh, no. Ah, huh. oh, but maybe I'm not the one you want. You should try asking Hearth. Uh, my friend Hearth has many sources of information, but he might already have a lead about Princess Zelda. You see the two bonfires? I just came from there! <laughs> no! Fine. Hmm. He's in the lodge near there. If you'd, looked, if you'd like to try visiting him. So much to do. So much to see. I can't help that it's all on Saki's birthday. Certainly not that I forgot to get her a gift and I'm pretending that I have so much to do and so much to see. Oh, we've got new profiles. A Rito warrior who once helped Link save Rito Village. He took up the mantle of village elder from Canelli to become the new leader. Hmm. As the new elder, he's under pressure to deal with the strange weather. Poodin, the son of the Rito elder. When Link first visited the village, Tulin was still a child growing up in his father's shadow. Yeah, he was baby. And his eyes would light up when he watched Link and Tebba practice at the flight range. I, I guess? I mean... <laughs> I don't really remember him too much. I remember him leading me to his dad. But that was it. Um... <laughs> Where is your divine beast? I left you bitches with a divine beast. Did you waste it? <laughs> Can't break these either. Fine. I'm going to go to the bonfires that I've already been to. Muscular burbs? Yeah, they big boys. I'm going to save. I like saving. Where is Chonky Owl? Chonky Owl dead, man. <laughs> it seems like Chonky Owl is dead. They pawned it. They took it down. They, they just, they've never mentioned it in this game yet. It's just been like everywhere I go. Don't sing the song. Everywhere I go, they've just gotten rid of the divine beast and people have forgotten about me. It's like, come on, guys. I, I helped you with that. The divine beast helped us took out Gannet, I guess. Since Ganon had already used them once against them, maybe, yeah, they kind of just got rid of it. It is pretty odd. Yeah. It is what it is. Bum, bum, bum. Let's go see Hearth. Hearth is a cool name. Especially since he literally runs an, uh, well, I, I, I guess a resting spot. A travel spot. But I mean, it's basically a hearth. It's a place to keep you warm. To bring people together. How do those things just disappear? Maybe they took them apart. I don't know. Maybe that's how Pura was finally able to make a Pura pad. But yeah, it's just weird that they're just all gone. They're just all gone. We. Are you Hearth or is the guy inside Hearth? You're not Hearth. Later, bitch. Hearth? You're Hearth. Of course you are with the cool emo hair. What is it? Did you still have some business here? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh. It's really attentive. The fact that they realize that I've already been here once and they're like, oh, did you still have some stuff to do here? Oh, okay. Oh, so you're looking for Princess Zelda. 
Sorry to tell you that I haven't heard anything about her. Huh. Our feathers are full dealing with a more immediate problem. Everyone from the village has left to scavenge for food or to investigate the cause of this terrible blizzard. Hmm. All has been hampered by the sky monster that seems to be everywhere. We're spread too thin to deal with them properly on top of everything else. Sorry, bud. I wish I could do more for you. Oh. Well, now that I think about it, maybe Tulin could help. You want me to bring a child into battle with me? <laughs> Alright, you weren't around for it, bud. Well, little Tulin has developed a way with wings that puts the adults to shame. Even in the vicious weather, he patrols the skies, reports all kinds of useful information. Oh. His wind gust technique is something to see. None of the rest of us can pull it off. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, he sounds like the most useful. I'll bring him into battle. Even Stern Teba acknowledges that Tulin's skills are cut above. Mm. The kid does preen about it more than he should, but... Well, it's worth asking him, at least. Last I saw him, he was with Kusain and Laisa on the trip to find food. Those are words, I guess. <laughs> I think they were on the way to the Hebra South Summit Cave. That's to the northeast from here. He was past the cliff out front and up the main mountain road. There should be a bonfire marking the spot. Anyway, ah. get the fuck out of here, Link. Find the bonfire. Then you'll find Tulin. Then you'll be able to bring a child into battle. You guys got any more stuff for me? No, it's still out of oil. I didn't take much at all. No, they're just like, go ahead, take the child. I'm sure his dad's probably going to be very angry and is the village elder. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Every child has to go to war eventually. I mean, Link has gone to war at like age 10 in a lot of these games, so it's fine. We'll bring Tool in with us. It's fine. <laughs> Do the enemies... Okay, good. Yeah, we already killed all these enemies. There were so many enemies on the way up this mountain, but we've already dealt with them, so that works pretty well. <gasps> the keys are back. Bird woman! <gasps> Ice fruit. Ice fruit, then burble. Oh, I don't know. Ice fruit. There we go. And a pine cone. Get off the wall, Link. Tulin is like 11. Yeah, it's time for him to fight. Mm. Unbelievable that these huge things are raining down on us. What's happening up there in the skies? Hmm? Ah, oh, that's unexpected to meet Hylian here. What are you doing in the mountains in this weather? Mm. Did you see how cold it's gotten? Our feathers seem... I think my... Is my jacket made out of this woman's feathers? They match so perfectly. It's the purple and white. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> Our feathers keep out the worst of it, but I'm not sure how you can stand the blizzard. Don't worry about it. Ah. If you go further up this slope, you'll see the Hebra South Summit Cave. My friends are there now gathering provisions. There are glowing mushrooms and fish to be had, which come in handy. Staminoka? I need Staminoka. I keep a bonfire stoked at the cave entrance to mark their location. If the cold gets too much for you, find that bonfire and warm yourself up in the cave. Okay. Or like you plucked her feathers? Yeah, but it's still kind of uncomfortable. It's awkward, I guess you have to marry now. That's not that's that's the Zora. The Zora give me clothes to get married. So it's feathers they shed? Maybe. Or maybe they pluck them to put them. Oh god. Why aren't you guys fighting each other? So the enemies did come back. Oh yeah, the Blood Moon was right after I dealt with these guys. During story time. Son of a... Okay, I'm not fighting those ones on the right again. I'm just going to take this guy out. Come on, turn around. Perfect. Oh god, so many ice fruit. Oh god! Hey guys. I told you I'm not fighting you. Go go deal with other people. What shit to do? Oh, God! Okay, fine. If you really want... You exploded an ice fruit! Ow. Me with a rock. Come at me, then! You're dead. And we're done. That was aggravating. <laughs> oh, you're alive. Hey, buddy.
That was unneeded. Oof in the face. Yeah, that was pretty good. That was that was a pretty good fight. The triple headshot, just take out the blue one instantly. That was that was pretty good. They didn't even leave me anything fun to play with. Fuck these guys. He was legit chilling there. <laughs> yeah, at that point, that was all that he could do. Wooden stick. Wooden stick. What's that? Oh, feathered edge. Do I have anything worse than... Yes. Go away. I'll take a blowy wind weapon. The wind weapon used by the opponents. How dare you use my Breath of the Wild strat? It's good when combined with the ice as well. You get like near a ledge, freeze an enemy, and then just blow them off the ledge. They're just dead. There's the bonfire. Okay. How did I miss this on my way down? And now I'm nice and warm. What up, bird people? This is a good hole. And where's my boy Tulin? I didn't think I'd be seeing it. Oh, God. It may be her, actually. Okay, there's a lot of bird people that have this same color plumage. I didn't think I'd be seeing anyone else in these mountains anytime soon. What with the blizzard and all? I'm here because it's a good place to find food for my people. Why are you here? Looking for a kid. Got to bring him into battle. It's going to be great. Fair enough. He's farther in the cave with Jusane. They're scavenging for food. No, I'm not going to show you the way. I need to keep an eye on what we've already amassed so far. Yeah. Be on your guard. There's a creature in that cave that hops around on the walls. Probably won't bother you if you stay away from it. Good luck finding Tulin. Oh, I'm going to murder it. That sounds like a challenge. That sounds like you don't have to fight that enemy. It's a strong enemy. Her sister? They could be sisters. Oh, I want it. How do I? I need fire. Fire. Burn for me. Yes. Burn. <laughs> nice. Ooh, and fishies. Oh yeah, and inside the cave it's it's more warm. I don't even freeze to death in this water. That's nice. You're too deep down. Come up here. What are you doing? I can't get him. What if I shoot him first? But to quit running. Oh, hey. I think he's glitched. Yeah, he glitched. <laughs> he glitched as fuck. He just bounced him backwards and forwards. Um, wait for him to come to me. Right here. He'll come to me. Now! That actually worked. I freaking love this game. He was definitely glitched, but by the powers of biology... I got him. I don't know what was happening with Link there. That was messed up. <laughs> Anti-glitch arrows. Yep. Too far down. We kill him. You float when you get. When you get. When you get. When you're dead. Float when you're dead. Maybe I should have taken some fire with me. Like a little weapon on fire. Because it looks like we're going to need a lot of fire in here. <laughs> really? Just a random rock. No lizards? No lizards. Where is this enemy that bounces around the walls? And what are you? and now I can't catch him. Oh. I found things. Not that you'll float to. I mean, hey, if it works, it works. Pennywise was a wise man. Uh, what should I break these with? So many good weapons now. It's, oh, God. I don't want to waste any of them. that gone that's okay i've got i've got a lysel reaper up we go have you a fire weapon fuchan 
I do. I do know that fire weapons are extra strong against ice enemies. I just haven't been doing that just yet because I don't want their weapons to disappear. Sometimes if you use a fire weapon on an ice enemy, like everything they're carrying like explodes too. Ooh. Okay, I lived. <laughs> Scared that was gonna throw me straight into brambles, but we're good. Glowy rocks. You might call them luminous rocks. Definitely took the bomb room for granted. Yeah, I miss the bomb room so much. Ooh. Oh, it's just a horror, 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 I forgot what they were called. They're weird little critters. Oh, more lizards. Ah, oh, shit. I should have shot them. That's fine. I don't. Sure. The hammer, at least. Ugh, such a waste. Horriblin. Thank you. I forgot what those were called. I just remember they sounded like horrible. I should just, yeah, let's make a weapon out of this rock. Then I won't have to waste a good weapon. Sure, let's fuse with the feathered edge. Is it still gust? No. I have ruined my feathered edge. Oh, he coming. Yeah, screw you. Horrible horn. He's horny. And Rivali's Gale rip. At least we can create our own Rivali's Gale now. It just takes a bit longer. We just need to start a fire and then throw a pine cone on it. This looks like a trap. Okay. I'm just not very trusting. <laughs> Chill fin, glowing cave fish. Come to me. Yeah, we can start a fire here. Boom, boom. And use a gust to get up high. Do I have a slicey? No, I do not. I need axes, man. Oh, I can use grabby hand. Oh, not that one. Horny? He was horny. He had horns. He was quite literally a horny monster. Oop. There we go. Fish, come to me. Come to me. There we go. <laughs> into the fire, into the fire. Where are my pine cone? There we go. It is time. Wait. Do I want to collect anything on the way up? Nah, screw it. Sky! Bye! Yeah, we've got Rivali's Gale at home. We're good. So many boulders. So little time. And a glow shroom. Hmm, there are two ways to go. Making barbecue? Yeah, barbecue pine cone. It was tasty. Oh, hey, buddy. Um, I don't exactly know how to fight you guys anymore. Used to just be able to bomb you guys. Now it's kind of different. How far did Teba go in? Uh, that's probably him. Nope. Still another. Oh, too late, even. Not even Teba. Someone drawn Fuchan as the chaotic burning Elmo. Yeah, they have. I have that as a reaction image. Uh, what are we going to do with that boy? Just like him to fly off on his own and leave all the food we collected behind. Mm -hmm. Huh? Well, I'll be. What is a Hylian doing all the way up here in such a fierce blizzard? I need the kid. He's got to fight for me. You're here to talk to Tulin, eh? You just missed him, unfortunately. Our task was to scavenge food in this area. We just saw a flock of monsters fly past outside the cave. The same ones that have been sighted around the village lately, in fact. I told the others we should return right away to report them. But Tulin clearly wasn't listening at all. He said, I'm going to follow them back to their nest and flew off alone before I could protest. You want tips for fighting them? Nah, I'm fine. I'll figure it out myself. I think one of the funnest things about Zelda is figuring out how to fight the different enemies, especially when it comes to, like, bosses. If you leave the cave and head north, you can spot a lone cedar tree on Toronto Peak. That's where we saw the monsters. No doubt Tulin followed them there. 
I know he thinks he's unbeatable, but he really shouldn't be taking these chances. Okay, I'll be back. There's another cave system for me to explore. Futan memes are an international treasure. I love them. I think they're amazing. The artists always do such good jobs on them. Man, there's no lizards under these rocks. What's the point in rocks with no lizards? Ow. It does a lot more knockback than I would expect from thorns. Okay, we have to burn this anyway. <gasps> what is that? Oh, it's just a bright shroom. There's my boo boo frog. Boo boo. I'm coming for you, buddy. Better prepare yourself. Nice try. Give me the gem. Oh, it's my gem. Boo boo gem. We're up to six. Not bad. Boo boo frog time. It's been a while. I was really shocked there wasn't one in that other cave we got into with the water trial. But oh well. I'm glad we went over there. That's nice. It's a very big frog. Yeah. He's a good boy. Give us a nice gem. I get the mushroom too. Okay, let's go hunt a child. We're exploring holes together. I wouldn't put it that way. I mean, I've said some more terrible things, so I just can't really complain. I give him a mini cart game. Oh, that'd be amazing. They gave me a mini cart game where I could actually just roll around. That'd be sick. They haven't given me a cart in a while. Some minecart warrior I am. Someday they'll give me one and then I'll skate everywhere. Ooh, seats. Sheed, why is this? Oh, it's just an opening. I was like, what's coming for me? Why is it moving? Which direction? He said lone tree. I see two trees. There's the lone tree. Okay. I don't know why I pretended. Oh, he's got another sign. I don't have... I have snowballs. What can I use for this? Um. Snowballs, I get... I, we need snowballs? How do you resist playing this game off stream? Couldn't honestly tell you. Especially when I was like away for a while. If I put this here. Just need to like slide it in. That, that's actually probably fine. That'll do. <laughs> hey, buddy. Now I can't talk to him because the rock's inside him. Oh, it's you? I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I've eaten a special rice ball I made, so this cold weather won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got more signs to put around. Uh, try letting go. Mm -hmm. oh, are you going to support him? All right. I'll let go. There you go, buddy. Uh, he's standing. How is the president standing? That was brilliant. I would have never thought of it. A big rock? Oh my god, the technology is too advanced for me. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. That is dedicated. Yeah, I don't I don't think he gets paid enough for the work he puts in. <laughs> Just put this right here and get this fastened. And... Uh, perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Ah, oh, it fills my heart with joy to see him pointing toward the sky. No longer will he be limp and flaccid. He will be erect. <laughs> here, I have some spicy mushroom rice balls. And here, I have a puff shroom. Oh, hell yeah. Not as good as a bomb flower, but I'll take it. Phrasing? The phrasing was on purpose, yes. Hmm, where to go next? Right, the single tree. The first ice fruit. <gasps> Enemies. Many things broke my path. Blue Bobakin, Blue Bobakin. I'm gonna jump shoot him. You'll never see it coming. Did you get paid at all? Feels like you just decided to do this on your own. Then he's gotta be like a rich kid, because he gives me a lot of money. I was about to eat mushroom pizza. Mushroom pizza is delicious. Do it. Hey buddy. You want to play a game? I want to play a game. Uh, um, they're having a conversation. He's 
telling a wonderful story. Oh, did you hear about this one time? There was a giant snowball, I swear to God. It rolled down the mountain, almost hit me. I dodged to the left, and then I smacked it with my bat. You wouldn't believe it. It was the coolest thing I've ever done. It was like giant baseball. Meanwhile, neither of them are listening. They're just ignoring him completely. You know what? I'll put you out of your misery. You guys are rude to your friend. Enjoy his story. Now your turn. Jump at me. He didn't jump. Oh, he jumped at me. There we go. Horror story around the campfire. That probably would have been better than the crap that I said. <laughs> but we've said what we said. I think I could drop a bow. Yeah, this one's weaker than that one. Monster parts. Why did you kill him first? Because he was embarrassed. Nobody paid attention to his story. I felt bad. I'm going to drop a strong croc so, uh, contra construct bow. Because um, this one's good for air, tra air fighting. We're about to air fight. Swallow bow. Yes. Let me use the power of swallow on my enemies. God hand. We. <laughs> you caught a lot of head today, Foo. Why, thank you. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I can move this giant block? That's kind of sick. That could come in handy. Could have been a good weapon. But instead, what it's got to be is a way for me to get up the mountain. What I'm do is put it here. No, don't you roll. Okay, good. I'm going to try a new thing. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Well, no, there's no point in like This will be fine Just hold it up there, move it over there Put it back down We'll just do the basic thing I'm, I'm wondering if you drop something like above your head Can you then like Teleport into it but It doesn't matter, I can just do this That didn't work That almost went very wrong Perfect The word of Goodbye. We swallow and blast. There isn't a single tree here. Why is it telling me to come here? I mean... There's a thing. Yeah, we've got to climb up there. It's just lying to me. I'm oh, what are you? Hey, buddy. You're a big boy. Oh, I'm excited. You want to play? Big. Yeah, he big. Look at his massive sword. He's got a boulder attached. Oh, he's got a little retinue of... Oh my god, there's so many. Okay. We should probably take this seriously. But I'm not gonna. That's why I saved. Hmm. If I just get the high ground, I can jump shoot them. Jump shooting him in the head will probably be good. He can't be much stronger than a Henox, right? Does he notice if I start to pick up his warriors? Yep, he does. <laughs> oh, he noticed. Oh, God. This is okay. I, I'm, I'm made for this. I'm built for this. Yeah, get down. Okay. Damn it. I didn't do that in time. I was like, I'm ready for this. You pick up a rock. I know what to do. There we go. Got you with your rock. Eh. <laughs> Barely does any damage, but it feels good. Oop. Okay. Let's do something serious here. Lizo Reaper. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Boss Bokoblin Horn. 10 fuse attack power. Nice. Bonk him with his own rock. Yeah, that's cute. Boss Bokoblin Fang. 6. Not bad. Hey, little ice buddy. You want to play? Come on. 
Jump at me. Yeet! And then I hit you with something weak. You're not worth using something strong. Rock hammer! Okay. You had a lot more strength than I realized. I'll give you that one. That guy was fun. They've got nice new enemies in this game. We're seeing when people really pick on the abilities and start doing creative fights. Yeah, me too. Sure, I'll learn more as I go as well. Right now, it's just like, oh, I can reverse things. Oh, I can play with these. I can ascend up stone taluses. That shit's so cool. Okay, we need to get higher. I think I can ascend into that, hopefully. Yep. It's a nice little climb. Do no reverse attack real. Yeah, it's just like, no, no, no. You don't get to hit me. I get to hit you. It's an enemy. I, I'm not sure if I want to let him out. I mean, this doesn't feel like... Okay. Imagine being frozen in time for like a hundred years. You finally get out of that shit and somebody just burns you to death. You wake up and you're just already on fire. Yeah, that must be the enemies that they're looking at. I'm coming, baby. Man awaken only to die. Yeah, that shit sucks. Maybe he should have stayed asleep in his icicle. His icicle was safe. This has got to be... There he is. What's up, kid? I'm going to chop down this tree first. This looks like a nice bunch of wood. And he gave me a pine cone. I don't have an axe. I miss Bob so much. There's got to be a Korok at the top of this, right? Captain America, what if? <laughs> Eekers up. This is going to be the next five minutes. What's up, chat? Just like defrosting steak. <laughs> if you defrost a steak that way, you're going to give yourself uh, food poisoning. A messed up way to wake up. Yeah, it would not be great. I miss bombs because you could fly across the map with them. Yeah, that took some finicking, but it was really good once you actually like got the timing down. What's up, Futsan? What's up? You could just burn the tree. I could, but that... Yeah, I knew there was a core up here. That had to be. I could, but it wouldn't feel right. I would rather... Grab this Korok. Comfy Korok! <laughs> you found me! Yucky! Mama! Okay. Good job, Korok. Wee! Wee! What up, kiddo? I'm here to save your family. Stupid monster. Uh, Link, where did you come from? Um, heaven. Oh, uh, you see, that rotten monster took my good bow. See, that's the bow napper. Damn, you got wrecked, kid. You got bullied like a fucking kid on the playground. <laughs> I gotta get it back. Help me out, Link. Mm, uh, how much are you going to pay me? Oh. Really? Thanks. Did you know I can blow a strong gust of wind anywhere I feel like? I'll do it for you too. That way you can glide over to where that monster went. Uh -huh. Just tell me where to point the gust and I'll make it for you. Oh, Tulin's power of wind. When Tulin's aura is charged, he can create a stream of wind that blows straight forward. It's going to be used for bursts of speed while paragliding. Sick. If I say let's go, you'll do it. Do it that way. That's where the monster be. Leave it to me. Leave it to that way. You gotta oh, I have to then <laughs> Gust! Oh that's sick. Oh, we need more power, buddy. Buddy? Buddy! Oh, second round, please. You fucked up. And now I have to fight him on the ground. I'm ashamed of you, Tulin. Your father would be too. Yes. Hit me again. That way. Yeah. Yep! Boy! I don't do. <laughs> I hate that cry. Yeah, he's a bit loud. Fufu, don't you dare say it. I don't know what you mean. I didn't say shit. I didn't think about it. I didn't say it. That is a child. How dare you? I would not make such a joke in front of a child. No matter how good his powers are. 
There we go. I owe you big time, Link. Without you, my bow might have been lost for good. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Oh, they have bobakins too. There's more of them. It's time. Come at me. Actually, I'm not very prepared for this, but we'll do it. He licked his lips. I don't like that. All right. They're not going to make a fool out of me twice. Let's get them together. Why do I feel like I'm going to do most of the fighting in this? Uh, Blizzard Rod. Sapphire Sword. Whatever you want. To do. Oh, right. I've got the fire thing still. Aha. Aha. That's incredibly strong. And now, <laughs> I mean, I didn't even need you, Tulin. I'm sorry. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm glad I missed that at 144p. Oh, what happened at 144p? <laughs> we did it. Anybody want some grilled bokoblin? Because we got it. Hey, look, I think this might have been a hideout for those monsters. Uh-oh. What did we do? Huh? What was that wind? It couldn't have been. There's no way. It must have been something else. Oi! Hey! Poolin! Link! Uh. Huh? It's Daddy. And Mommy? Oh! Oh, oh it's voiced now? Okay, that works too. It's not even Daddy. <laughs> it's the emo one. Well, that was some impressive teamwork, you two. Ah, oh, you saw that, Hearth? Talk about embarrassing. I didn't listen when Jasan tried to stop me. I thought I could handle it. But I just ended up losing my favorite bow to those stupid things. I thought I was fully fledged. But there's probably no way I could have gotten it back on my own. Hmm. Well, I bet you now see why we were treating you like a small chick. Yeah. You were right. It really is important to work as a flock. I think I finally get what my dad has been trying to tell me all this time. From now on, I have the power of the flock on my side and anime. Is that all there is to this story? Seems unlike you to let your bow be taken, Tulin. Oh yeah, funny story about that. There was this whole thing with Princess Zelda. I spotted her getting attacked by a monster. I was such a surprise that I dropped my guard and stole my bow. But I guess she was fine because then she zoomed up above that crowd. Oh, my girlfriend turned back into the sun. It's just some fucking bullshit. God damn it. What? Princess Zelda flew above the cloud? How could that be? Hmm. Seems like a stretch, but we're not going to be getting to the bottom of it sitting around here. Oh. Tulin, Link came here looking for Princess Zelda. You should go with him and investigate the cloud you say the princess soared into. Huh? But I thought I wasn't allowed. Oh. I got a report before coming here. We think it's likely that the blizzard is coming from inside that cloud after all. Get on it, kiddo. How are we going to break through that? Though? There's no way he can fly through that. I want to see for myself as soon as I can, but the strong winds make any approach from the sides impossible. The only way is up through the top, but... Oh, we have to go super high. Got ya. There's not a Rito alive capable of crossing the stormy sky and making it all the way up there. Well, except for one. Uh. I'm talking about you, Tulin. Why is this... Why is this not coming from his dad? This feels like a conversation that could be coming from his dad right now. <laughs> Only you have the skill and training to create gusts at will. Tulin will be the finest Rito warrior of all once he understands the value of working with his allies. Oh. You know who said that to me? Your old dad, Tabor. Huh. Dad said that? Oh. Yep, and I'll make sure he knows what you accomplished here today. Now it's time you go with Link to find Princess Zelda and whatever's causing this blizzard. Huh. No problem. The two of us together have got this. I saw Princess Zelda up on the Sky Islands near Hebra Peak. Let's check there first. Oh. Link, Tulin, we're counting on you. What if I just never finish this? What if I just keep Tulin with me forever? Then I have a gust of wind wherever I go. Maybe that's what I'll do. He's mine now. Ooh, fancy bow! Highly refined Rito made bow created by a master Rito craftsman. Ooh. Ooh. Love aerial combat. Get out of my way, Jasan. I just wanted the horn. There we go. 
side-eyeing his dad right now. Yeah, his dad really should have come. Especially when he heard his son, like, had gone off by himself to danger. I mean, I guess he is the village elder, but it's, it's your son, man. It's your son. We. You guys calm down. I'm not going to hurt you. Unless. <laughs> Good luck. Hey, he lived. That is one resilient bird. But I don't think it's going to break the thing. There we go. So many arrows. Okay, next we have to go to... That far, dude. That's a lot of climbing. You sure, kiddo? Well, we're off then. Same brain cell? Yeah. Yeah, it had to be done. Get me across this chasm, kiddo. Just time! No! That's sick. That definitely does help. Okay, kid, me and you. Against the world. Can I? No, it's too weird. Oh, I can, I can do it probably layer by layer. Up we go. Feathers of steel for real? Yeah, he's so strong. Glad I have a new <laughs> unpaid laborer, shall we say. <laughs> uh, let's not put a term on it. Let's just say unpaid laborer. We'll stick with that. Got two rock swords. Uh, I'll keep the zone. Right. Yeah, fuck it. Tulin, I'm ready for some more gusts. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. No, not the treasure. Fuck. This like Batman and Robin. Yeah, except his parents haven't died yet. But now his parents are alive. We need to fix that. Yeah. Otherwise, he might get some terrible ideas about leaving me. So, Tabor gotta go. Tabor old news. Tulin, the one we use now. Aren't you lucky that Tulin's dad apparently doesn't mind you sending his kid to do unpaid labor either? Yep. Yep, his dad was just like, hey, if, I mean, if you want to go with him. Tabor already injured last game. Yeah, he had his wing, but he seems to be fine now. He's just too busy being the chief. Heavy lies the head that wears the crown. What is that? Oh, God, it's got a boulder. It's another one of those things, but it's bouldery. Yo, that's a lot of enemies. I'd rather not deal with that. How do I make my way up safely? Ice fruit. Korok! Okay. You know what? Fine, we deal with these enemies. <laughs> what are you planning, Fuchan? Nothing that would break the Geneva Convention too much. Just, you know, a little bit of arrow shooting. <laughs> you know what? This takes too long. Let's just... Later! That still takes too long. That's such a waste of resources. Oh my god, they're so powerful. Oh, Tulin's shooting. <gasps> Wait. That's where we're going to use the Korok. Might as well pick off the blue one, too. If I can pick off the blue one, then I'll be good to go down. He's scary, though. They have strong attack, man. Yeah, you don't need to blow the horn. Everyone knows I'm here. That oh, they're fighting each other now, and they killed it. <laughs> well, okay. Let's move on. It's time. That turned out easy. The blue one too thick. Yeah, I only wanted the blue one, but damn. They just put up such a good fight. Give me them Zonai bits. Give me them chill shrooms. And let's go get that baby Korok. There he is. Comfy Korok. <laughs> Where are you, but Was that you? No. Where was he? Was he up higher? Yeah, he was with the fruit. Okay. 
fell asleep to your voice. I'm so sorry. Why would you be sorry? That's a good thing. Relax. Fall asleep. Have a good time. What up, little tiny buddy? Where is your friend? Where do I need to get you to? Uh, my friend and I got separated. Up there, hey? That's pretty high. My friend is setting up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. Uh, I'm so tired, though. I can't move. It's okay. I got you. I'm going to build you a hot air balloon. And we're going to ride it together into the sky. But first... That's the wrong power. But for now... Crushing random boxes. Picking up the Bokoblin guts. Come on now, break. Whoop. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to have to use my own flame emitter, but that's fine. Other than that, we'll have this. And yeah, the flame emitter plus the thing. What the fuck just happened there? I flew through it. Let's go get that Korok, buddy. Pew, 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 pew. We should probably start it from down here. So we don't get too far away. Yeah, that looks good. Come on down, buddy. In the never-ending snowy pit. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. You're lucky I don't have any rockets, little Korok friend. This actually looks perfect to send you out there. Weep. Okay. Separate this. And we need a flame emitter. Oh god, I only have seven. Really need to visit more sky islands. Um, left, up, up. There we go. Right in the middle. Strap that to it. I know you need to reach your friend, buddy. I'm making you a hot air balloon. Only the best for my little Korok, buddy. We're going to stick you to the top. So you distribute your weight well. We can't. That sucks. Fine. Okay, this is the best I can do. Um. I know that hurt, buddy, but it was worth it. This is working quite well. Damn it. Uh, freeze time power. Grab your hand. There we go. Just like last time. There you go, buddies. Deja vu. Yeah, I've learned my lesson from last time. That was much less frightening than last time. Thanks for picking my friend. There's something for you. Korok seed turns two. Yeah, bye bye. Oh, he gets an extra ha. Huh? It turns from yeah ha to yeah ha ha. Oh, I can't bring him with me. I wanted him to be my friend. But now I can go further into the sky. This is actually kind of perfect. I might be able to get far enough to just ascend up. Okay, Tulin, let's ascend, buddy. I don't see this working anymore. Um, the balloon's in the way. That's fine. I was high enough. I could have gotten to the top. Could have gotten to the top and grabbed it. Damn it. I doubted myself. I doubted my battery power. But we got what we needed. Stuck in the abyss. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, look at them go. Oh, I just realized I'm supposed to be, yeah, actually climbing this mountain. I thought we were going to be going to the left. Oh, God, Link. Climb faster. Hey, buddy. You want to play a game? I want to play a game. 
Just give me a second to get up here. There we go. Okay, come at me, bitches. You don't want to... Okay. You know what? I'm fine with them. They're doing fine. They don't want to fight me. I don't want to deal with them. We can be friends. Hey, bird boy. Why does the bird friend doesn't help us? I mean, can you fly? In? Well, yeah, no, they shoot their uh, bows with their feet. So I guess they could fly and shoot at the same time. He just doesn't want to. He's doing his own thing. If only it were possible to find out what's inside of this blizzard. Oh? oh. Why, if it isn't Tulin, I was too focused on the cloud to notice you. But if you came here, oh. that means... Yep, they said I could go up there. I oh. knew it. Something told me you were the best one for this mission. Everyone has admired your wind gust technique since you first demonstrated it. You're way cooler than your dad. Maybe the only Rito, Rito capable of rising above that cloud to find the truth among the turbulent skies. Give it your best shot. I'll be here watching for your return. And who are you, random adult stranger accompanying the 11-year-old child? Thanks. Between Link and me, you won't be disappointed. He's just like, I didn't care about Link. Leave me alone, Tulin. Let's go! Eek's up! Wow! Hmm. They have given me two blocks. And an ascend. Can I just ascend straight away? No, that's good. I wanted a puzzle. Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do first. God hand. Put this here. Second, God hand. Put this just on the side of it. Shit. Actually, I don't have to do that. I just have to do this. Up into the sky. Hold it there for a second. Bring it right back down. And then we're gonna fly. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Oh. Did the wrong one. <laughs> Turns out I did the wrong one. Up into the sky. <laughs> and then you come back down. Then we're gonna reverse time. And use ascend. There we go. Turned out I only had to climb onto two blocks and I could get up there anyway. We did it the hard way. But damn it, we did it the fun way. So word though. You ready for a gust, little guy? Mm, I like the idea of that way. Wow. Well. Is it just me? That's the sound of something from these games. Okay, we can just climb that. Oh, oh, what the frick? No, I'm not wasting my yellow. We start that again. I don't know how Link dropped off of that. There we go. Now where do we go? Ah. I see. Tulin, time for your powers again. Alright. Alright, he's so cute. Reminds me of Ray Zero. I can kind of hear that. To me, it doesn't quite sound like that, though. I think it's literally from Breath of the Wild at some point. I can't remember exactly which part. This is going to be a long climb. I think it was the Divine Beast made that sound occasionally. Like a much deeper version. More rumbly. I think Link ever hurts his head by doing that. Mm, nah. If it hurt his head, it would hurt like his whole body. He'd be like torn to shreds. Oh, Tulin. It's time. Strong wind. Strong wind. Wahoo. That'll do, Tulin. Good job, my boy. Hey. Hey, Link. It was around here that I saw Princess Zelda. Hmm. Now I don't know where she could have gone. But I know what you mean, like the return from death sound where it's like... It has like a similar note to it. Hmm. Oh, the sky boat, it's real. What is that? Uh, just, uh, don't leave me. I need your wind gust powers, you bitch. Wait. 
What is that thing? Look at that. Maybe his wind gust powers can blow the boat around. It's a boat. Huh? Uh, are you hearing the voices in your head again? That's not good, my kid. <laughs> no! Not twice! Okay, now... <laughs> now we've got a full sense. <laughs> Rauru, why? <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is going to be some big epic moment. It's going to be like, Tulin, my child. I am the ancient ancestor of the Rito. Use your powers. No, it's just... Come. Come to me. <laughs> Whose voice was that? Was it coming from somewhere up there? I guess so, buddy. I guess that. Oh, big giant boat's real. Oh, you see that thing inside the cloud? Is that another boat? But it's huge. There's tons of those little flying boats, too. Know what it reminds me of? What? Hmm. Line of ships soaring, built as a passage skyward. The God ascending to heaven. Leaving behind an ark. It's like the song. The song you took the piss out of. Something is just like the song of the Stormwind Ark. Oh. Is that children's song true after all? You heard that strange voice too, right, Link? I'm sure I heard it say... Come to me. <laughs> it's like it was calling us up there. I don't see anything around here that would lead us to Princess Zelda. Maybe she went over to that ship. Uh -huh. Well, nowhere to go but up. Come on. Okay, let's just ride the boat, I guess. Rauru needs to learn how to phrase his said <laughs> Yeah, he does. It was one thing when he said it to me, but saying it to my small little bird friend, mm -mm. I just put Rauru on a list. I, I saw a shrine up here somewhere. Am I still climbing to it? Or do I have to jump to it? I know I saw... Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a bit ahead of us. Okay. Doolin, do your... Th oh. That was not what I expected. <laughs> That's not how I expected to use a skyboat to get around, but it worked, and I'm fine with it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Translators knew what they were doing. I mean, I'm sure it was the same in Japanese. How do gonna end up in jail? Yeah. At least he got a few centuries with Sonia. Sonia, pretty damn fine. <laughs> that was. The amount of times they've just basically hinted. Yes, the Hylian bloodline was born of this furry and this gorgeous woman. Don't think too much into downward force. What do they want me to do here? What? Oh, that's a fucking idiot. It's a switch. <laughs> downward force, huh? That's a boat. That'll bounce me high. It's apparently how I use boats, which is surprising. <laughs> oh, can't hear that word properly. Oh, God. Uh, 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 no, I'm taking your pieces. Don't fall off the edge. This was easier than I expected. Thank you. We're just going to leave him alone outside. Yeah, he's fine out there. He doesn't need to be supervised. He's 12 years old. He's doing his best. Soldier construct horn. Two arrows. Let's go. Okay. Straight ahead, I guess. Are there any secrets down below, though? Doesn't look like it. Nah. Okay. Onward we go. Yeet! Sick. I wonder if the farther you fall, the higher you go. That's why it's downward force. Oh, Jesus! It's okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we'll start again. We'll start from the beginning. Aye, it's a learning lesson. Yeet! So I went too far forward, huh? There we go. Nah, it doesn't make you go high. Oh, God. I didn't realize the ship was going to be moving away from me. You bastard. You absolute dick. 
You know what I can do? I can ascend. Will it bounce me though? No. Yeah, I have to go back to the last one. <laughs> That's fine. I might have to... Yeah, I have to start from the beginning. Shit. Yeet. Okay. So that one moves. Pay attention to that. <laughs> okay. Whoop. Let's, yeah, let's wait for that one to come over here then. Come. Come. To me. Thank you. That's where the secret item is. Okay. Yeet. 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 There we go. I do that over in that corner. I can get the secret item. Let him cook. Yes, I do my best. Where are there? It's turning good. Go, 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 go. I need the secret item. No! This is actually pretty hard to aim, honestly. Who please not you two? Hey, I, I said it to the boat. The boat doesn't have a problem with it. It's fine. Yeet! Oh, it took me up here. I don't want to be up here. I'm going to be down there. You know what? I'll just line up. I, I can fucking get to it if I just... Yeah. It's okay. I'll use my bouncy boat. My bouncy boat makes me happy. That's good. Yeah, this should be good. Wee! Um. There we go. Ten arrows! Good for he's giving me a shiny rock, man. A fur shiny rock. That's fine. Um, we're learning to platform. It's okay. Yeet. I quite like this. It's very relaxing. Okay, so we probably have to get into there, which shouldn't be too hard. Why have they got three things for this? As I'm stuck in the abyss. Like, why do they have that third boat down there? I must know. I must know. What is your secret boat? You have no secret. You exist to aggravate me. You have tricked me into this corner. <laughs> and now I feel as a fool. <laughs> Fine. Fine. We move on. Ow. 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 Something is amiss about this. I couldn't tell you what. That looks painful. Let's try ascending. If I, yeah, I need to land on this sh sh carefully, don't I? There we go. Oh. Uh, maybe if I climb this thing, I'll be close enough. No, no bounce, no bounce. Said no, no bounce, no bounce. We land on you. There. Still not close enough. Oh God, it looks like it would. There we go. I don't think that's how I'm supposed to do it, but I did it. I might be trapped. I I don't think I was supposed to. This is fine. I'll find my own way out. Um. Oh, there's a sweat. Oh, I was supposed to shoot that from the outside. <laughs> I was supposed to bounce and shoot. Well, we did what we did. Uh, which, ah, there's the ladder. <laughs> Seeing the solution after we've done the cheat is like so much funnier. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't see the switch at all. That's funny. Oh, man. We solved it our own way, and it worked. Any other secrets up here? Nah, we're good. Oh, well. I mean, I frankly, I think I did it a funner way. I think it was funner. A more fun way. <laughs> Skip. Skip. 
light of blessing number one. We actually needed some healing there, so thank goodness. Ah. A few dozen concussions later. Yeah, but he's not complaining, is he? But I'd say that's a good start. Where to next? Are you cold, little buddy? Well, get used to it, because we're not going back anytime soon. Ah! has to be something, right? I don't know why that's a... Um... Tulin! We're, we're going that way anyway. Let's go see what's up over there. Oh, it was just an item. <laughs> that's fine. Past the point of complaining. Maybe that's why he doesn't talk. Oh, Tulin? Yeah, Tulin's used to my shit by now. Oh, you mean Link. That's why he doesn't talk. Yeah, he's used to me controlling him and doing dumb shit. He's just like, fine, whatever. We solved the puzzle. That's all that matters. Think has better health insurance? <laughs> no. I think has terrible health insurance. As long as he has meals, that's all he needs. Now! now. Ooh, an enemy. You ready for a fight, Tulin? Come on, little child. Charge up your boom boom. Come on. There we go. Leave it to me. Hey, buddy. Oh, you're so fucked. What's well, badly damaged? No, it's not. Rock, actually? Yeah, Lizzle Reaper. Oh shit, Tulin actually attacks. Good job, kiddo. I'm proud of you. Look at you with your little bow. Aw, a little killer. Hey, come boost me, kiddo. Kiddo. K kiddo. Ba baby bird. Okay, that works too. Do it my own way. <laughs> Anything interesting? Doesn't look like it. But that doesn't mean there actually isn't. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take a sidetrack. Well, let's save first. If we happen to fall to our deaths. <laughs> what a cute killer. I know, he's adorable. And murderous. Oh, I can get straight. No, I can't. Close. No. There's really nothing over there? Link. Link, please. You're embarrassing me in front of the bird boy. Well, this was for nothing. It's a cute time, though. Come on, kiddo. On to the boat. Yeet! Love these boats. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Nice shot, Tulin. Yeah, he's doing good. He learned how to fight. He's a big boy now. Well, Tulin. Let's go. Okay, that one's stronger. Should have gone for him first. There we go. Wow. Expected a Korok. I know, I expected something. Even like a little che treasure chest with just like a shiny gem would be nice. Don't know if you want to call a kid a killer. I mean, he's quite literally killing people, so... That's what I'm going to call him. I did not mean to do that. I just wanted my chill shrooms. <laughs> chill, kiddo. I just wanted chill shrooms. Told you he's a killer. He's ready to fight even now. Can I ascend? Ah, we gotta do this trick again. Okay. Pull this over here. Leave it right there for a second. Lift it straight up. And bring it back down. 
is killing constructs. They aren't people, are they? He's also been killing monsters. I mean, he is a trained killer. He's now a trained sniper. I have raised him to murder whatever I happen to want to kill. Maybe, mayhaps we'll go back home and I'll be like, okay, kid, now's the true test. Aim for your father. Show me that you are what I've trained you to be. If you can't do that, you can't stay here with us. I have to break the ice. Nope. Probably have to fight that thing. Let's go, kiddo. Fratricide, my lord. I mean, that's patricide, but close enough. What? That's your head. I missed. I got a sturdy thick stick. What does this egg do? His daddy issues fuel his murderous tendencies. Maybe his dad should have actually like taken care of him sometimes. That would be good. What anime did that come from? Probably a lot. That sounds like a normal plot for things. I thought these would like do a thing. Maybe like... Hmm. I must know what that is about. Can I get back up? Yeah, it's not too hard to get back up from. Anything in here? Just the arrow I shot. Nope. I can ascend, though. The useless egg. Wait, who said egg? Bro's got a higher kill count than his dad at this point. 100% true, man. He is trained and ready to go. Oh, this is what we had to do. Eggs are just lights? I really thought they were switches for something. His time with Uncle Link has taught him well. Yeah, I'm going to bring him back to Dad and I'm going to be like, Tulin, show him what I've taught you. Finish him. You said egg? That Oh, oh. The switch. I thought it was a switch. Yeah, it's just a useless egg. It does nothing. Hey, buddy. No, none of that. Put it down. I don't even know what it is, but I don't like you touching it. What was it? Oh, it's a flame emitter. I could have another flame emitter shield. I'm good with that. Not a minecart shield, but it's something. Wah. Hey, Tulin, buddy. Two. I feel like, yeah, we can just break this the normal way. Do do. Yeet. Oh, I saw a big boy down there. Oh, he's going to be fun. Oh, we're definitely going to him. We can break this over here. But it looks like it's probably not arrows, right? Oh, we can use rock hammers on that, actually. No, that's worked before. Yeah. yeah. We. There's a lot of things to explore out here. I want to fight that big lad. Let's do it. It's big boy fight time. Where's your glory rock? There it is on your foot. Achilles, bitch! But he's so oh god no what's this uh-oh spin to win no 
Oh god, that's so much damage. Fair enough. Fair enough. I deserve that. Uh, fruit and mushroom. No, that's too much. Sure, let's eat these. One meat. Yes. Oh, he broke. Okay, perfect. A little bit embarrassed Tulin did it rather than me, but we won't complain. Okay. <laughs> he got me. Okay, okay. Um. So bad. Yeah, that'll do. Gamba Futan, I'm gun buying. Oh, I can't get out of that. Can I? Mm -hmm. That was such a perfect shot. You want to come down or not? Come on, you little bitch. I can keep going. There we go. Spin to win. Or not. Okay, we're close. This is such a cool battle. Uh-oh. Uh, he won't be around for a while. There we go. And he's done. You can ultra hand? No way. I need to try that next time. Hmm. Not bad. What's the zone I charges? Then I guess I'll have another weird, tr strange, spinny, spiky weapon. <laughs> 17. Not bad. Not bad at all. I didn't realize this was huge. I thought I had a normal sword. Just jacking the cube out. Damn it. Oh, that's so small. I didn't think you'd be able to do it to an enemy, though. Oh. Or the forbidden stick. <laughs> yep. Uh, very old map that shows a marked spot. What could be there? In the depths? Wild. It's far away from me, but I'll check that out someday. Okay. Few arrows lying around, but I don't really need those. How do I get back up? <laughs> it's the next question. I mean, oh, through there. They left a nice little pillar for me to pick me. Ooh, chill shrooms. The arrows were cooler. They were, but it's nice to have like other ways to deal with things. The fact that you can use Ultra Hand and just pull it out is freaking cool, man. Imagination is key, true. Amiibo armors are in the depths? Oh, cool. I've actually got the Amiibos. Oh, I definitely need to get into that. It's like a secret prison -y area. Oh, yeah, probably this way, huh? Yeah, that'll get us in. Let's see what's in here. Do I have to blow things up first? Nope. Good. Oh, that was easy. I like how there's always more than one way to do things. Yeah, there's normally like dozens of ways to do things. You can just choose whichever one you think is fun. I guess that's good, especially for if you like don't have any um, arrows at the time. It's a way to kill the cube without using any arrows, which is kind of badass. Okay, Tabor. He, he really wants to kill. Tulin really wants to kill things right now. He's like, come on, get me out there. There's monsters. Damn, one hit does it. That's that. Oh, but I dropped so many items. Aracuda ring. A lot wing. A large wide Aracuda wing. Arrows and thrown weapons fly further. Sweet. So like a key swing, but stronger. Okay, on to our next mission. Can I activate him in midair? I wonder. I should be able to, right? It gives me the option, so let's see. Come with me, Tulin. Oh god, I fucked up. Let's go. Just. Oh, that's so sick. So if you're still flying through the air, you can just keep using him again and again and again. Tulin thirsts for blood. Yes. 
and at his behest we shall kill. Kill for the child. Sacrifice to the child. Yay! I wondered if that would work. The power of gravity compels you. Where are we going? These sky islands. Are... Oh, okay, there's a boat over there. Got ya. Oh, the music suddenly changed up. Let's go, Tulin. Good boy, kiddo. Let's just keep going. Fuck these birds. And not in the fun way you would do to Ritos. Tulin is my favorite aimbot. <laughs> He's a good kid. He wouldn't cheat and use an aimbot. No way. Strong wind. No way. Oh, fishies. They give you a cooking pot. Aw. They're really being nice. Phrasing food sound? What did I say? I genuinely don't know the phrasing I dropped there. That one was not intentional, whatever it was said. <laughs> Whoop. Ah, perfect. More and more arrows. Should probably ascend for extra height. Chat AOing like they didn't think this out. Oh, the thing about the birds. Okay, yeah, no, that one was intentional. Um, I thought there was something else that was said. Tulin, save me. Why'd they all run away from me? Are they fighting? They're fighting something. Oh, they're fighting the construct. Makes sense. Whatever you say, foo, bombastic side eye. You can't drop the bombastic side eye. Normal side eye, I get. But all the way up to bombastic? That's a bit much. Hey, guys. Oh, I, I don't have a bow equipped. Fuck. Shit. That just made this a lot harder. Tooling hits hard. God. Oh, my God. He does a lot of damage with every hit. Can you block in my arrows? It's way too impressive. Sturdy wooden stick. <gasps> High durability. Let's go. Sturdy construct ball. Criminal offense side eye. Okay, now that's... That's on its own other level. <laughs> if Hylians can reproduce with goats, I wouldn't call them goats. They're just furries. They, they look more like bird people than goat. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. No. <sighs> Fuck you, game. Oh, Tulin. I mean, you can fly. You're fine. <laughs> I was just like, wait a minute. No, he's going to be fine. Oh, God. God. You executed that man. You headshot him and then headshot him to the ground. And then you knocked him off the edge. He didn't want him to live. He didn't want him to survive. He ended his whole career. In three strikes. I'm kind of scared of you, buddy. People tell him he's not a killer. something that's not good what is that what is that that's exactly what i thought it was okay that means we're gonna have to do this or not but you were gonna throw it at me he's trying to hit me with the bomb it's a giant bomb how do i activate it oh he fused some more things you have to Ow. That did it. Okay, have fun over there, buddy. Nope, stay over there. Yep, yeah, that's what I thought. God, all my bows. Just not doing great. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that set off the other bomb. 
<laughs> Tulin just died. Tulin just went boom. <laughs> That's a cool little addition. We have bombs now. But aren't bomb flowers. I'm not sure how I feel about that. What are the chances of me breaking through this and just falling to my death? I think pretty high. <laughs> Boom, baby. That was great. He was about to fuse a life bomb to his arrow. Oh, God, that would have been scary. That would have done major damage. Yeet! Okay. That was fine. <laughs> that could have been worse. Rip Tulin. Rip Tulin just got blown up and he was just like, nah, I'm good. I'm back. Oh, another large zone I charge. Too bad I don't have the ingenuity to build anything yet. Up we go. So we've got balls here. What do we use those for? Ah. That wasn't a ball. <laughs> okay, we're making a hot air balloon. Where are we going? To the sky? Yeah, pretty much. I prefer metal. We'll go with metal. When using a fire source, I would not attach it to wood. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, we've got the flame emitter. We just need this. Imagine explaining that explosion to Tabor. Look, Tabor. I blew up a bomb near an enemy. Unfortunately, your kid was near another bomb that got set off by the first bomb. It didn't end well for him. Oh, I should have used Tabor's gust power. Oh, no, Tabor. Tulin's gust power to push my thing forward while we flew. That would have been fun. I don't know why I'm going so high up. I don't need to. But it feels better. Okay, send. Hey, uh, Tabor, would you care for a roasted snack? You like yakitori, Tabor? Everyone likes yakitori. I think that'll soften the blow of what's about to come. Or it'll make it much, much worse, but... Yakitori is great. Let's let's start with some yakitori. Some fried chicken. Like KFC, you're more a Popeye's man. Um... This atmosphere is sick. God, I love this. Good. Yay! Where are we going? Uh, Tabor. Not even Tabor. I keep calling you Tabor. I just miss your dad so much. He was so cool. I can't believe he's been kicked out of main character position. Oh, there's another boat there. Um, uh, yeah, we can get to this one. Without Tulin, it'll be fine. Yep. And then we just get over there. Let's go! Okay, now here's my question. I face plant into this ice. Do I die or do I slam through it? The answer is... Slam through it. Sick. That made me feel so powerful. Another shrine? Damn, they're just throwing them at me. Uh -huh. Eber is attractive? Yeah, he is. He was so cool. I love his style. This is my first time flying this high. The air's pretty cold up here, huh? I'll be fine, but what about you, Link? Make sure you don't freeze, okay? Well, I've got this really nice tunic made out of... Uh, uh... Okay, kid, I've got to tell you honestly. You notice how it's colored just like your mother's plumage? Anyway. I I'll tell you when you're older. Um, let's move on. Let's move on. To the shrine, baby. That's a big boat. That's going to send me high. Poor kid. It's time to teach you about the birds and the bees. I was the bee and your mother is a bird. I said bzzz and uh, honey was collected. Uh, honey was collected. His mother is pink. Yes, but think about it this way. By the time we were done, it made it dirty. <laughs> God damn it. You like jazz? Exactly. Oh, I'm just being given this one. Thank you, Rauru. Rauru's blessing. Large zone I charge. Massive energy storm. Put it in the zone I defense it, so. Okay. I mean, I'm definitely going to use it in the dispenser. That sounds more useful than just powering up my... Ooh. Powering up my stuffs. Fuchan, no. Fuchan, yes. Have you seen Tulin's mom? 
I mean, I'm not a furry. <laughs> Definitely not a feathery or whatever that would be called. But at the same time, but shit, I'm in the wrong position. Damn it. Too high up. I don't even do the zoom in. Samurai? It's, you can't samurai your way out of this one. It's already been said. Samurai. I really need to learn that first line. Okay, we're done talking about Tulin's mom. Although she has got it going on. It's all I want, and I've waited for so long. I know Tulin's dad, too. Tulin's dad, he makes me so glad. He's all I want, and I want him so bad. This is the wrong way. That's not the way to the boat. That's the way to the boat. Good lord, don't pace, not gonna lie. Have it both ways. Which restaurant does the, like, have it your way thing? PK. They do chicken now. Give me a spicy chicken and a spicy chicken. Yes, please. I'm going to stop talking about this. Now, the, that conversation went on for way too long. Cringe. Okay, it bounced me again. Now I know which way to go. The wind's getting so strong. Wind, carry me. Tulin! Launch me that away. Yeah. I don't know if this is my type of humor. I'm also too sleep deprived. That's what it is for me. That's why I'm like, that's enough of that. That's a conversation I wouldn't have if I had had eight hours last night. <laughs> it's not home wrecking. True. In that case, it's just a happy fun time. Yeet. This music is so epic. Let's go, Tulin. The boat's running away. You may have to hit me again, Tulin. Please power up very quick, Tulin. Um, kiddo. This isn't looking good for your old Uncle Linky. Okay, you know, no, no, I don't need you. Screw you, Tulin. I'll do it myself. The music area slaps. Yeah, it's so good. Maybe I should start going counterclock. Oh, there's a boat. Right in front. Tulin, let's go. Get me, buddy. Nope, I fucked up. Um. Uh-oh. Okay, there's one coming this way. I can grab onto it and climb my way up. That'll do. What am I? Okay. Um, that's not gonna work. We'll just ascend. Bum, ba, bum. What the fuck? There we go. What now? We just keep climbing, baby. We make our way up at our own speed. Oh, there. There's a boat behind us. Perfect. I get that high. I did not get that high, but there's one coming my way. Tulin! Just me. Good boy. Okay, where now? There's one. This is sick. Okay, that one's a bit of a stretch, but we're going to do our best, Tulin. Together! I believe in you. We are not getting far. Oh, you know, we could grab onto the bottom of it, maybe. Is that going the opposite way? No, it's just not moving. Shit. Okay, we'll get that one. Hopefully that'll take us up high enough. Just me, kiddo. What, why are you moving away from me, boat? Okay, come on. There we go. You barely. Perfect. You got one more in you, kid? Hit me. You're a legend. Does this count as child labor? You know it does. But you know what? Technically, he's just an unpaid intern. So it's okay. I think we can get to that one. I might have been wrong. Oh, God. This is so painful. I'm just 
very slowly drifting towards... Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Yeet. Technically, he's a kid we found. Yeah, I've adopted him. This is just me raising the child. I'm teaching him a... Oh, we're above it all now. That's so beautiful. What is that? Perfect sphere. Oh. This game is so magnificent. Now we're going to go through the center like a Beyblade. Oh, I love this. Continuously finding new ways that it surprises me. I didn't think it would suddenly get so calm like that. It's so nice. Okay. Ew, what is that thing? It's like a tower. Okay, in we go. Gate! That does not look very inviting. I'm just gonna hit me, Tulin. I'm going in. Okay. Cannons? Winter. Oh, we got temples. Pretty seahorse ship. Um, I don't like the look of that cannon. It doesn't look like I can take it out either. <laughs> um, where do I want to start this, baby? Do I want to? How long? Have, six hours? Um, this would probably be a good place to stop. Mm. Bruh. Mm, yeah, I'm considering. Maybe we keep going. Maybe we finish the wind temple today. It might be pretty long. Mm. Wow, so this is what was waiting for us in that huge cloud. Question is, can we teleport back to here? This is the Stormwind arc from the kids' song. Huh? Oh, Zelda! Shit, she's actually here. Huh? huh? Ark. Awkward indeed, kiddo. What the? And now she's gone. This proves it, Link. The blizzard that's been pounding Rito Village is coming from there. Oh, yeah. Didn't I see someone here a minute ago? Weird. I could have sworn they were just here. Hmm. Tulin of Rito Village. Updated. Wait, what? Why? Oh, the, the actual thing. Nah, you can't teleport back to here. It's not like the Divine Bee. Oh, you can! No, that's, that's, mm. <sighs> Yeah, I guess we have to finish it then. We, we can't do our things here. We can't do our amiibos here. We got to do our amiibos. <laughs> we, uh, we can't use our amiibos. We just got to keep going. It's just a rule. I feel like I can move those gears. What's this? We actually can. Wait, really? I'm confused. <laughs> Oh, this makes... That's a teleporter. Okay. <laughs> wow. The game really said, I got you, Fuchan. We know you want to do a two-hour Zatsu. We, we got you. He's, uh, we finish the Wind Temple next time, maybe. He's, uh... Oh, it's broken. So we're going to have to repair this before we do shit? Yeah. Hmm. Looks like it's shut tight. The source of the blizzard has got to be right under that hatch. Isn't there some way we can open it? Mm. Oh, no way. That sound, there it is again. Do it. Hit me with it, Raru. Brave fledgling. Okay, that's much better. There are still five locks securing the hatch on the deck. Got ya. Use your power to release all five locks, and the hatch should open. What about the brave Hylian? You want to talk about the Brave High Lee, Young? My words. Okay. <laughs> There's something about his reaction. <laughs> Him just being like, okay, I heard it for sure this time. 
So did I, kiddo. So did I. It was calling out to me loud and clear. Source of the blizzard messing up the village has got to be under this hatch. That's not the same as Rauru's VA. Shit, it sounded the same to me. I wonder who it is then. But the voice is right. It'll open once we find a way to release all five locks. We're so close. Come on, Link. Let's figure out how to open up those locks. Now I can teleport? Yeah. What was that sound? Oh, there's monsters everywhere. That's what that said. Oh, God. Um. <laughs> Just heard Tulin scream like a little bitch. So, yeah, I can travel to here. Okay, we're going to head out back to Lookout Landing. Um. Uh-oh. Um. I guess we have to do this first. I guess I could have just jumped off the boat. But yeah, we're going to head to Lookout Landing. We're going to pop our amiibos and then we'll end for the day. The music just go dark. Yeah, it did. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. He's just a kid. What do you expect? He's adorable. Is he going to come with me to Lookout Landing? There's no way, right? I mean, he came with... This is still part of it. Let's find out. Let's find out. To the surface. Lookout Landing. That's not looking where there we go. Wait. Yeah, that one. You have to go somewhere, Link? I'll keep looking into Okay, yeah, no, he stays here. That's fine. Oh, I wanted your power, kid. I wanted your power forever. Child kidnapping? I mean. You don't have to say child kidnapping. It the the term is kidnapping. You're napping a kid. You don't have to express that it's child kidnapping. But, yeah, it's not letting us kidnap him. Ah, we'll do our best. We're going out for milk, kid? Yeah. Gotta go get my long, long milk. We'll be back eventually. Oh, no, my epinas are gone. But my epinas... That's okay. Amiibo pop in time. I, don't, I mean, I've got, like, enough weapons. You're napping a kid? Exactly. <laughs> the kid is taking a nap. Gotcha. There you go. Guardian. God, I hate this one. Get out of the way first. Giant metal boxes are not fun. Really? You don't even have much in them. God damn it. Staminoka bass? Oh yeah, if we get a Staminoka bass, we'll take it to the kid too. We'll take it to the little girl in Rito Village. So that her family cannot starve today. <laughs> uh, this is Princess Zada with a loft wing. Boop -ba -da boop. Whatever loads. Oh, that's tanned. That's not amiibo. That would be why. Loft wing Zada. Ooh, another Ajura carrot. Let's go. A horse will be able to fly forever. And a ruby. God damn, that's worth a lot of money. Super firepower. Which amiibo is your favorite? Um, I like Ho Link on horseback, which I just used. I just used the Link on horseback one. I really like, like, the hood look. And him up on the horse. I think that's really cool. We've got such good weapons now. We're not really going to need the treasure chests. <laughs> That flower flew. Ah, it's... F oh, there it is. Yeah. Shot away over there. This is Link from Twilight Princess. I'm going to double up. This takes too long. But it also use... Link with a bow and arrow. There we go. There's my fish. Let's see if we've got any Staminoka. Mighty Porgy, Mighty Carp. Armored Carp. Nope, no Staminoka yet. That's okay. Soldier shield again. What about you? Oh. Love how it drops from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Which is breaking reality a little bit. It's fine. It's fine. Drop that. That one. Oh, yeah. Okay. It says Zelda. Toon Zelda. Are these chests refresh dailies? Yeah, they come back every day. We get to collect all of the things. And this is Link from Tears of the Kingdom with his arm out. I love those pumpkins. Yep. Bum, bum, 
bum bum bum. Knight's broadsword. No. I love how it speaks, spooks NPCs. Yeah, we should be dropping these next to Pura, actually. And then Opal. Oh, hell yeah. Need that money. Give me that cash. We. Hey, Pura. I got something for you. Don't worry about it, girl. That's Byleth. You can't use Byleth. <laughs> A Bobokin. <laughs> she, she had a little spook. It's okay. Shiny rocks, always. Oh, yo, Bokoblin fabric. That's adorable. Someday I'll get to Hatino Village. Someday. That's Corin. That's also not useful. Ah, oh, Celica. Stop giving me Fire Emblem ones. Okay, Bird Boy. Revali. <laughs> and Link from Smash Bros. Playing all day for 10 now. We're wrapping up now. We're just dropping our amiibos. <laughs> I want to actively hit her. It felt freaking heat seeking. No, I'm not trying to talk to you. Uh, don't worry. Check it. Check it. Yep. How many amiibos do you have? I have all the Zelda ones. Yo, Night Shield. Okay, that's a big boy. Uh, goodbye, Gerudo Shield. Shockingly. Ooh, we got a big boy shield. Yep. And a swallow bow, but we've already got enough. Of, we literally have two of those already. <laughs> We're ready for our aerial combat. I did not hit her. I did not. <laughs> God damn it. That one almost. Yeah, that, that kind of butt slapped her. Um, And this one's Zelda from Breath of the Wild. <laughs> See, that scared her, but it didn't hit her, at least. Um, so many arrows. i uh, put this down. Crack these open. Yep. Nice treasure chest. Yeah. Oh, the pixel fabric. Looks like it's going to be Link Fixer way to do version. Where's Oreo? Oreo went back to the ranch for now. I keep calling it the ranch. The stable for now. Oh, crap. What do I get rid of? I can get rid of the 11 flame emitter. Like, this is just... It's so high. Defense. Yeah, we'll keep the night shield. That's crazy. Um, We'll grab these barrels in a second. The horse house. The horse house. Exactly. <laughs> the ranch. The horse house. God. At least my mind isn't that far gone. Any stamina? Yeah! Okay. We're going to feed a child before we end this stream, too. Teach a bird to fish, and she will eat for a day. Ooh, fresh Zora spear. One that's not fucked up. I don't have anything good to drop, though. This is the, oh, everything is pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, I'm sorry, Zora spear. I'm going to talk about a chest crushing the fish. No, I mean, it puts the fish out of its misery. It's better than it suffocating. This is the Gerudo champion. I actually forget her name right now. I'll read you the old one. That's so much meat. Oh, my economy is thriving. The time your brain is fried now? Pretty much. Now the Gerudo shield, we don't need that. We need the ability to hold more shields though, damn. Link from Majora's Mask. Mushy mushrooms. Even when they're nowhere near her, she freaks out. I can't remember which one it was. Was it that one or, or was it this one? Yep. No, it wasn't that one. Damn it. Okay. So many fungus. Yeah, they do be fun guys. It's always nice to invite them to the party. Wolf Link from Twilight Princess. He just drops meat. He doesn't even drop a uh, <laughs> chest. Just so much meat. Bum, 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 bum. Urbosa, thank you. This one is Daruk, the Gr the Goron champion. A oh, ruby, you legend. Love you, Daruk. They nerfed Wolf Link hard. Yeah, he used to run around with you. 
An unfucked up cobble... Okay, that we're keeping. Get rid of this. We no longer need the rock hammer. We have better rock hammer. Um, that's the other kid from Fire Emblem. Forget his name. Link from Wind Waker. Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> yeah, that one fish gets crushed every time. Hardy Salmon. Yo. Let's go. That's going to be super high level. No Wolf Link? Yeah, you can't summon him into this one. Damn! An unfucked up Knight's Broad. That's stronger than some of my combination weapons. I mean... I guess it's time to get rid of the Lizzle Reaper. Jeez. 18 and I confuse shit to it. Is this an endurance stream? No, we're about to wrap it up. Ocarina of Time Leak. Don't worry, Pura. It's not scary. And this is going to be the final. Oh, no, that's Moth. A soldier's Claymore that's unfucked up as well. Jesus. Um, Nah, we'll leave that one. I don't like the big weapons. The spin to win thing kind of mess with me. Okay, we're going to go see our bird child. And then we'll end the here. Right? Yeah, Rito Village. We'll go give a bird a fish. This is becoming an ungodly amount of chest. Yeah. And then we just abandon them there. It just becomes litter. Just like, hey, Pura, you deal with that for me, okay? I'm off to do, you know, hero shit. Like, bring a child to war. Um, can we do that in other things? <laughs> the Shin Megami Tensei series is all about bringing children to war. Okay, where was my child? It's about halfway up. It's going to be a bit of a climb. Unless... Oh, thank goodness. Do the chests ever despawn? Oh, yeah, they despawn pretty much instantly. You're not the one who wants fish. So get out of here. There is hope yet. Oh, shit, Saki came back home. You wanted fish? No. Hmm. Child soldier ready? Yeah, he's waiting for us. That's the fun thing. He didn't even come home. Saki's just like, oh, hey, Link. Wait. L Link? Where's my child, Link? L Link? Link, please. <laughs> hmm. Eh. No items. Azukashi. It definitely... I don't feel like it was this high up. Maybe we went past it when we shot through the... First thing. Or maybe she's moved around to somewhere else. She's still making arrows. She hasn't got any more for me. I'm not going to go see him because I left his child elsewhere. <laughs> oh, God. Don't worry about it, bird people. I'm sure he'll be fine. Just napping another kid. No, we're not going to kidnap this one. We're just going to give them fish. And hopefully they'll give us some of the food. I mean, that would only be fair. Okay, this is right at the beginning. So up we go. This is the inn. Tiny little bird girl hiding behind a thing. Isn't it the green one? Why didn't she have an exclamation mark? Did I fuck up? This time she does. Mm, okay. I know that smell. You have stamina bass, don't you, mister? Is that for me? It sure is. There you go, kiddo. Really? Thanks. Now I can cook something that'll make the whole village feel better. Okay, mister, hold out your hand. That's it? That's what you're going to make for them? I mean, I suppose they'll be stronger. That's not much health, though. <laughs> you can eat this to beat your boost your strength in cold places like up in the Hebra Mountains. It won't fill your belly, but if you're roaming outside the village, I'm sure you'll find it useful. Oh. You know, cooking with ice fruit is pretty easy. You should try it whenever you need a boost. <sighs> Love learning how to cook. I'm going to cook stuff that's so tasty it makes everyone in the whole village smile. Okay. You've disappointed me. But that's... A, I'm used to being disappointed. <sighs> that's where we're going to end this stream for today. Well, not end. We're going to head over to Zatsutan. But yeah, that's... Uh, uh, how could she? 
How could she? I wanted some good food. I wanted to be like, finally, some good food. But no. She disappointed me. You're gonna end in disappointment? Yeah. End the game in disappointment. I'm gonna turn my air conditioner on. God damn, it does get hot by. Oh my god, it's 4 30. Jesus Christ. Why do I do this to myself? Why am I like this? Um, what music? This one. Laura Shigihara one. Nice and relaxing. You guys can hear it nice and loud until I get back. I'll be back in a second. You want pizza? What made you want pizza? Somebody else say they were getting pizza? Oh, what's with the head pats? What did I do? Are we fighting each other? But hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for the stream today. Six and a half hours. God, I need a nap after this. AFK face Tascaru. I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, that's what the head pats were for. Okay. That I will allow. That we do not need to fight about. Hello, Futan. Hello. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got pretty damn far. I didn't expect to get to a temple so soon. Ooh, a nap? A freaking sleep, please? Nah, I can't ruin my sleep schedule for tomorrow. That would be terrible. Uh, let me turn this back down. There we go. That's a nice volume. Did I miss a pee break? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> Not actually, but we'll pretend. We'll pretend so people don't get weird about it. Thank you for the stream. No problem. I had a blast. Oh, God, I love this game so much. When we got to four hours, I was like, ah, this is just, that's fine. When we got to six hours, I was like, six hours? Really? That flew by so fast. Such a good game. It's so much to do. Uh, and we got to a, to a temple. I didn't even, yeah, we've got temples. So that's going to be interesting. I haven't done a temple in so long. It's going to be nice to do a brand new one and not know what the heck's going on. Just do our best to get through it. Let me grab my comment grabber too. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Tulin was adorable. He made so many jokes about him being a child soldier. Maybe not great, but it's been a weird day for things like that. <laughs> oh my God. Too many jokes about his mom and dad, too. What's your plan for food? Um, I already had breakfast, so I don't really... I've got... I do this, like, meal plan thing now. Um, where they send me six meals a week. Um, and I just, like... You just have to microwave them, so it's super freaking easy. And it, like, they all stay fresh for six days. Um, I know one of them that I've got is, like, salmon with udon. Ter teriyaki salmon with udon noodles. I might get that one. Might be something else. The cum was really funny. Yeah, that was random. That shit went wild. <laughs> but yeah, I've still got like four of those left. Because they come every couple of days. So we'll be good. That sounds nice. Yeah, they're so good. They make things so easy. That way I never have to worry. I never feel like tempted to order takeout anymore either. Because it's like, do I want to spend like 20 bucks when you like add like the taxes and the delivery for takeout? Or do I just want to go grab one of those meals and just microwave it for three minutes? It makes everything so freaking easy. Not again, oh god. What was the again? What happened? As long as it isn't expired? Nah, this is this is like a genuine like meal kit kind of thing. It's just like instead of HelloFresh where they send you like all the ingredients, you have to make it yourself. They send you like the complete ready-made meals. It's awesome. 
Oh, the calm. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, there's been too much of that today. My bad. <laughs> Miss Cherry Lawliots. Thank you so much for donating the feud fans. What did we learn today? That Fushan has no filter on three hours of sleep. Thank you for the unhinged stream today, Fu. So long. I love that guy. <laughs> He's not as good as Cass. I need to find Cass in this game, but he's pretty damn cool. Thank you for donating the food funds, Miss Jerry Lawley. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. We're just concerned about the expiration date. Nah, you're good. Literally, they send them every three days. And so they actually have like expiration dates that go like five days away normally, sometimes six days. So why the five or six days? So as long as you don't like just ignore them for day after day after day, you're good. I miss his accordion. Yeah, he told us so many cute poems. He sang for us. It was great. Enjoy your dinner, Fuchan. It sounds yummy. Reverse Uno card. Make sure you guys will eat something healthy as well. Get some nice food. Get something nutritious. Fill your tummies. Have a wonderful evening sleep. I'm going to sleep so early tonight. It's not even funny. <laughs> when I'm done with this, yeah. Dog's walk is again a bit late, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Like, he just needs to adjust to the fact that it's got to be like 5.30 when I play Zelda. <laughs> Maybe even 6. Um, but yeah. I finish this, I'm going to walk dog. I'm going to have a lovely dinner. Probably going to have a shower just to like chill and like enjoy that. I love having a shower before bed. And then, yeah, I may be in bed by like 8 p.m. I'm not even going to lie. I may just be like, do everything I have to before that. And then, yeah, early night, hopefully wake up early tomorrow, full of energy. And then, yeah, probably we'll do... Well, is this uh, one thing got misquoted um when i was talking about like possibly watching the last of us tomorrow it'll be around our normal time for stream a lot of people were saying like in the evening uh i might have said it wrong at the time but what i was thinking is if i uh, yeah wake up full of energy i'll essentially just like set up a stream and it'll either be like 10 a.m edt so the same time we've been streaming every day or 11 a.m edt so just like one hour later ah so yeah if we do the last of us in the morning just pre-warning It'll be around the same time as always. And don't feel like you have to show up to it, because obviously it's just a watch along. We'll be starting from episode three. We'll probably do episode three, four, maybe five, depending on how it goes. Me too, we're gonna sleep early. Let's go. It's nice to sleep early. It's really nice, like, especially if you just sleep like two hours early, you get like a good eight hours of sleep, but also wake up like maybe an hour earlier than you're used to. And that's always a nice feeling when you're completely refreshed, but also awake early. I think it's because you said if I still have energy later, I'll watch. Yeah, no, that, that was probably on me, like 100%. I'm sure I said it wrong because I definitely like weeks ago when I was explaining, I was talking about like if I stream during the day and then have energy in the evening. So I probably just repeated that phrase. And so people thought I meant in the evening, but it's just because, yeah, tomorrow I like don't have anything to stream. So I might just do it at that kind of time. Um, boom, 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 boom. My HBO account is waiting for this. Let's go. Yeah, I've not actually used Max yet. <laughs> they keep emailing me like, hey, HBO Max is dead. You need to like change your thing to Max. And I'm like, I'm paying for it. Why do I have to change my thing? Why, why, why don't you just tell me? Why don't you just get the app for me? Why do I have to download a new app? Why can't you just install it or just, just update the HBO Max into the Max app? It was so weird. Uh, whatever. Yeah, we're well, you. Well, I'll get Max or whatever the frick it is. Um, Vexalarius. Vexalarius. Yo, you sound like you're one of the Vex and Vox siblings. <laughs> Otsufu, this is the least I can do in return for the link noises earlier. That sounds worrying. Thank you and bye as always. Those weren't even particularly bad noises. I mean, Link's noises are just fighting noises. They're not like the Lara Croft noises, but I mean, if people enjoy them, have fun with them. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Have a wonderful evening. Please rest well. And thank you so much for being here and enjoying the stream. Marinette, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. Still haven't watched, finished watching all the VOD from the other stream, but one day I'll get to see it all. Sorry about that, Eri. Now we have another seven hours. Well, six and a half. It was like six hours, 20 minutes of gameplay. Um, And then we have like... We're streaming this again in two days. Uh, 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 we'll probably slow it down soon. I might still do like three, four streams next week, but after that, we'll probably slow it down. Chill. You may hire TY for the stream, Fuchan. 
You usually end before my shift ends, but I made it home and you're still live. <laughs> Stream was really fun today. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, Zelda just does something to me. I just end up like having fun looking down and being like, oh, it's been four hours. Oh, we'll keep going for a little bit. We play for a little bit. And I'm like, oh, damn, a wind temple. Maybe this is a good place to start. What do you mean it's been six hours? That kind of thing. Zelda addiction is understandable. It's so good. So good. You make Tears of the Kingdom seven hours, be like three hours. It's yeah, it's amazing. Just glad you guys enjoy it. Thank you for donating the food funds you may hire. It's nice to have you here. I hope you had a good day. Thank you for joining us and thank you for donating. Apple F, I really enjoyed your sing-songy mood today, Foo. I did sing a lot of random ass songs. I was definitely in that kind of like not thinking, head empty, say whatever comes into my mind kind of mood. <laughs> as long as you feel okay. Yeah, I'm good. Definitely need to stretch my legs a little bit though. Slow it down and add two hours. No, <laughs> that's not the plan. Thank you for donating the food, food funds, Apple F. Have a wonderful day. And Hope Schmidt, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you have a wonderful evening. Hi, everyone. Hi, Folger. Hello, Amelia Parker. That's a beautiful Albin avatar. So glad he's on his way back soon. I miss that cat boy. Don't tell him that, doll. Oh, hopefully we'll be able to recreate his birthday. I'm so sad he missed his main birthday day. But thank you for being here. We love three hours, Fuchan. Three hours is a good time. That's not too bad. Your freestyle about the statue was the best. I, the, the sad thing is I can't even remember that. I remember changing like the lyrics of Stacy's mom to Tulin's dad. I did Tulin's mom and then I did Tulin's dad. Phrasing. I mean, I made songs about Tulin's mom and Tulin's dad. <laughs> I don't remember any of the other random songs. I just remember I did sing quite a few times. The timing too. It was good. <laughs> Uh, blah, blah. Time really passes by quickly when you're having fun. Yeah, when we're just chilling and having a good time, it's yeah, nice to just chill. Doubting short stream of Fuchan when Zao is the topic. That's fair. That is totally fair. We just play as long as we want to play and then we dip out. It's good. Boom, boom, boom. Hope Schmidt, thank you for donating the food funds again. Thank you for the cute little super sticker. Oh, this dumb job. They're so sweet. Hope you enjoyed the stream today and have a wonderful evening. So much phrasing, lots of, yeah. Some of it was on purpose. Some of it was just like I said things and I was like, hmm, that was unfortunate. <laughs> Watch this after I got home from my stressful job interview. Thank you so much for the good vibes. <gasps> good luck on the job interview. I hope you get it. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you rest well. Maru, maru. Ba, ba, ha, ha. Ba, oh, that's perfect. That took me a minute to understand. It's the yahaha, but with a bar. Bah-ha-ha! I, I, that's hard. <laughs> yeah, okay. It doesn't really sound like a sheep noise when you do it in Korok voice. Bah-ha-ha. ha <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds. Otsu Fuwood, thank you for this chill stream as always. No problem. I had such a good time just exploring Hyrule. I forgot we started with the depths. Shit started creepy. And then it got pretty chill. Hmm. Definitely need to start getting more oh, 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 stamina. We need more stamina so we can fly through the air further. We haven't managed to do any sky islands yet. <sighs> but a bit of the depths. We need to explore more of the depths next and follow those statues, see where they lead. Um. But yeah. First, we'll do the wind temple. Just because I want to see what you get from temples in this. You get like, uh, don't tell me. This is just me thinking out loud. I'm wondering if you get like power ups or if you get like new weapons. I'm sure you get a new heart container because you always get new heart containers when you finish a temple. Um, but I'm wondering what else they like give you in this one. We'll see. But thank you for the big donation, Maru Maru. That's so sweet of you. I hope you have a wonderful evening and I hope you rest well. Um, there was one that wasn't grabbed by my comment grabber, unfortunately. Which was Luther. Thank you for today's stream. We were having fun. Especially we've learned a lot about words and phrasing. Oh, God. Yeah, I definitely don't learn English from Fuchan. It's a bad, bad direction to go. But thank you for donating the food funds. Very sweet of you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Luther as well. By the way, why did that one boss have a thong on? He just wants to look good, man. He's just having a good time. He was just wearing what he wanted to. Hey. It's Pride Month. There are parades going on. 
he can wear whatever he wants. Honestly, if I could wear a thong in Zelda, I would. I haven't found any of the cute outfits yet, and it's making me sad. I've used the amiibo so many times, and the only thing I have is like the cap of the time, cap of time, and cap of the wild. I'm surprised we aren't getting the cosplay outfits. It's disappointing. <laughs> we'll find them eventually. Which on why? <sighs> have you seen Link? That's why. I've seen Link. I appreciate Link. We will put him in the absolute sexiest outfit we find. I almost used a different S word for what kind of outfit I want to put him in. But we'll find one. If only you could dress up Zelda too and Pura. Pretty much everyone. Just like be like, yo, Zelda, I happen to find this. <laughs> I don't know. Mm. What was a fun outfit? Gerudo out. Yeah, the Gerudo Vo outfit. Like, hey, Zelda, you, you are. Here's a present for you. <laughs> Zelda just slowly backs away like, no, Link. No. Skimpy? Yeah, that's the S word I was going for. Totally. <laughs> Let's go with that one. Skimpy. Sure. <laughs> Kyo Tsubasa, another six hours plus stream. Glad that I woke up earlier and caught up to the stream. Thank you and take a good rest. Thank you so much, Kyo Tsubasa. So sweet of you. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us on Please Rest a well. Oh man, you woke up earlier and we're here the whole time. <laughs> That's a whole day gone, but thank you for being here. Link the Thong Warrior. Oh yeah. The more provocative, hmm, seductive, hmm. The more loose, the more flowy. If there's more airflow, he can move more. It's more maneuver maneuverability. That's what I'm going for. I'm just trying to loosen him up. Trying to loosen him up so he can move around more. Exposed? Yes, the more exposed it is. That's perfect. <laughs> B, TY for the stream. I had a rough day today, but this made me feel even better. Even if I only caught the end. This game is so addictive. I'm excited for the VOD. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much for joining us. Sorry you only got to caught the end, catch the end, and I'm sorry you had a rough day. But I hope it gets better from here on out. Hope you get to have a nice night and rest well. Thank you. Please do enjoy the VOD when it goes up. The less restrictive? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Borg, TY for another comfy stream. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for being here. It's lovely to have you. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for being here. Rest well. Have a lovely evening and take it easy. Lays Otsufu. Thanks for the chill stream. Even though the stream was six plus hours, it felt so short somehow. For real, it flew by. And now I'm like, yeah, I can feel it in my legs. My legs are like, you need to move or lay down. Pick one, dumbass. <laughs> my cyborg legs don't like to be standing that long. <laughs> my night shift flew by so quickly while I have you as my background. Thanks for the company. I'm so glad to hear that. I hope you get to rest well after this, especially since you've worked so hard. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for donating the food funds and have a lovely morning if your night shift is finished have a lovely day <laughs> thank you for being here um ba -bum. think you need some sleep folger don't we all i do i said that once and you guys just jumped on it that's up to you that's on you guys i didn't even mean anything wrong with it i'm just being a normal person for once wearing shorts like in troy will make links stronger i mean he basically wears tunics all the time and so yeah, that's what he does. We just need to find the right tunic leggings. Because yeah, some of them have actual like leggings or pants on them, but a lot of them are bare. A lot of them are bare. <laughs> Normal folga phrases, true. This is just what comes out of my mouth, man. Just so used to it. Yeah. Go back to old super chats. But who's normal nowadays? Normal is boring. That's the whole thing. Who gives a damn about normal? We don't need trousers in this game? You're damn well right. Where we're going, we don't need pants. Okay, old super chats. Mikita-chan, Minecraft warrior, Ikuza. Oh, you, you tricked me. Intentional typo? No, we're the minecart warrior. And we're not even that anymore. At this point, I guess we're more. We have a flame shield. I don't know what we are. We've kidnapped some children. Um, but we also fed a child fish. We we give and we take. Um, we did try to sleep with Tulin's mother and father. I don't know what we are. We are... 
a wild amalgamation of things <laughs> link is a cryptid link just shows up reverses time teleports through the ceiling smashes some shit drops some bomb arrows gets out a bunch of ridiculously expensive gems and sells them to ruin the economy of the town then just walks away that's that's what link does link is a cryptid was the child in question a fish as well i missed that part no we fed the bird a fish thankfully not a zora although if i feed a zora a fish i guess that would be like a human eating another primate like a like us eating like a monkey or a gorilla i've never heard anyone try to eat any of those things i've never really thought about it does that like mess with your body i don't know definitely fish eat other fish though fish eat other fish bird eat other birds we eat other mammals this means it's pretty close you wanted to feed teba chicken earlier technically i wanted to feed teba his son um that was a bit beyond just feeding him chicken so yeah it's too we've not had enough sleep to ask these questions anyway we fed a bird a fish it was good <laughs> Don't the Zora eat fish? What do they eat otherwise? I imagined vegetables. I feel like they're vegetarians. Probably not. They probably eat other fish. Probably. <laughs> Luthier, time for Minecraft. I mean, Minecart Warrior. Ikizel. Thank you for donating the food funds. At least you didn't go the whole way. Cloudines. Fu Chan, I see you only have three hearts there. Let me give you mine and you'll have full health again. What do you say? What do I say? I say, Kuya. I will take the heart. I will break it like a Mori, and I will use it to fuel my genocide run, which I haven't done yet, but I will do someday. Thank you. Very nice of you to offer. Oh ho! She shot her shot. I mean, true. I said a Mori. I did mean Undertale. Wow! I really do need sleep. Whoa. Okay. Yee, thank you for donating to the food funds. No message, but thank you so much. I hope you had a wonderful day. Oh, and the second one. <laughs> Yee, thank you again. Good night, Folger. Good night, Yee. Although I'm sure you've been asleep for a long time now. I hope you enjoyed the stream. I hope you had a wonderful evening, and I hope you've slept well. Rest well. Take it easy, and thank you for joining us. And Eleanor, hi, Futan. So excited for more Zelda. I caught up on the last VOD yesterday on my birthday. This will be a fun stream. Let's go. Happy birthday, Eleanor. Thank you for joining us on your birthday. And congratulations on catching up the VOD. I'm glad you got to watch this one live because of that. Hope you have a wonderful evening. Happy birthday. Take it easy. And thank you so much for joining us. Azuki Lilum Otsufu-chan. I was just in the stream in the background while I work. It sounds like you had fun in the game, so I'm very excited to watch the VOD. I'm still discovering new things, which is wild to me. It's been so exciting. Teba's power-up is... Teba? Tulin's power up is really good. I'm going to keep calling him Teba. I'm so used to the name Teba. My bird boy. Have a Mori level of sweet dreams. Hopefully better dreams than a Mori. A Mori can be scary dreams. Oh my god. Very excited to watch the VOD. I hope you enjoy it, Hazuki Lilium. Thank you so much. Wait, Lilium. Lilium. I hope you enjoy it, Hazuki Lilium. Have a wonderful evening and thank you for joining us. Time for sleep always. Happy burp day. How dare. <laughs> How dare. Mr. Friends, Fufu-chan, today's my birthday. I want you to wish me a happy birthday, please. Now I'm not going to, unfortunately. Uh, you need to check my chat rules before you ask me to do things. Even if you pay me money, if you specifically ask me to say something, I will not say it. But thank you so much for donating the food funds, and I hope you had a good day. Why you got to expose me like that? Because I can. Oh, bullet, Why? <laughs> <gasps> that's worse than me going backwards nine months and seeing what's up with when people no that's probably about the same level of yuck that works too nope nope no, i'm not ending this conversation i'm not grabbing anymore scary enough okay <laughs> jihan thank you for donating the feed fans a few days ago, I voted for the super chat and I said that I received a solid perfume. I said this is the smell of an uncle in his 30s. I just saw related old videos today, so I want to tell you that I like this fragrance very much. Awesome! Google Translation may have a lot of strange things to place. 
I hope Fuchan can understand. Don't worry about it. I believe you have a nice day. Wanan. Wanan, Zikon. Thank you so much for donating the food funds again. I'm so glad you enjoy the solid perfume. I can't wait to smell it myself. It may still take a few months. It's sad. Um, they send us like our merchandise like when it's piled up a bit, when we've got like a few different things out, and then they send us a big box. So hopefully I'll get that box within like another month or two. I really want to smell the solid perfume and see how it all came together. But thank you for telling me that. I'm glad you enjoy it. Thank you for donating the feud funds. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Busted out? Wait, what? Oh god, what am I reading in chat right now? It smells really nice. I'm glad. But chat, why did you grab it? Why not? I can grab whatever I want. <laughs> Shiro Antika. Hey, Futan. Oh, again? I'm not really... Somebody literally said this the other day. I can't remember whether it was the same person. Sorry that I'm just a kid. I can't give you much money. I'm trying to know what you're talking about. Hope you're having a great time. I'm having a wonderful time. Don't worry about it. You don't have to donate anything. <laughs> the streams are free. Do not worry about it, Shiro Antika. Thank you for donating the food funds. But like I said to the last person, only donate what you want to just if you feel like you're having a particularly good day and want to like celebrate something or show some support to the streamer. If you have like extra money and you like like some of the merchandise that comes out, go ahead and buy that. Like all of that is good. But yeah, don't do anything you don't want to and don't ever feel like you have to pay anything. If you're here, you're supporting us by being here and giving us an extra view. And if you're enjoying the stream, that's even better. That's all that matters. But thank you for donating the food funds. Don't worry about it. Hope you have a wonderful evening and good luck on, I'm guessing from the understand comment, you mean like you're learning English at the same time. So I hope that goes well too. I hope it works out. Sorry, I sometimes use hard words. Have a wonderful evening. We are here, community is free. Yeah, exactly. Giga move. Thank you for donating the feed, fans. No message, but I hope you're having a wonderful evening. That name is so fun to say. What is this avatar? Just a cute anime girl. I think it's a cute anime girl. <laughs> it's a cute anime character. Thank you. Chestnut. Atsufufuchan. Arigato. Thank you for donating the feed funds, Chestnut. Oh no. We ate some chestnuts today. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for donating to the food funds. I hope you enjoyed the stream and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, Elsie Turg. Zawart Wait. I can't really do that voice. Zawardo. Best I can do. Zawardo. What's your food chat? Arigato Elsie Turg. Thank you so much for donating to the food funds. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. I love the time reversal in this. It's been a lot of fun. Like reversing enemies, items thrown at them was pretty cool. When I first learned you could like lift ad items up and then climb up on them and ride them. That was pretty cool. Um, hopefully we'll find more ways to play with that and use that. One thing that I did think about, like if you create a giant bridge and you like grab the closest end to it and then like rotate it and move it forward, you could get like insanely fast movement so that wouldn't be good for actually like moving because obviously there's a lot of steps to set that up but if you need to like immediately get close to a boss like a hinox or something or if you need to cat you know, like cross a big like water area or something like that you could use that to like get across really quickly I i've got some ideas we'll see if they work they may fail but i've got some ideas which could work thank you for donating the feud funds and i hope you have a wonderful evening I love this game. Exploring some things is cool. Are the 20 block bridges again? <laughs> Who says it's only going to be 20? I'll let you know I have the ability. Well, 20 is literally the longest you can do, huh? <laughs> let me have this. I'll make it more than 20 somehow. <laughs> M.E.R. Me. Stream was amazing. Have a great day. Fu-chan. Arigato. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you for being here. Rest well. Take it easy. And thank you. I was busy today and couldn't watch the beginning, but I watched the VOD because I love watching you play this. Ah, thank you so much, Lin Salar. I hope you have fun with it. I clicked that one and then I saw what it said and I was like, yeah, I have been making those jobs. Link do be exploring. He'd like diving down into caves. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Fushan, Fuchan, you're so awesome. I'm so glad to see you happy and enjoying the game. Hope you have a nice day and rest well. Good night. 
Thank you so much, Ishan. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I never know whether it's like Ishan or Ishan or Ushan. But thank you so much for donating the food funds. I hope you have a wonderful night too. And thank you for being here. Link the Explorer. Yeah, we do be exploring. <laughs> God damn it. Um, Anken Simon Strong. Started my birthday with angsty Fata Morgana. I'm ending it with chilling te tears of the kingdom. It's been great with you, Folger and Confidants. Thanks for being who you are. Thank you again and happy birthday again. I remember you saying it turned into your birthday while we were playing Fata Morgana. So it must have been past your birthday by this point. Happy birthday. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you had a wonderful birthday. Please rest well and take it easy. Go to sleep. You can't tell me what to do. I'm an adult. I can do whatever I want. Um, sensitive fun. I think I read this one. I didn't read it properly. I didn't read it fully. Hi, Futan. Been a while since I stopped by your streams due to work and life being tough on me these past months. Sorry for saying this so late, but I'm so glad you're back. And I miss you and the confidants so much. So tired, so I'm, I'm a mere now. Ah, you. Yeah, I just said goodnight to this one because I read it very shortly. But thank you so much for donating the food fund, sensitive bunny. I am so glad to be back as well. I hope things get better soon. Don't worry if you can't show up to the streams. If you enjoy the VODs, that's good. Swing by while you can and enjoy yourself. But yeah, don't ever feel like you have to take away time from other things. Just yeah, have a wonderful evening and please rest well. I still don't know if I pronounced Anwin's name correctly. I read that one out while playing as well and I'm like... I never got an answer if I pronounced it correctly. We'll find out at some point. Um, Lin, thank you so much for donating the feud funds. Welcome back. I just want to say thank you, Fuchan, for creating such a comfy and warm place for us. I love all of your streams. Your reactions and voice acting are always entertaining or touching for me. Best wishes for your health and for Doggo, Cat, and Cat. Oh, thank you so much. That was such a sweet message. I'm glad you enjoy the streams. That's all that really matters. And yeah, this feels like a very comfy place for me. Oh, they said I did. Sorry, one minute. <laughs> and this feels like a very comfy place for me as well. So I'm so happy that we have this with each other. Thank you for donating the food funds. Have a wonderful evening and please rest well. I did pronounce it right. Awesome. Good, good, good. <laughs> so I didn't mess that one up. It's good to see. Um, ba -bum. Tulin is boots. Wait, what? That confuses me. Foxy buddy. I just got home from work and I managed to get the simulate. The Silmarillion with the Silmarillion with my work discount. So I plan on reading that soon. Have you read it before? I haven't. I know things about the Silmarillion because I've like looked into the lore on just like online web pages talking about it and discussing it. But I've never actually read it myself because I've never actually read Lord of the Rings fully. <laughs> Every time I try to read Lord of the Rings, it scares me away with like too many multiple pages about Hobbit genealogy. <laughs> but I've heard the Silmarillion is really good. Maybe I'll try it again at some point in the future. The last time I tried, I was like 21 or something. So it's been a long time. Thank you for donating the food funds. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you have a wonderful evening. And yeah, have fun. <laughs> well, I didn't. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's why he's boots. No, don't make him be boots to Link's explorer. when that's what he's exploring. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> Rengo, the mushroom bread that is Tears of the Kingdom, collaborating a convenience store in Japan is delicious. There's mushroom bread? That sounds freaking awesome. Yo, I want some mushroom bread. I want some Zelda mushroom bread. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for donating the food funds. Someday, someday I'll get the mushroom bread. Inaki Kudozaki, here's a joke for you. What do you call a person missing 75% of their spine? A quarterback. God damn. <laughs> you know what? I'm allowed to laugh at that one. That's okay. <laughs> God damn. Literally a quarterback. That's pretty good. That's like a good 7 out of 10. I like that. Fungus bread. Fungus bread for the win. Oh, chat saying 10 out of 10. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you for donating the food funds in Aki Kurazaki. Acceptable casualty. The whole jacket, Link got zinc. <laughs> the, the phrase Link got zinc just makes me so fucking happy. Buff shroom bread, that wouldn't be... They literally say you can't eat that. That's not good. Hylian shroom bread. No, no, not puff shroom. That's a bad idea. 
June, thank you for donating the food funds. No message, but I hope you enjoyed the stream. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. And that is where we got up to. We have gone through every super chat. Perfect. So now we will jump into Streamlabs before we head off for the evening. Where's my thing? Oh, no. There it is. <laughs> Today's Streamlabs. Boom, boom, ba, boom, ba, boom, ba. Um, I don't think many were there. I didn't hear Alban's voice much. Yeah, there's not many. Cool. Susuri, thank you for donating the food funds. The message says... Anyway, hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for joining us. Paradox Mint. Lunch dono. <laughs> I'm at work, so I can't watch, but I'll watch the VOD. I've been making fandom bracelets while I watch lately. I've got all of the EN, EN branches done and some gacha games. I'll be handing them out at cons. Got to get more letters for the foo bracelets. Oh, have you put them up online at all? If you put them up online under the hashtag confidence, I'd love to see that. But thank you for donating the food funds, and I hope you have a wonderful evening, Paradox Mint. And Miu, thank you for donating the feud funds. What the heck? My thing broke. Um, thanks for today's stream, sir. From the good morning to the good night. Have a good day and nice break after stream. Thank you so much, Miu. I hope you have a wonderful time in the evening too. Please rest well. And thank you for joining us. Ah, wrong way. <laughs> oh, and that was a huge donation. Thank you so much, Miu. That's so sweet of you. I do hope you have a wonderful evening and please do rest well. Oh God. I have not done that in a while. <laughs> Kindred and on. Your laughter brings me joy. Thanks for the company while I got my errands and exercise in. I still can't believe a tree attacked you. Like, really? I think the ants would appreciate Link. And again, you do set fire to everything. I also chopped down a lot of trees for their wood. And then I burn those. <laughs> I chop down the trees so I can carry around the wood and burn more things. Olga, did you break something? For a moment, but it came back. <laughs> but yeah, these aren't the friendly ants. These aren't the ones from Lord of the Rings. That was not what I expected. Thank you for donating the feed funds. It was a bit of a horror moment, but we survived. <laughs> Sai Hai Jung. For all the time I chill in your streams, I think this is the first time I've ever donated. Thank you for the lovely stream, and I'm always happy to drop in for the vibes. Thank you so much, Sai Hai Jung. I'm glad to hear that. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you for the first time donation. The fact that you enjoy the streams is enough though. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful evening and please do rest well. For your deforestation, they seek revenge. Well, they can come at me then. They'll have to kill me. I mean, that's literally what they're trying to do. But they'll have to kill me. I'll never stop chopping down their trees. I need to end them. Oh, Lala, you're here live today. Thank you for the 100 gifted membership earlier today. Hi, Futan. I have a very good friend who tells me that I'm going to be her baby's godmother by the end of the year. I'm glad that she remembered the promise she made 10 years ago. So I'm sharing this joy with Futan and Confidants. Thank you so much for donating the food funds. And that's awesome. Congratulations on becoming a godmother. That's adorable. You're going to have a baby to look after and to cherish and to spoil. That's awesome. 10 years as well. Damn, you guys have been friends for a long time. Congratulations. I hope you have so much fun with the baby. <laughs> it's always better having a baby that isn't yours. Like being an uncle or being a godparent, it's like, yeah, I'll drop in and help every now and then. I'll, I'll give some presents. They'll love me because I never have to discipline them. And then you disappear. <laughs> oh my God, that's a huge, that's beyond like an Arca Super too. Thank you so much for the huge donation. That's so sweet of you, Lala. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for joining us. And congratulations. I'm glad to hear that, Joy. My sister is counting the days. Oh, God. <laughs> Being an auntie is great because you can leave. That's what I'm saying. When you can just be like, okay, the baby pooped. I'm out. <laughs> or, oh, God, the child is hitting puberty. I'll be back in six years. Ten years? Hmm. Ten years. The child has begun to hit puberty. I'll see you in ten years when they get over all of that. I don't want to deal with the that <laughs> you can spoil them with the horror of their parents in the back oh god god damn it yeet the baby do not yeet the baby that's a bad way that's a way to break a baby love being auntie when time is up i pass the baby back yep just be free just be like okay i'm done 
Thank you, but bye. Thank you, but no, I'm good. You can have the baby back. <laughs> but with that said, that's all the super chats and all the stream labs, and I am pretty tired out. Oh God, I need to stretch. I need to walk. I need to lay down. I need food. I need everything. Which means I'm sure you guys do as well if you've been watching this for a full seven hours. So make sure you rest. Make sure you stretch. Make sure you eat something good. Drink a lot of water. Have a wonderful time. We're going to head out. I'll do the normal reading things. What did Anime Impulse do? Return baby to send. <laughs> oh God. You don't want to do that. That. Oh God. You reverse time on a baby. And the mother has to give birth again. No. Link, no. Put the hand down, Link. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for joining the stream today. I hope you had a wonderful evening. As always, do not be led astray, my confidants. And I will catch you guys next time. Oh, sleep deprivation is coming in real, man. The images that have been put into my head today. How dare. <laughs> Well, with that said, on the way out, I'd like to say thank you to everyone who joined the membership today. Everyone who's rejoined, everyone who joined for the first time, and everyone who gifted a membership to the sheep pile, including Koda Makido, Bullet Thinks, Zulela, Morgan Miser, Jesse, Luthier, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Foxy Burry. Luthier, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Lala, thank you so much for the 100 gifted membership. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Please have a wonderful evening and rest well. And congratulations again on becoming a godmother. Krem, fist fighting YouTube. Jun. Eri Chan. Mao Tian, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Levi or Levi? I always, I'm not sure, sorry. Shaw, Achiatore, Risimo, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Slag, Lee, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. That's so many. Oh my God. And Miu, thank you so much for the 20 gifted membership. I hope you both had a wonderful day and enjoyed the stream. Stella, I know Lily, Bay, Aomi, Thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Pisha Pish, thank you so much for the gifted. Boya. Oh, and Pisha Pish, welcome back to the membership. Bakura. Rain Rainbow. Kai. Whale Shark. Salima J Merchant. Christine XD. K, thank you so much for the gifted membership. RYNG. 030. Asuka Sato, Morgz, Nick, Ayako Shiku, River, Maru Maru, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Ow. Isu, Kurumaisu, Isu Kurumaisu, Nixie, thank you so much for the ten gifted membership. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. One more, <laughs> one more, what a cute name. Lynn, oh my god, thank you so much for 20 more gifted membership. Hope you enjoyed the stream today and I hope you have a wonderful evening. San San, thank you so much for the five gifted membership. Lala, thank you so oh my god, 20 more gifted membership during the stream. Hope you had a wonderful day, please rest well. Crispy, Miss Jerry Lawliet, thank you for the gifted membership. Rose, Katie Zen, you may hire, thank you so much for the gifted membership. Sari Flora, thank you so much for the five gifted. Yume Haya, thank you so much for the gifted. Satsuki. Maku AC. Andrea Rosen. And finally, Hazuki Lilium, thank you so much for the gifted membership. You also rest. Don't you, Uno, reverse me. But I will, so don't worry. Ah, let's see if I can send you guys to anyone on the way out. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm good. I'm ready to collapse after this. <laughs> I will take care of myself. You guys make sure you take care of yourselves. Only one streaming is Rosemi, so I'll send you... Ooh, Mountain Blade. I haven't thought about that game in years. 
I hope you have fun with Rosemi. As always, do not be led astray in my confidants. And as usual, I will catch you guys next time. Ha <laughs> ha!